Welcome to the show. So people get a notification. But until then, let's start setting up everything. It says waiting for Jason. There you go, yeah, same thing. But it gave you a notification? Not yet. Okay. I just looked for it. So, uh, yep, now I got it. Nice. Hey, you're first. Cheated, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he had inside information. Hey, what up, Cloaked? Oi, lads. Gotta go, Cloaked. Let's see this one. Oh, let's try it. Set that one here. How you doing, Cloaked? What you been up to? Any new games I should know about? Oh, I have a new thumbnail I should have known. Oh, man, I forgot. Uh, let's do... Let's do this one. I gotta put the thing on the Discord. God damn it. I'm gonna do that. I'll do it. You want me to do it? Uh, let me just do it real quick. comment and thumbnail and we're good to go. Sweet. Alright. Come on, thumbnail sent. Should have done this before. What's your official rating for this game, Jackal? 9.7. Damn. Anything, anything, any other game got higher than that? What up, Brain? Sweet Caroline. What is that avatar, bro? It's got a cat with a hair saw and his logo. It's funny. How you doing, Brian? Who's Sweet Caroline? There we go. I'll receive the photo. All right. Six, six, six. Come on, come on, come on. As for games that come close, I put like Ghost of Tsushima, maybe a couple of points below it, like 9.5, because oh, of Kami Agata. I'm actually shocked. Yeah, that, the snow area just kind of ruins the game for me a little bit. And Tsushima? Yep. Well, okay. It's all set, I think. Yep. Let's go. Okay, so where are we going, Jackal? Yo, sup, the song. <laughs> what song? <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay, That's so you get the strike. song. <laughs> you know the song. <laughs> yeah. My avatar represents the anger consumes me. Okay. How's the streaming been going, Brian? What game are you streaming now? All right. Let's uh, go to Bakbatal. All right. So Bakbatal first. We're going to turn in the God's Way and go from there. Good, nice. We've made it then. What's our first order of business? Silent Hill. Hill. Horror game, nice. And you? Dragon's Dogma 2, you already know. Alright. That guy is. Oh, there's a rescue mission to my left. Ah, he'll be fine. Got a wide. 
the wide targeting system. I did find the wide one works better with Frost Hunter. It locks on a little quicker. I just couldn't get into the skills, to be honest. I gotcha. Like, no matter what, it felt like I was just doing better with the regular. As long as I have ice buff with ice affinity, the regular attacks, once you get good enough with them with the timing, it's super duper good. And it wasn't worth sacrificing oh, yeah. a skill slot, that it was like me doing something amazing. Although, I feel like that ice one, like if you fully lock onto a weak spot and then do augural flare, like you were suggesting, like that could be cool, but it's again not a make or break in a strategy, it's more like an addition, which if I had extra, you know, skill slots like the game for a rearm or armament, that would've been nice, but I don't, so... Bad. Well, I actually took Frostseeker off. I kept yeah. Sagittate Avalanche on. I remember at one point so, you were like, Frostseeker's better, and now you think Avalanche is better? Well, yeah, so the problem was, I, I was using Frostseeker, like, mostly for taking the armor off those armored Cyclops. Mm -hmm. And it was doing really good for that. Like, it kept bouncing off the armor pieces and knocking them off, like, basically in one one skill shot. But otherwise, towards the end game, it wasn't freezing very much. Even Hagel wasn't freezing. Given the state of things, oh, I wonder if it's uh, enemies or just... The yeah, they might be resistant to um, statuses, who knows? I think they might be, but yeah, I won't go too much into it. Always a pleasure. Oh, that was good to know, like, what, what might work and what not might work. Invincibility is always going to work. Things. I figured that out as soon I as I picked up the game. Enemy. I was like, this shit is... <laughs> Where's my force, bro? There's always something... Bro, they, they definitely the broke game. the game with the new patch. Like, look, that there's been so many times they've been stuck on something for no reason. It was some time before yeah, and they the claim they fixed it, and they did a little bit, because it might have been a little bit worse before the last patch, but... No, it's definitely yeah, the worst it's not it's better yet. For me. It's the worst it's been for me. Oh, it is? Now. Oh, yeah. Damn. Like, they get stuck on stuff that I didn't even imagine was possible. Like, the fourth one will. They'll just start running and going up on something, jumping down, going up on something, like, completely bugging, bugging out. <laughs> Admittedly, that was pretty funny with your thief getting stuck behind the ladder, and you kept trying to pick him up, and they just kept teleporting oh, yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, I hope you clip that. Wait, Silent Hill 1 is what, PlayStation 5, or is that even... Oh, no. Um, that's... Is it even on a Silent PS4 or something? Yeah, where, where is he playing Silent Hill 1? I suppose it could be... I, I mean, I think it might be on the PlayStation the Store. Got my ass kicked here last time. Oh, they're a little bit friendlier this time. Also, look around the dragon corpses. This word is okay. unfamiliar to us. Of what do you speak? This girl's in the freaking cover, I think. We know less of the world than we would like. Oh, yeah. The hell is this? Bring the door down to the Russian. That bro is not oh, in here. Right. I know where he is. Yeah, he's directly yeah, below I've seen there. Him. Yeah, I've seen him. I haven't gone to the brothel yet either. That's another thing I'm missing out. Did I have to go to prison to meet him? Oh, man. I did, right? Well, so you see how it's kind of like a U shape? Take the right U. Brain, you still in here? Holy shit. Should be in here. Yeah, no. Wait, the next one. Or something. I remember seeing him a long time ago. 
Wait, why'd you tell me to look around the dragon? Ah, oh, there's just cool stuff to find. Ah, okay. I swear I explored this room before, this entire room. Were you there on that stream? It might have been a while ago. Yeah, I thought it was. Wait, was that, that was when you. Too. Yeah, that was like two weeks ago, I think. Jesus. Oh, shit. No, 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 this is all wrong. What use of pitiful fragments such as these? What we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Shit, I thought I brought that. Wait, so should I keep looking around though? Because you said, or did I already see everything though? That's there. I think you've already seen everything. Must you interrupt? Yeah, there's like books and stuff. All right, Brian's gone. Cool. Oh, I know where this is. Have you need of me? Huh. Oh, so if you go out the main palace, or I mean, if you go out the main temple door, you should get a quest. Main door, uh, okay. The one I came in through? Yeah, I think so. The one where everyone's praying in front of the big fire. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to do that right now because I didn't bring the sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked everywhere already. Cool. Wait, is there it would have been a Worm's Life crystal, I think, and a Seeker token, but that was it. What the hell? I never did that before. That is. Uh, it looks like full damage, that would kill me. Uh, I guess we'll just get the sword and come back. <laughs> Interesting. It always feels way more intense whenever your pawns are not around. It's like, damn. Well, that's a good thing my build has. Danger. Yeah, that's why it's a good thing my build has a bubble now. Thank goodness. Yeah, bubble was critical for endgame for me. Nerf bubble, please. Okay, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. It only lasts like what three seconds, four seconds. Seven. Okay, fine. Nerf it. Nerf that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and buff some Not of the other nerf. ones. Like, warrior is, like, Although, pretty... <clears throat> God. Oh, they should take from formless faint, you know, and gift everything Yeah, no, else. that's what I'm saying. Like, if you take from, like, if it's, like, a stat, if you think about it as, like, a stat, take from some and put it in the other, and I'll be perfectly fine. That's what balancing is. Rather than making two or three vocations be, like, the fucking, you know, the greatest thing on Earth, and the other ones just no one want to use, wants to use. Yep. Uh, the thing Although is, uh, I do love warfare. I, fear I mean, that's another one I'm actually advocating to buff, so I don't know. Same. Just having all those skills available would be nice. Why is it still making that sound? What the fuck? 
Oh, that's the we freaking vocation. I was so confused, lol. I'm like, why it's never did that before? That's so cool. Nice. Wow. I was like getting annoyed. I'm like, what the hell is that? That's insane. What? Dog, what do you mean? A guide is most welcome. How in Wait, what chalk, man? It's fine secret the tokens, trickster. yeah, fine secret tokens and freaking thingies. Dog, how the hell that is sick. I'm about to get derailed trying to get up there. What? <laughs> nah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, Trickster's got some cool stuff. Yeah, that is that is really Over cool. How the fuck? Yeah, I need to stay focused because these secret tokens ain't going anywhere in New Game Plus, right? Hey, what up? Um, Osuma Dauda? Why buff warfare? Uh, so in PC they had um, but yeah, welcome to the stream by the way. In PC they have mods that allow three skills, other than rearmament of course, the three other skills to be whichever weapon you picked up. So if you have like the dual blades, you could pick three three skills for that. If you pick spear hand, you get three for that. Now obviously that's gonna make it even stronger than it already is, but that increases the fun aspect of it. And obviously you can't put on um the maester skills right which are like stupidly broken in some of them so it's somewhat balanced but the main thing is it's fun because the, the amount of stuff you can do with warfare if it had more skills like not broken wise just fun wise would be sick because if i like switch to like a dual blades um sorry daggers i could do like gut and run or whatever and then if i switch to like the arrow one i could do some cool stuff like it's just the way it is right now people are probably gonna pick like me it is the top three which is um for me, I guess right now, Mirror Shield, Ravenous, uh, Ravener's Hound, and Augural Flare, and it's like, if I decide to take any one of these out, that would just mean, you know, I'm sacrificing a lot, and it's just, it, it kills the, the variety and the motivation to want to put on some fun stuff rather than the best stuff, so that's why. I don't mean it any other way. Three skills for every weapon is dumb OP. Yeah, but everything in this game is OP. They're, they're, if they were trying to go for balancing reasons, for just, you know just for the balancing reasons then yeah but it's more like the, i'm trying to advocate for the fun of it like if i were to put on thief with um what are they called formless faint that is like the least amount of fun but the most amount of broken see that's something that needs balancing whereas in three skills on every every weapon for warfare doesn't really break the game any more than it already is it just increases the amount of fun you could have because i've seen like people on pc do really cool combat stuff with it but yeah if you're talking like strictly balancing there's probably other ways to balance it but yeah it seems like the developers are not trying to even balance this way it's already very strong yeah but i'm just average like i said it's for fun aspect not the not the strength of it because if you're talking about just balancing for strength then yeah nerf the bubble nerf if you nerf every every op stuff in the game it would automatically nerf warfare as well because then then in my skill i wouldn't be able to use mirror shield it would be way worse so then i'd have to put something else and let's say you know thieves thingy gets nerfed and just having more skills would be really strong and then i guess they could nerf like the stats for it because it already gets nerfed from you know the strength magic and stuff in comparison to other skills but i guess nerf it more or something but yeah i just think warfare should be the master of none and you know being able to use all them which it kind of is right now but it almost feels like it is still a master of all the other ones so yeah in some aspects i just think having more skills for every weapon would encourage using more weapons rather than just like two or three but yeah Definitely not for the most balance, but rather for the most fun. That's what I'm advocating for. But yeah, welcome to the stream. And what up, Booty Tickler? Sorry. Yo, how you doing, man? Long time no see, Booty. There's more? Or is that the other one? I think that's the other one. Man, that thing is loud from far away. Yeah, you can't miss secret tokens with this thing. There's no way. I thought it would be like if you're like right here, you would hear the one up there. But no, it's really far. I'm in class right now. Oh, dude, this breaking rules. Yeah, been a minute. Yo, what you been up to, Booty Tickler? Any new games or and stuff you've been playing? But yeah, that would just be my thing. Just increase the fun of it. If, even if everybody in the game uses Warfare, as long as it's, you know, obviously a combination of different balanced vocations. It's not as broken, but it is a lot more fun. Like, people are combining... Oh, I hear another one. Or is that the one that was underground? Like, people are already combining the Archer one and Thief one to make, like, what is it called? Strider or something from back in the day. So... Oh, lol. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So, it's, it's like, open to a lot of cool stuff you can do. There's more. Oh, my God. This is such a good vocation. Definitely. Or, sorry, a uh, skill... 
Okay, the other one might be underground. Why do I hear it from here? Yeah, this is a must-use augment. What? Oh, oh my God, it's louder. It gets, it get the beeping gets louder the closer you get. That is so sick. Oh, it's for chest too, or is there a secret token in here? Oh, it's a wake stone chest shard. as well. Ah, it's for wake stone shard. That's fine. It's a wake stone shard and um, secret tokens only. Cool, that makes sense. I swear I saw chest blinking too, but I might have. Yeah, had but it was Kratos a chest. The wake stone daggers. was. It was wake stone in the thingy. Chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and there's an. There's another augment that uh, decreases your chances of being attacked when camping and Oh yeah, that one's cool too for and stuff. Good thing I'm on a fairy stone everywhere now. Uh, every vocation except warfare is OP, but has a clear weakness. Every vocation except warfare is OP, huh? But has a clear weakness. Really? What's um, what's thief's weakness? Like I could see like sorcerer is like stupidly strong for DPS, but it's not the most support class. It's not the most you know, defensive class, it definitely needs someone else to, like, take the aggro and stuff like that. With Thief, like, almost like, almost like a do-it-all to, to an extent. Like, if you have, if you're playing, like, let's say solo in this game, there's, like, two, two vocations that stand head and shoulders beyond every other ones for me, and that's Warfare and um, Thief, and, yeah, that, that's my thing. I think you could put um, Twin, Twin Blades in the same category, maybe, but that one you don't get the aggro flare, so I don't know. But yeah, theme has a thief has no knockdown. You mean like knockdown resist or like knockdown power to the enemy? I mean, whenever you have folk, what is it called? Formless faint. It doesn't even matter. You can't be hit by anything. So getting knocked down is not a big deal. And then the two strongest knockdown weapons, like the Heaven's Key, has one of the highest knockdown. If you put on like the right rings and augments and do like you know freaking any attack in their weak spot, which is pretty easy to do as formless faint thief, it knocks them down pretty quick. My friend Jackal here. Knocked on power. Uh, I literally designed yeah, a I thief mean, earlier. That was like 600 plus knocked on power. But that's not really a weakness. Yeah, rather than just doesn't specialize in it, right? Because like uh, warrior is meant for the knocked on. In, in that case, you could say sorcerer is also weak because it doesn't have knocked on power. That's his weakness. Or you could say mage is weak to not, not having knocked on power. Even, even regular fighter probably is like in line with thief, if not worse, in terms of knocked on power. And... Um, yeah, no, you could put that argument for everything except, like, for, uh, Warrior. I completed Rise of Ronin. Congrats, Chalana. Thief can tank while doing DPS. Thief can tank while doing DPS and getting health back on kill is pretty... Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I mean. It's, it's like... It's, what is it? It's like un, unintentionally, like, a do-it-all. No range option. What about the grapple, bro? The grapple is literally one of the best range options. Like, takes out harpies right out of there better than any anything else. Yeah, implicate. Wait, have you played Thief Quest uh, Osuma? Bro, that thing is a do it all. I never leave a. And not only that, it does another thing that no other vocations do, and that's freaking stealing stuff. Like, that's the main. One of the main reasons I always have one. Like, you can get extra wor worms life crystals from dragons, or, or just e extra material. You could get wake stones out of just regular freaking um, lizards, salamanders, or whatever. Just stealing. So, pilfer. It's super damn good. Thief is definitely like one of the best. I don't, I don't see too many weaknesses that it has. Sure, other classes do a lot of things better. Like DPS wise, Sorcerer will do better, but the Sorcerer is going to get eaten alive by itself. Um, yeah, if you're fighting like a Golem, for example, and I have to go for like a weak spot, Thief is really good at climbing into that weak spot and stuff like that without being in too much danger because of Formless Faint. But yeah, that's why I just feel like it's, it's not really Warfare getting you know, too OP, it's rather than the individual vocation and stuff that just needs certain skills nerfed. But yeah. Always, always advocate for balancing things out and increasing the fun rather than, you know, taking out the fun and also balancing, you know. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I've never played Dragon's Dogma 2 Dogma, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. Uh, Tickler, you played Elden Ring, bro. If you like Elden Ring, you would love this game, man. Like, it's pretty much very similar, but also different, uh, different in their own way. Like, the map, I guess it's kind of a spoiler, but it gives you Elden Ring vibes if you played Elden Ring. Just a whole lot of open-world exploration. I bet you would grind, grind the crack out of crap out of this game particular if you ever played this if you ever do play it um we're gonna neo one now completed rise of ronin damn trello now the heck you beat ronin already would you wait rate rate ronin on a scale of one to ten trello now if you want you could give a description of why 
working on Neo 1 right now. That's crazy. Trelana's jumping from Ronin and Neo 1, two really hard games. Uh, what difficulty did you play on Trelana? I've never, uh, sorry. Plus, it's like three R1s to get the knockdown. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I've seen it do tons of knockdown, bro. And if you build it correctly and go for the weak spots, it knocks them down instantly. Um, knockdown on uh, with the armor world and Dwarven upgrade, warm, warm fire frame. Oh, you still use the frame, able Dude, that thing is not even known for knockdown. You're already doing that. So yeah, once you get Heaven's Key and the freaking Dwarven upgrades, bro, I would love to see how quickly you knock enemies down, man. It, it's literally the best of every world, pretty much. Like, I'm always probably going to have a thief in my team. I, like, try to knock down enemies just, just so they would steal more. Because with, with the dragons, golems, and stuff like that, once you knock them down, they instantly start stealing. And I love seeing that. Uh, which are kind of mid, but looks awesome. Yeah, they do look fire. Uh, I began thief and switched vocation when I unlocked formless fame. Yeah, I did the same thing, Osama. I just... Or is it Osuma? Osama. Okay, Osama. But yeah, I did the same thing. But from the Saint was super boring. It was just like, it was like you can run. If you sprint in this game, it consumes more stamina than having invincibility. Let that sink in. If you sprint in this game, it takes more con stamina than if you put on Formless Saint and just attack, da uh, dash, attack, dash, attack, dash. One, you're invincible. Two, you're moving faster. Three, you're also attacking at the same time. Let, let that sink in. You're doing all three of these things better by just putting on Formless Faint and dash attacking. Which, by the way, if you didn't even have Formless Faint, dashing gives you iframes. So it's like, why would you ever just run? It, it makes no sense for you to run in this uh, as a thief. But yeah, it, it's just, it's whatever. Uh, that was our experience. Well, we, will, oh, we want a more challenge, same. But I definitely agree that thief is the strongest vocation. Yeah, I was even, uh, before going to Unmore World, probably maybe later today or something, um... But yeah, Osama, what would you rec uh, rate this game out of 10? And also, um, what other games do you enjoy? Welcome to the stream again, by the way, man. I'm glad you're here. I probably would. I might get it. Well, you might like it, you might not. I'm not sure. This ain't no Elden Ring, but it's definitely really fun. I I've put already tw 200 plus hours into this game, so is Jackal. But some of the people we've recommended to didn't really get into it as much. So, Hey, what up, Tiki? Welcome, yo. I'm glad you're tuning in. Uh, I just played it on easy difficulty to enjoy the story. Bro, enjoying the story... On Ronin? Oh, come on, Trellina. That's crazy. I would give Razoran a 9 out of 10, but the story was dragging it. I mean, bro, you played Neo. You played... I don't know if you played Neo too. Let's be honest. Nobody plays those games for story. But, well, at least you gave it a 9 out of 10. That means you really enjoyed your time. Uh, Alright, cool. We're all caught up. Alright, what, what was I doing? Oh, right hand in the thing. Damn, I got hella distracted. Were you going to say something, Jackal? Sorry. Uh, probably not important. But, uh, it, yeah, turning the God's Way Blade and... Osama, yeah, yeah that's today. exactly, that's what took it off for me from, uh, I give it a 9.7 because it's my favorite version of these games, that's like any fair. RPG. Yeah. But yeah, the performance. Fair, what other games do you play, Osama? I like open world games and, damn, I just stumbled over the word. I like open world games and so it's like, so if it's both, then I'll probably really like the game. It's different though, it's unique in its own way, like it's, it's good when games try to, you know, copy or you know try to take inspirations from certain games but this thing did something very unique like very unique not very unique to themselves because they've done a game like this before dragon zone one one but just the way it is designed i have not seen it so i wouldn't recommend someone to think this is elden ring to get on this and expect elden ring rather than come in with an open mind and just enjoy what this has to offer because when i saw somebody play this and they're like oh you can climb in this game or early on i'm like why would i want to climb them like and then it's like you get into it and you're doing a, let's say fighter and you start scaling the enemy to get to the weak spot and like this is actually intense because looking at it from the outside it doesn't seem that way because you're not sure what they're why they're pressing the buttons what they're what's going through their head but as you play it more and more you start understanding why it's such a fun concept but yeah definitely an eye opener for me to play this type of game huge shout out to jackal for recommending it and just opening my eyes to this because this is something i wouldn't touch with all the reception this game got early on yeah, really and it did rest. not start out good. Yeah. It was like the first night we were ripping on it, and then the, the next thing day, is, it's like... A... In New Game Plus, I'd probably appreciate the fact that the early on, it's not that, not that big of a deal, right? Because imagine it was like a long, drawn-out intro that tried to shove a story down your throat, and you're like, dude, let me just get to New Game Plus. Yeah, exactly. Now, like, I literally went to Dwarven Smith within two hours, so... That's sick. Yeah, no, this, I hope this game is... I would rather this game's first playthrough not be the most spectacular story-driven thing, but the consecutive playthroughs 
don't take away from anything and it just gets more and more fun because that's something man i really appreciate okay this looks like a dead dragon right it's the size of a dragon not really this looks like a new creature oh no it is a dragon is it no nah. yeah maybe probably let's see the tail hmm yeah this is a dragon i'm a i'm a archaeologist expert i can tell by the bones what do you think well, as a paleontology it, expert, I'd say it's a, uh, it's a drake. I like dinosaurs. Take a closer look, lady. You seem like an expert. Osama's asking what level you're at. Oh, I am currently level 73. I've been just doing, t like, the way I play games is just, I love exploring and just looking at things, and I was very stingy with my fairy stone, so I was, like, accidentally kind of over-leveling by, let's say, like, I needed to get from here to there. Smart man would just freaking use a fairy stone or something, but I just kept trekking back through this whole journey, and there's a lot of XP to be had in this journey if you decide to kill everything on the way, but yeah. I wasn't intentionally trying to overlevel, but yeah, I'm at 73 already. Is it 3 or is it 73? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Neo One Story is pretty good, not gonna lie. Damn, Trellina. That's what you think is really good? Well, okay. I mean, I didn't play it, but I don't think anyone ever talks about Neo 1 having an amazing story. Uh, guys, you know the guy I was texting, right? Damn it, Tiki. Uh, so from software games. Oh, nice. So, Osama, you played, like, Dark Souls and stuff like that? Which ones did you play, or did you play all of them? I'm a huge From Software fan, man. I have bounced between PC and PS5 with the bulk of my 230 hours on Call of the Fashion. I absolutely love that. Right, let's go. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. Booty. Oh, this game? Yeah. I'm um, so tired. <laughs> That's surprising to you. So, our bread and butter. Excited for the Elden Ring DLC. Hell yeah. Neo 1 story is pretty good. I know, uh, yeah, I'm not expecting Elden Ring, but it looks like a Souls like game. Yeah, in some sense. Um, just do our uh, first playthrough without seeing the credits. Oh, yeah. Are you guys. Uh, mine was Elden Ring Jackal. Mine was Elden Ring Jackal. Stop looking at it. Ugh. Tiki, come on, man. All of them except DS2. Yo, I even played DS2, bro. If you like the other Souls games, you might not like DS2. Unless you, like, stream it and have people that play the game just encouraging you to continue your playthrough. Because if I didn't stream my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, I probably wouldn't have finished it. It's just whenever you stream a game and, like, people that do like the game that look it up, like, diehard fans of that game, they will usually find you eventually on your streams and just encourage you. Are you following me or are you here on the stream the whole time? I don't know, just looking for things to steal. But, um, yeah, usually they'll find you and just, like, encourage you and, like, explain to you why they like the game and stuff, and it'll make you maybe give the game a bit more of a shot than you would have otherwise, so that's why I love streaming games. It has its ups and downs, too, though. Oh, yeah, definitely got its moments, and it's a hard sell to a lot of people, but I think if you stick with it, you'll see the value in it. Yeah. Like, there's certain games, like, if people, like, straight up criticize one of my favorite games and just say it's not for them, I'm not going to sit here and try to approach it down their throat. Because there's clearly something I saw, and even I saw the flaws, and if the flaws are too big for them to want to continue or something, it's like, okay, fine, understandable. Where the hell am I going? Oh, no. That's the prison? This is the prison, well, yeah. Certainly, this is the prison. Okay, well, let's go hand it in. Elden Ring or DS3? Definitely Elden Ring. I mean, that's just a, sen a sentiment. That's just like a thing that proves the game has just gotten better over time. You know, the developers have learned from their craft and just improved on it. It'd be weird if DS3 was better. And it's like, there are people that'll say DS3 is better, but I, I think objectively they're just wrong. But opinion-wise, there is no wrong, so, yeah. Uh, type of tuning and ring, or how far they expand the soul concept and secure for how they completed it. Oh yeah, those are the two best turn on said Agreed. Uh, what's, oh, what's your favorite From Software game though? Yeah, I can't decide between Elden Ring and Sekiro, but I think once the DLC for Elden Ring comes out, it'll probably be Elden Ring. But yeah, it just they're both just two so different, but they're so good in their own right. Like the first open world 
first playthrough of an open world game on Elden Ring is like unlike any other like you'll ever experience where then Sekiro's parry combat when you first get it it's like unlike any other combat and it's like they're both so good in their own right it's hard to compare those two because they don't do the same thing at all one is an open world game the other one's a very linear game you know stuff like that one yeah he paid by the way such a way what uh so i'm level 54 neo nice hated ds2 <laughs> yeah it's very different i just met up with him and ate some with him okay so you went on a date hitboxes made me rage quit so many times hitbox oh yeah I, yeah hitboxes are stupidly broken in that game bro there's i had some of the most frustrating moments in that game such a gentleman nice what's your favorite one uh ninja bleed what's ninja bleed how is the spear hand build? It's the best, bro. Tiala, or sorry, um, Trelana. The freaking spear hand is my favorite vocation in the game. It just has so much to it. Like, it has the most amount of, like, combat diversity in any of the vocations. I'd highly recommend if you enjoy good combat. Spear hand is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's close. To El- uh, I think it's close, but Elden Ring is my favorite. Nice. Oh, you played Sekiro Booty? Uh, during the moment, it was the first time I felt anything like the journey in Elden Ring. Yes. Not dating him? Well, you want to date. Let me know if... Oh, Roy Tazan. Tazan is over. Yeah, that ain't a hot take, Osama. Some business. That's just the truth. Hot takes are shadows out to the best action game of all time. Have you played any of the God of Wars, like Ragnarok and 2018? Those, I would say, are the only ones that really compete with Sekiro in terms of combat. Single player combat. This. this but why do you possess such a thing where did you obtain it no never mind it is of no consequence all that matters is this with this alone i shall be able to craft a superior god's way the finest of all created to date i must make haste that i might deliver it to lord faces even a moment sooner but wait no I have not the worms like crystals to restore it. Consult it all! Allow me to gather them for you, yes? I guess I could say, tell me a worm like crystals, and he'll tell me. Right? Yeah, he'll tell you. Okay. You've not heard of them. They are formed of crystallized drops of dragon blood, and each fragment contains a portion of the beasts. It is a requisite component of the god's way, which is formed when the souls of Arisen and Dragon are combined. Wow. Well. Naturally, such crystals can only be obtained through the slaying of drakes and their ill. Yet I am doubtful that Lord Phasus would lend me his forces when the ritual is so close. We've few enough hands as tears. Um... Ninja Blade is a form of the game. KT is such a terrible game. I have not heard about Ninja Blade. Interesting. Eh, it wasn't a date. <laughs> okay. Uh, I played it at a friend's house. Played what? Booty? Oh, Sekiro? Oh, dude, you gotta play the whole thing through. Like, for real. To, like, get an understanding. Yeah, I'm also a God of War fan. Nice. Well, but yeah, I would say God of War, like, 20, 2018 and Ragnarok are the only, only combats that come close to Sekiro. But Sekiro just has more boss variety, I would say. And just, I don't know. They're both really good. I love God of War, though. I would say Ragnarok probably edges out Sekiro. Um, maybe, but I don't know. Didn't seem like it to me. <laughs> I don't like how you can't really change your weapon in Sekiro, but it does have the best combat. Yeah, no, it's it's more focused. And, like, they, they know what the game they wanted to make and, like, how they wanted the game to... The combat and stuff to feel. They didn't need a whole bunch of variety, which there is variety with, like, the weapon arts and the prosthetic tools, but... Just, it's a parry game. You don't really need to have a great sword in the game and just completely... Oh, Jacqueline, moving your controller. Let me just turn that off. Sorry. It's all right. It was my dog. Okay. Uh... Is that Patches? <laughs> Ooh. I think it's Avalon. Ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? But I suppose I Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Now, 
As I've said, Worm's Life Crystals can only be obtained from Drake. All the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You would be solving two of my problems. Ooh, lesser dragons. You just gave me freaking 25k for that. Took split farm brochures. Cool. Dragon hunting is expensive. Yeah. Obtain 15 Worm's Life Crystals. Ah. Yes. Well, I mean, Is you're supposed to, I guess, go to Luz, and she'll tell you to go to Sigurd, but you can go straight to Sigurd since you have him on the map. Is there anything to gain from going to Luz first? No, I mean, you already got the Meister skill, so. Which Meister skill? Luz is who again? The Trickster. Oh, yeah, that's the lady. Cool, yeah, I got her thing. Ooh, where can I find Lucy? I'm Ryan? afraid I'm no more equipped to answer that question than you. Perhaps you might ask uh, Sigurd's me. marker on the map. Yeah, no, no, I thought he was gonna do something. Cool. Uh, the dude you're talking to? That is not Patches. Sounds like him. You imagine they're voiced by the same person. Uh, it took me to a like you two places. They just sell fries and shit. But better. It's Belgian culture. Nice. Sounds like. It would actually be a fire date. Okay. Off to Sigurd then. Dude, my secret. You want to kill uh, Medusa on the way? Uh, absolutely. Alrighty. Friggin lootly. I'm gonna kill everything. Kill a lesser dragon, Medusa. Two enemies I haven't really fought. First lesser dragon I fought, I took it out with a ballista, so I didn't really get a taste of how it's the combat against it to be. It's pretty much a new enemy in my books. Hello, team. They talked to that lady that is running up to you. Well met, Sir Arisen. Oh, it's her. Let us dispense with pleasantries yeah. and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires some days ago. A fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplication. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin I like my fled, new hair. gifting me a wounded mm -hmm. arm in the process. Can I critique her just a little bit? I dare you. Her chin, bro. Can you please, like, make her jaw a little sharper? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's been bothering me for the longest time. I don't like critiquing people's creations and shit, but yeah. Please, man. Anyway. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest yes. thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her... This is the one I was mentioning. Men Menela, bro. They I definitely were going to name her Melina, the and they're like, we don't want to copy Elden Shanks. Ring. Menela. Empress Nadinia's life funny. is in your hands, Sir Arisen. Alright, well, let's see. So we're going to talk to Sigurd. Her quest is. Alright, I'm going to lose this. Uh, oh, I bet if you go to lose, she would give you the quest probably for this. You sure? I guess it doesn't really matter. At least says Sigurd is right there. Go. Cool. Yeah. You might want to rest and just bang that one out first. Which one? Her one? The, yeah. I think it's timed, possibly. Well, that shit? It's uh, right behind you. It's like right where you came out of. Oh, I see. That's all. Cool. Oh, never mind. Should I rest first? Yeah, I think you gotta rest. Might be a bench there. Okay. Probably not inside though. Uh, I'm still going before I just want to do it. I'm still going to work with them tomorrow. Okay. Bro, all right, I gotta go. If you're still streaming when school's over, I'll be back. Oh, I appreciate it, Tickler. Thanks for tuning in, man. Okay, Hopefully, I'll see you more. You Missed you. Especially if you get this game, it's gonna be lit. But I know we're gonna probably see each other on Elden Ring DLC, so that's gonna be nice. I think Bro was the original level 700 master. He was just grinding. I think he beat the game like 40 plus times. Nice. He's a grinder, that one. Oh, it's upstairs. Maybe. Oh, 
Go to phone number first in the morning. Temples near life of blah blah. System setting up six or six. All right. Let's just do the bench. I wonder why these guys are nicer to me. I did help a couple only frame rate. I did help a couple of their kind. Maybe my reputation got better. Well, I noticed they got nicer to me after I delivered the God's way. Hmm. Possibly. I guess maybe after one time they jail me, they're like, alright, that's enough, he learned his lesson. Oh, they beat the heck out of you. Where is this bench? No bench. This morning, but if I could rest. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. Dude, that be able to use the ox cart station to advance to morning. I want a house here, I'll be fine. Oh, let's go. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Our collection grows. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Oh, that's sick. That was almost not sick. Holy shit. That almost ended tragically. Sick token and then just poof, dead. Would have been good for the clips. <laughs> Another one? Boy, hey, what up, your boy? Yo, long time. Wait, everybody's returning today, or maybe it's just I'm streaming at such a good time. But yeah, how you been, J boy? Long time to see. What you been doing, man? Yeah, and no, I really do gotta start streaming earlier rather than later. All the OGs coming. Oh my God, this is a secret token and a half. Jesus. Let's go. Jack, I don't think I'm missing a single secret token with this freaking augment. This might be arguably the best augment I've seen yet. Too damn good. Got some cool stuff. Oh yeah. And now I'm gonna die on my way back. The secret Dragon's distractions. East died. Netherlander, huh? Great, how about you? Oh, I've been great, man. What you been up to, Jay? Tell us, tell us all about it. Tell about your misadventures. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Monsters to start the day off. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust. Mm. If I kill the Medusa and try to get its head, and then I can knock out the Griffin painting one. That's the plan. Oh, I like that. That cut off its head. I'd recommend some daggers. Just for the precision. I haven't been able to do it with anything else. Okay. Hmm. And who might? 
Sir Arisen. You've come just in time, Sir Armhild. Oh, I see the twin ladies there. To well. present to you the good Arisen. Come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Nope, Jean. Uh, Jean ID, sorry. I'm doing uh, fine tomorrow. I'm doing fine tomorrow, last day of school in three weeks. Oh, nice, Jay. What you gonna be doing? Oi. Oh, now you remember. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. Y'all know each other? May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life. My life? Oh, Lambent Flame. We offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. Uh. Ooh, I got a bill of arrest. Apprehend the assassin. Hell yes. The time. I'd recommend reading it. Find the individual who matches the scoundrel's description and foil his dastardly plot. A man is said to wear his hair tied back and should sport a wounded right arm. Hair back, wounded right arm. Following his prior attempt on Her Majesty's life. Ah. Okay. Wounded right arm here back. It's one of those people or not? Yeah. Oh fuck. Might have to lower the FOV just so I could see. We spared, we ask that Batal, and we ask that a day may come. Sir Arisen, Her Majesty's supplications are nearing their end. Have you located the rogue? Fucking hell, bro. Give me a second. Hair tied back. Listed in the description. Oh, that guy there is tied back, but I have nothing about his arm being wounded. That one's tied back. Arm doesn't look wounded. Uh, this one there is tied back. Arm doesn't look wounded. And they did say he. Oh. What the fuck? Nobody's got like a fucking brace or nothing. I was expecting a much more obvious. You did this correctly, like right out the gate? Yes, I did. I just Dang. talked to everyone. Oh, you're right. I can do that. The current Empress may be Her Majesty is wise to pawns are hated as yet. Her Majesty, her tolerance and grace. Got something that needs dying? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, not worth my time. Ooh. Well, that was kind of rude, don't you think? Yeah. Bro. You best make yourself scared. Tackle his ass. Who are ye supposed to be? Why? Are they onto me? <laughs> oh, shot. Apprehend him at once. That man there help, is the assassin. I thought they would have made it more yeah, obvious. Yeah, I was trying to be. Yeah, no, they did not make that obvious. I was expecting like an arm brace or something. Like, I don't know. That was the only when I was talking nice to him, done, I figured sir, that out. It's like, wait, he's kind of being a jerk. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining, Tiki. She's going to come back in like two minutes. Um, that would be par for the course. Says, yeah, she's not going to sleep. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, Tiki. Oh, your majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us. We owe this outcome to you. So yeah, the only reason I knew to tackle him was because Batal there was like dead. another so, the same yeah, there was another apprehend quest a while ago. Your efforts were most yeah, the, admirable. 
the dude that was talking to us. And actually, there was like two, maybe three. I've also done the the nurse oh, yeah. that one. Yeah, that one. That was the one I was thinking of. So yeah, three. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently. And return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant effort. Ah, yes, five Jaspers, and then on top of that, 18k and 300, 3,500 XP. Let's go. I love tackling people. Free Grateful money. Are we for ah, yeah. I really liked you. that quest. Oh, I can't It was tiny, you. but. Yeah, that was a good one. Tackle everyone. Tackle everyone. Ah, oh, fuck that. I want to apprehend every person in here. Ah, so you tackle people and you get paid for it. Let's go. Who wants to get tackled? You get tackled. Damn it. Well, Tristan. Wait, can you use the pilfer skill that way? Uh, yeah. Some of them have like really expensive stuff, like this card. Let's see. I'm gonna drop this one. That thing sells for a lot. But yeah, Start Pilfer is one of my then. favorite. Yeah, I literally put on Thief the last time and I was like, let's try Pilfer. It is so good. I'm stealing just start, break stones. Just start tackling people and pilfering yeah. them and then giving them a gift of flowers to raise their affinity <laughs> back up. Like, nothing happened. You saw nothing. <laughs> no, give them their gift bag and it probably has a more counter effect of like, Gifting rather than the stealing. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, get away from me. Oh, you thank seem, you. You seem to have lost this in my pocket. <laughs> Given the state of things, I may have to close the inn here long. Jaboy Owen, I'm sorry, but I'm still not a fan of the Souls games. Ban him. I fear for the future of this Which one did you play, Jay? I mean, if you like God of War, you'll probably like Sekiro. I'd say play Sekiro. But some people do only play God of War for the lore aspect of it and just feeling powerful. And in that case, maybe you won't enjoy it. I don't know. It's weird recommending games. Some people just take a really different approach. It's almost a miracle they liked one game to begin with in the first place. Like, what did you do correctly on that one? Try to do that again. It was really God of War that made me interested in the Souls games for the most part, and made me want to play them. It's the opposite for me. Souls game is one of the got me in a God of War. Alright, let's see. Sigurd time? Time to go to the Sigurd dragon. Sigurd. Is that three? Yes, it was three. I'm coming. Ban him. <laughs> Oh yeah, Elden Ring is big. My brother borrowed borrowed me Elden Ring, and it's not bad, but it's just too much to handle for me. But well, that's my opinion. Okay, yeah, no, I'm the opposite. I like too much to handle rather than very basic and boring and simple, I guess. Simple could be good, but I just prefer more more things in a game a than less. Sucks. If we seek monsters. Find right, I want to start punishing game developers for putting too much effort in their game. Want to come down here, buddy? I'll beat the crap out of you. Do you have that mage augment on? Uh, what is that, stamina region? Yeah. Yeah, I just took it off. I tried the mage thing with, um, two rings of stamina region. And I ended up taking it off. Cause so I was like, if I just keep that skill that gives me stamina back, then it doesn't really matter as much. God, I took the wrong route. Apparently the augment is 10% and the rings are 15 each. Pretty insane. I thought the augment would be worth more. Come here, Griffin. I have an 
interesting new build idea for this. Instead of the mage staff, I was thinking of using the trickster sensor and then use the, uh, the false oh, war skill. Yeah. My brain is just like Griffin time. Anyway. I thought it was a harpy. Um. Hey, Jordo. Oh, he's dead. I only got 500 for killing it. What the hell? Right. Hey, welcome to the stream. Jordo, how you doing? Uh, well, that's not here. Okay, cool. Welcome, Jordo. Okay, so Dude. trickster ball score. Trickster what? Put some aggro uh, rings on, and then use the ball score thing, and mm -hmm. put it over a gap. Oh yeah, no, that's basically just trickster. Watch a ball. Yeah, no, you gotta try that. That's basically trickster. It's just, it's basically trickster. <laughs> You're supposed to trick them into like doing stupid shit, yeah. Some people say it's fun a couple for a little while, but then I doubt people are gonna be doing some insane stuff in on more world. It's just very like pawn dependent, which could work, but I, like from my experience, the pawns just like mostly don't do what they're supposed to. Like if you ever put on their vocation and you're like, wow, there's so much more they could be doing. There's just so much more. Any, any vocation I pick up, I'm like, there's more they could be doing, they just don't. Bro became the boss. Hey, what up, Troopy? How you doing? Did you beat the game yet, Troopy? Oh, music lucky hits hard though. Oh yeah, dude, this game, I'm telling you, man. I don't be simping over games that are, that are not actually good. Like, there's gotta be something worth, like, enjoying in the game. And this one, the combat uh, variety in this game is just insane. Okay, if I go down to the left, it should take me there. Nope, ignore, ignore. The enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the word, as they say. Oh, and this was a thief I was talking about. This one is straight up thief in. Look at that. More likely to get targeted. Two of those rings. Nice. Yeah, they understood the assignment. Totally. And that with with those rings and stuff like that, they're still. If you look at the stats on that one, at level sixty six, it's got nine hundred thirty four. Seven magic, and that's with the the heaven's key, and then defense is 700, magic defense is 800, so it's it's not squishy either. Uh, knockdown power is also pretty up there. It's some resistance for knockdown. It's kind of low, but it's like if they're formless fainting, it doesn't even matter. Uh, nope, taking my sweet old time. Nice. No no rush for real. Jay's like you. Well, actually, I might just rush it now because after Jackal just beat the game, and he's saying that you pretty much don't really lose out on much on new game plus except you gain a lot more. So I was thinking instead of finishing every side quest on this playthrough, I'm probably going to finish the story and then start doing the other quests because the map, the map is apparently going to be still cleared as much as I already cleared. It's just I'll have access to some new stuff to use for the other one. So it's like, why not just do that on New Game Plus, you know? So that's why. Still not particularly rushing it. There's a couple things I want to do before going in there, but yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to get the last for DS3. Bruh, I don't know how you guys balance two different games like that. Like, I'm too invested in this game. I think I saw you playing Baldur's Gate as well. It's crazy. Two and a half to be It's nice. Finish Primal. What is Primal? Jason is have to go. Sorry. Oh, no problem, Jay. Thanks for tuning in, man. Good night. Love y'all. Yep. Goodbye. Love y'all. Yep. Have a good night, Jay. Thanks for tuning in. Nice. Thanks for hanging on, Jay. Hell yeah. Evidently, it is a contraption that allows for travel betwixt two points. Oh, now you must die. God, I love doing that. It's the... It is. It's the dash into dash uh, X1. So you get to do both. So you get to double stun everyone around and still get to teleport towards them. So satisfying. Oh yeah, it's like a timing requirement though. Let's see. Much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. 
Let's just return once we've grown tired. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Should probably watch where I land. Damn. It's kinda cool to like look for secret tokens at night. But with this thing, I don't I don't care what time it is. Kinda they are more, uh, vibrant at night. I know, and it was like a fun like there was one specific secret token that I literally saw at night i marked it on my map and then as i was making my way there it, it, the sun came up and i could not find it i was like did i is that a glitch there, there was no secret token and then then i turn night again and it shows up and then i go find it at night apparently it was freaking completely inside of a bush that it was only being meant to even seen at night hey osama he wants you to show him your pawn id if you don't mind oh, excuse me. oh thanks oh osama you're still here bro can you show your pawn ID? Uh, I want to send you a gift. Uh, dude, dude, please. You don't have to send me anything if you don't want to, man. Don't don't give me, like, overpowered stuff. I'm trying not to get overpowered, but, yeah, I will appreciate any support. If anything, bro, you seem like a chill dude. Join our Discord. It's pinned comment on the thing. We'd love to have you, man. Especially since we have other games in common, like uh, Elden Ring Secure and stuff like that. We'll probably get along, and when the DLC comes out, we can definitely summon each other and play and stuff like that. But, yeah, you don't don't feel obligated to send anything. But if you do want to summon Kratos, feel free to. There's a wait. Where's this phone ID? There we go. If anything, send gifts to Jackal. He loves gifts. Where's his one? Wait, what? <laughs> there's his. There's his one. If you want to send some crazy stuff, send it to Jackal. <laughs> well, yeah, appreciate it. Oh yeah, I'm always willing to try stuff out. You can oh, send yeah, stuff to other people in DD2. Yeah, just summon their pawns and just send send them back with a gift and stuff. You could send like port crystal and stuff and stuff. That's why. Yeah, Troopy, you know, if you stayed in our community and stuff, we could literally play and sign along with each other, summon each other's pawns. Well, that's fine. You know, that's fine. Tragic, really. Tragic, right? Matter of fact, we're planning on going back to Baldur's Game. That's going to be nice. Selling each other and stuff, you know. Yeah. That's whatever. We were looking for a third and fourth, but yeah. I guess, you know. I guess, I guess that's why you gotta join the discords and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, seriousness, no, seriousness, though. We'd love to have you guys. So. Oh, yeah. Got 100 plus members. Very active community. Uh, I got some spicy stuff to send. Uh, nah, bro. You guys don't, don't feel obligated to send me anything. Matter of fact, Jackal always offers to. Oh my God, do you really want to fight? I often send him like random upgrade maps, and he always turns it down. Yeah, half the fun is earning that shit, cause it's like having a rich dad giving you a Lamborghini versus earning it. You know, Jackal's like, oh, you want this really cool thing? I'm like, I kind of want to earn it though. <laughs> what about? Well, I mean, I can set it as a pawn quest. Yeah, that would that would be we cool, to... I guess, but. Usually we pretty, I don't know. Somebody else would snag that shit then. <laughs> yeah, true. Jordo, I'm still on the hard grind on Elden Ring. Well, it's a long game. About yeah. A, I think my first playthrough took like a month. Same. Probably more. What the fuck is that? How'd you miss? Not sure if there's open on me, you're on. GG's. GG's. <laughs> I love Kratos. Dude, that ring I put on is making a difference. I think, Jackal, you inspired me to put that on. I gave him the, the this one, the recitation, recitation or whatever. I was like, I wonder if it'll make oh, a it's... difference. It makes a difference makes on a AI. Difference. Like, for me, probably not, because I'm like, I'm not trying to lose health, but for pawns, like, there's so many times I'm looking at Kratos. What the fuck is going on? Go pick up the damn loot. What? Ooh, okay, um, go towards the other petrified creatures. Into the cave. Petrified? He's not petrified. Yeah. I just killed him. Now it... Medusa. Holy shit. But, um, what was I saying? Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Completely forgot. Yeah, I'm really picky when it comes to upgrading. 
Uh, I see so much stuff. Like, yeah, same, bro. Because I was like, in this game especially, like, if you upgrade something and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I want to switch it to this. Well, good luck in New Game Plus. So, yeah, I'm very stingy with my stuff. Stacked with that. We're same. I play the same way. I prefer Jackal's playstyle, especially since he tells me, like, you know, I made this mistake or I'm, I'm glad I did this. I, I just have the safety net. Start saving those. <laughs> just getting real as F. Oh, oh yeah, yeah Jordo. Elden Ring is sick. Wait, you have one million gold now? One million five? Jeez. That's right. Fair stoning everywhere. That's perfect. You've Fair got money everywhere. for uh, unmoored. Oh yeah, when you told me I need money, I was like, <laughs> say less. Money and upgrade mats. Yeah, I gotta start soon. Uh, well, it's 99, but I still would like more. Holy shit, that one's up there. I'll collect that. You need and trouble yourself. Oh, it's a waste of fuck! Oh, it's no. a waste of stone shard. I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. There, monster! Knackers! What'd you say? Oh, Augur oh, Flare and then... Oh, I love that, Kratos. Augur Flare Perfect into the freaking... Yeah, with the Hagel, that's what I wanted. Yo, he's playing extra good. I think he performs better on stream. Bro was not doing all that before. Dude, I, I was telling you, I brought him into Unmoored World like that. He is insane. Thank God. Yeah, he's, yeah. You're, you're gonna want him like that, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, I even gave him the ring just now, which he didn't have that ring before, so he would have probably performed even better now. Like, that ring is making a massive difference. I don't know if it's the AI that decided, okay, that's what you want, cool. Because even if it's 25%, it certainly wasn't meaning anything until, like, the, the tendencies for him changed. Yep, he's going straight into hell. Okay, I'm loving Kratos right now. Yeah, it seems like it might be OP right now, but uh, like I said, you're gonna want it. Yeah, no, I wanted him to. Perf Bro, if you play a sorcerer, you're not gonna think he's OP. Fair, yeah. <laughs> like literally, fight start. I quick cast Hegel. That that I even wanted. I'm telling you, I wanted to put Hegel on my current character, just because it's that good. And just quick cast Hegel. Pretty much the entire, whether it's a one boss, whether it's a variety of enemies, a gank. Doesn't matter. It slows everyone down as it's chipping away their health. So if you have the status afflict one on, which let me see. As spared, I almost never not use it. As much as damage and stuff is good, having the ice buff from the mage plus like Hagel and stuff like that, we're doing so much frost damage that even people that are resistant to frost is like, you know, very likely to get frosted. And don't even get me started. If it's raining, it's over. But yeah, it's really good. Uh. I want to play this so bad, but I need to get a PS5, but some games you can't play on PS5, so I want to keep my PS4. What game can you not play on PS4 that's on PS5? That's like such a rare occasion, not to mention like most of the games that I really enjoy are all, all playable on PS5, and they're a much better experience. Like I, I remember playing God of War 2018, and that was one of my favorite games of all time, and then when I got a PS5 and I played that on PS5 with a higher FPS, I was like, oh my god, this is a night and day difference. Um... I did keep my PS4 though. That's a really old PS4. Then it wasn't even a PS4 Pro. It was a Black Ops 3 edition with one terabyte storage. What type of, what type of games you want to play mainly? What type of games you want to play mainly? Talking to Jordo? Oh, I'll wait till PS4 Pro drops. Is it even worth it to wait for a PS4 Pro though? Like, what upgrades are you getting from a PS4 Pro that's our PS5 Pro that's not even our PS5? Like, if it was a FPS increase to like you know match some of the pc specs and stuff like that I'd be like hell yeah but it's not can you sleep at an inn bro he, he wants me to get the gift uh i'll do it later i don't want to like diverge my stream right now i'm trying to got, got a couple things going but i do appreciate it like i said osama we'd love to have you in the community if you want to join the discord because i do want to stream like games that we probably have in common and just your support means means a lot but yeah no pressure we'd just love to have you definitely join the discord if you want Oh wow, they still have the exact same icon, I just realized. Wait, are the icons the same depending on the location? Oh, it is. Ah, okay. Alright, ah, Medusa cool. Cave. Alright, let's see if I get Sherlock Holmes this shit. Wait, what the hell? This is not gonna get easier at night. An expression of pure terror haunts the... 
contents of this statue, the detail is exquisite, such that it seems apt to come alive at any moment. I can swear I've seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. Be a good mage. Climb. I could literally walk to the side and go around, but you know me. Wait, where are you going? That's right. Nowhere. It's part of being a mage experience. It's kind of being the mage, you know? There's nothing here, and I know that because my freaking ping is not pinging right now. But it's time to glitch out. There's a couple of glitch areas that I've already went into that I wasn't meant to. Like this. This right here. I went in through here. I jumped over the door. Nice. Yeah, that big door that's blocking it, I just jumped straight over it. Kinda you can like actually go from the south and... There's the fairy yeah. stone. Come around, yeah. I figured out the fairy stone the moment I jumped over it. <laughs> it's, it's like they, they rewarded you if you accidentally went yeah. around and realized, oh, you can't yep. get through this I way. I figured thing. that too. I was like, huh, you thought I would have made that mistake, but nope. Yep. Uh, okay, I sure this, did. What the hell is this place, bro? You know, I thought I would have turned back a while ago, but the game is just... I don't know. The game is not telling me to go back, uh, right? There's no reason for me to be up here right now. What the fuck is this? I, all I had to do was go around from <laughs> fucking elk. Stubborn oh, ass. Man. Am I pawn even gonna to make Oh, they did make it up here. What the fuck? Impressive. Okay, they do have invisible walls that'll straight up kill you if you try to get too ambitious. And now the harpies are gonna have advantage. Okay, maybe I should work my way down. What is it? What has happened to your magic? Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. See, bro, I already stole a freaking piece of meat. Either they're carrying around a scrap of meat in their pockets or they're straight up getting the freaking heart ripped out of their chest. I'm actually shocked there's nothing up here. Shame. I play all my games, if it had to be mainly, then a bunch of Soulsborne games and Sifu. Oh, yeah, Sifu's cool. It's easy hey, to make one. No <laughs> it's easy to make one, but no pressure. Glad to have someone. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's very easy to make Discord. I don't have a Discord, dude. I didn't either. And then I had one person in the live stream tell me I should make a Discord, and then it's the best decision, bro. So yeah, you could easily make one. Like I said, we'd love to have you. We have a lot of cool people in the community you talk to about um, Souls games and stuff like that. We have like a separate channel for Elden Ring, which I'm telling you, when Elden Ring DLC drops, that's all we're gonna be playing and talking about in the whole community. Uh, and you could have like us as summons and stuff like that. Like, if anything, I could drop you some stuff in Elden Ring, bro. Your boy could get to level 700, and we have copies of every item. But yeah. Wait till PS... Uh, let's see, okay, gonna get new phone now, not gonna lie. My phone got crushed today. Oh, that's sad. The whole backside is messed up now. But at least the screen ain't bad. That's, that's like, doable. If you put a case, maybe. It's easy to make one. But I'll put, uh, I'll play the games. Uh, but I'm gonna buy a PC. Oh, yeah. That's, that's gonna be huge. I used to play on PC, but then when I bought PS5, I almost exclusive to that since Jackal was a hater. <laughs> Am not. I don't even know how to get back down. What the fuck? Oh, secret, secret token. Wait, shine again? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, master. I'd gladly see you put what I find. I could swear I've seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. Oh, what the hell is that? Probably in a chest. Jill, how the hell?
I might have made a mistake. I might have made a slight miscalculation. Never mind. Did you by chance bring those daggers I mentioned? Nope. Ah, that's okay. I trust my twin blade to do the job, and if it doesn't, then I suck. Deeker token. Deeker token. You want to cut her head off, right? Oh. Hell yeah. Now here's a surprise. With my teeth. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Huh? I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Jill, how the hell did you get damaged? And who the fuck are you? What are you scared of? The dark? I'm gonna buy a katana for my stand. Oh, that'd be sick. Katanas are super expensive. Um, my first paycheck going straight to manga. <laughs> what manga do you read? You, you read Berserk, right? I have so much things I want to buy right now, lol. Yo, Troopy, since you like greatswords and stuff so much, what do you think of the greatswords in this game? Like, war, um, Warrior. Bro, I freaking love Warrior. I think war, uh, this game did uh, Colossal Weapons better than any other game I played. It's just, it hits so nice. Uh, then a sharpening and a cleaning set. Oh, damn, he knows about his katana. Jackal could talk to you about that. He knows his weapons. I do like my weapons. Deeker Sultan. What the fuck? An expression of pure terror haunts the countenance of this? Countenance of this statue. The detail is exquisite. Such that it seems apt to come alive at any moment. Sick. Oh, I'll take that. Wait, isn't we Life Taker the Guts great sword? Is it? Come chasing us as well, have you? It's pretty close. Torrents! Rumors abound of the Shrine of Elves. This domain could be and if monsters happen to be guarding it i shan't be a fear nay i'll strike him down with tooth and claw that's how run dummy he's gonna be fucking stoned in like two seconds stone well he's gonna be petrified that's crazy they literally sell you permanent or not permanent like immunity rings for every status on this game and I was like damn I should probably collect those because if I know a specific enemy is known for that status I could pretty much immobilize that effect they have except that one freaking I think the most annoying thing I had to do in a fight in this game was fighting a drake in lava I was like yeah form of faint is not invincibility through lava oh nice droppy Uh, pretty nice. I'm gonna hear the weight of it. Oh, wait, uh, sharpening definitely. There's some skill to it. Mid, uh, they don't have guts. Great sword. What? Joking. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Sound. The sound is perfect, and you can hear the weight of it. Hell yeah, you could feel it too. The attacks are so sick, especially with the timing of the R ones. Which vocation did you play the most, Troopy? Because I'm telling you, warriors like top, top, top two fun, most fun. I'd say number one is probably spear hand still, but definitely on the second row. Archering, archery, and war I say warriors number two maybe. Uh, regular archer might be three. Maybe. I still haven't used all of them, so maybe. Maybe who knows? Trickster might pop up there. Uh, Life Taker is a poor imitation of it. I don't think Life Taker's guts great sword. It's yeah. I wouldn't say poor imitation, but it's definitely its own thing. I almost wish it was an actual freaking Life Taker, man. I wish every swing gave you a little bit of health back. That'd been sick. Uh, alright, got Berserk Manga, Deluxe Edition Volume 1. I believe they got sued for having it too close to the first game. Oh, damn. Seriously, they copyrighted a freaking sword design? Oh, come on, that's lame. 696 six pages of peak. Okay, finished it in yeah, two days. Yeah, Give me some there glue. Something about it. 
Uh, I'm a fast reader. I enjoy the book, Warrior. What else? Okay, Bonk is the way to go from here. Warfare. All right, go ahead, Jackal. Oh, so, um, yeah, they got sued, I think, or maybe they got uh, copyrighted or something, but it was, they had, like, perfect copies of the armor and, uh, what is it called, oh. Dragon Slayer or something like that. Yeah, they named it the same thing, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely so they had the line. Yep. I'll do it. Dude, I don't know what the hell is happening. Kratos was not like this off stream, I'm telling you. I don't know if it's the ring or what, but bro is bro is going off right now. He's doing everything he needs well, to. He is a veteran of the unmoored world now. Could be. Bro is definitely not the same. Bro, everyone is performing right now. And I hope they stay like this, because bro, the AI either does really well like this or just completely. Like I'm telling you, I put on straightforward Kratos. I was just watching him. Bro would be one one millisecond away from casting me a meteor on, and then just cancel it. Not even absorb it. Just cancel it. Uh -huh. And like he did that constantly, and it was pissing me off. I'm like, bro's just standing there charging up his spell and not doing it. Which I'm guessing that ring might have had an effect where he just is able to cast it off. Because like maybe it has to do with like a target thing, where if the enemy like moves or they lose target, they just cancel it or something. I don't know. But all I'm saying is with this new ring so far, no that health sacrifice is certainly worth it because his output has increased a lot. And I'm guessing it's probably like a coded thing in the game. Like I was, I was assuming maybe the stamina had something to do with it. I was like, if the game, you know, decides like at, at about this point in his stamina build up or whatever, he's going to cast. But if it's any lower than this, they're going to be like preserving it. So I was like, let me put on the faster stamina regen one and see if he performs better that way. He's always topped off. But um, yeah, I think understanding the AI would help me make the builds better because whatever works on paper doesn't always translate. Oh damn, it's the cave. It's the cave. And what's on this side? Oh yeah, so oh, what happened yesterday to the kind citizens of the uh, Hot Springs camp or the Volcano ah, camp? So, uh, <laughs> so what happened was I was just accidentally resting in an inn and the freaking... That cutscene was still probably the coolest cutscene in the entire game. Like they definitely put effort into that. That was very sick. Like I had music playing and that's probably why I didn't realize dude was going berserk. He seemed somewhat like an asshole, but I couldn't tell he was getting rotted or, or not rotted, like dragon plagued. But yeah, he, he slaughtered that whole, whole thing. And then I guess I could take sauna dips for free after that because I just walked right in. And just normally in places where you try to go out of the boundary in that place, they're like, you know, freaking, you can't leave. Do you want to leave the sauna? It wasn't there. So I could like freely explore the whole thing and still take free dips. But it was interesting. But I reverted that. So yeah. Archer is stupid. Um, yeah. uh, what do you mean, Osuma? Um... Hell's Paradise. Ooh, Tokyo Ghoul. I freaking love Tokyo Ghoul. It was a weird, weird second season compared to the first, but it was still good, I guess. Hell's Paradise, I have no no idea about Vagabond. I don't know. And a silent voice manga is what I want right now. Yeah, I don't know most of them, but yeah, Tokyo Ghoul, I really like. Tokyo Ghoul had one of the best soundtracks in any any anime. Or uh, Deegan's Plague. <laughs> uh, Jason, can you tell, tell you about his Dragon Play experience? <laughs> Berserk's so good. I'm all right, gonna get a tattoo of the brand of sacrifice on my neck. Oh, Troopy, come on, man. You're too young to be getting tattoos. I wish you can actually fight the dragon to try to protect the town. I thought that's what was gonna happen. It literally said, go see what had happened outside or something. Like, I thought, oh, it's time to go fight a dragon. It's gonna be 3v1. But no, my freaking entire team was gone. There was no dragon, just bodies all over. I was like, the fuck is this? So yeah, I really thought it should have been an actual dragon, like you just said. And I, I was assuming it would be, but... It was not. It was not. It was kind of disappointing. It looked pretty grim, though. The area definitely feels like... I can imagine someone who didn't have any spoilers just accidentally getting that would be a very, very big shock, and they'll just have the suspense and stuff. But, yeah, it was weird. Just I was by myself. I had to go hit a rift stone to get Kratos back. I got my team back. Weirdly enough, right afterwards, Kratos' eyes turned red. It was very weird how dragon play works in this game. Like, you don't need to get, even fight a dragon. Maybe they fought it in a different world or they got summoned or something. I don't know what it is, but it's very random. And this one time, I, I was, saw one of them literally have red eyes, like glowing red eyes. I'm like, all right, time to go summon it and just start fighting it. I was, like, intentionally going to a campfire dip far away. And then I rested and I woke up and it had no red eyes. It was just gone. It made no sense. 
maybe it was waiting for an inn or something to kill, but if it's not an inn, it just loses it or something. It's very weird. There's really no tell for it. The dialogues, though, there's tells about the dialogue. You can tell they're, they're going crazy. Um, season 2 was good. What do you mean? On Tokyo Ghoul, bro, first season and second season are completely different. Anyone that has watched it will give you tell you, like, the first couple episodes, they were just confused. I don't want to spoil anything for people that haven't seen it, but it was very confusing to hop on second season right out the gate. I'm on New Game Plus 3, Jackal. Holy shit. Got double poison arrows on a boss. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, real that. Um, I wish you can actually fight that. I wish I haven't seen that so much. Try double poison arrows on a boss. Wait, you mean the blight? I have never tried that. No, that sounds interesting. So far, I've only seen Jackal use poison, and it just doesn't last very long, but maybe the arrows are better. But when you said stupid, you mean broken or just not good? Season 3, they sold... Yeah. See, okay, I might be talking about Season 3 then, my bad. I'm probably confusing it on what happened. Season 2 is good. Okay, yeah, I might be confusing Season 3 and 2, my bad. I haven't seen the live-action version, but I loved Yu Yu Hakusho growing up. What is that one, Jackal? Uh, Ghost Detective, it was... Uh... You just had to have seen it, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And it was a Shonen Jump manga, so. Uh, you can't get Dragon Slayer before the tutorial pop up. Okay. Nice of some. I just did it on more for the first time. That's nice. I feel like you're talking about season three. Yep, I am, I guess. Since the first time I got the tutorial screen, I never recruited any pawn wear a mask and check their eyes before sleep. I mean, you could still recruit them, but um, yeah, you're going to have to take off their helmet, see their eyes. And uh, there's like people I think already like designed their character with red eyes. It's not a good idea. Very, very not a good idea. Because season three is where everyone is confused. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm confused. <gasps> I'm back. My internet went out. Yo, no problem, Jordo. Welcome back. Ah, <sighs> so if I go right, it's gonna take me to Sigurd. I see. If I go left, cave time for Madisa. Madisa. Oh, that music said I'm out. Talk to you later. But wait, there's more. Yeah, the circle's out of the cave. Left is the only real option. What, are you gonna fight me, dude? Fight me, then. Not a climb. Here we go again. Trying to be like Jackal and curve my arrows. Oh my god, Kratos, you're doing too good. Like, I'm actually shocked at how good he's doing. I knew that I could count oh my yeah, Augular. Augural. Oh, does he do that though? But does he do oh, that yeah, though for, for you? Me. Okay, so I'm just like uh, t uh, attributing everything to the ring, but no, he's not like this. Like, bro, it's just like sees an enemy and snap. Maybe they did fix it or something, but he like sees an enemy and instantly goes straight in action. Whereas in before it was like, bro, is just doing nothing. Oh, he just stole 1000. Let's go. Thief! I actually had fun playing a thief when I was pilfering, because I was like trying to knock them off of balance so I could steal from them. Then I realize you don't have to knock them off balance to steal from them. Or do you? Oh no, you have to like hold them down. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you do have to knock them off balance. How many times? Oh, I want to see your pawn, by the way. Um, I don't, I don't want to summon it because you seem like you'd be really high level, but I do want to see what it is. Oh, come on. Hey, Kaka, yeah. welcome to the stream. Hey, my boy Kaka is here. Let's go. How are you, endgame yet? Probably I'll get there today, maybe, Kaka. Welcome. But yeah, I usually check the pawns for people that are in the Discord, so please do make a Discord with someone. We'd, like I said, I want to I wanna keep in touch and like tell you when we're streaming and notifications and stuff like that, so yeah, f feel free to take the time out to just make one. And yeah, I would love to check out your pawn afterwards. We love summoning each other's pawns. Especially with New Game Plus, I'm probably not going to care about having people that are overleveled and stuff, so at that point I'll just summon anyone and everyone. But yeah, I love nerding out about this game with people that know what they're doing. It's very fun. Even if they don't know what they're doing, it's still fun. Oh yeah, the builds. Oh, the builds. I really want to start maybe working my way down to like start taking on members of my team. Because that'll be like the one of the only ways before a hard mode. To make the difficulty harder. I know like w three members is certainly doable. Probably a little bit more challenging than four because you have to optimize but it's when two and one members is when it starts really picking up. Like having only two members you're gonna have to really start you know min maxing and stuff like that and if you're only one player that's like by far the most difficult. 
I'm looking forward to giving it a try too. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, we're gonna really enjoy that. All the min-maxing and stuff. Oh wow, I should've probably did something first, but yeah. All the... What the fuck is that sound? What the fuck is that sound? Holy shit. God damn it! Y'all are supposed to help me! I have subtlety on. Wards are crazy. I don't know why they have so much help. I think they're technically considered a boss, because, um. What are they called? Oh, I can't see the. Oh, there we go. Ward, yeah. Yeah, they put them in here, which I don't know. They don't get a health bar, but they're definitely considered something. Oh yeah, they have enough health for sure. Yeah, they have a ton of XP. I think this one just gave me more XP than a Griffin. Hey, GDBTS, welcome to the stream. Guts. <laughs> we got guts and troopy in this AO. Y'all could probably nerd out of our gu uh, guts, or um, what are they called? Berserk. All right. Oh, um, I see. <laughs> yeah, no. It, it's some um, Israel. How you doing, man? Should I get with this game, bro? I don't even know, man. I'm, I'm like done recommending games to people because it, it's like you gotta understand the type of games they play and how they're gonna approach the game. Like I've recommended this game to people that just picked it up, started throwing people around, and never touched it again. So I don't know. It's up to you. You you decide. Uh, I love it though. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I missed a lot. Sorry. If, if I miss a lot of chat and it's like scrolling too far to the point where it's like new, just let me know. All right, Jackal? Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'll like stop whatever I'm doing because I can pause in this game. Definitely uh, catch up because by the time I read some of them, it might be too late. So, yeah. Let's see. Look at it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just dismissed my pawns before resting at an inn. Oh, my God, bro. Is that why you're giving me no thumbs up? I think the last three summons Kratos got nothing from you, bro. It's heartbreaking when everyone oh. else gives me a thumbs up and heart and you just gave me nothing. So you were my No, that friend. was because he uh, took a brine dip by his uh, own volition. Yeah, I don't know why they've been doing that. Like, anytime I go near water, I'm, like, hesitant. I, I might have to start telling them to wait because I don't know why. They just start running headfirst into the freaking brine. Is this one my pawns are resting? I don't know. I uh, got the Sphinx reward. Now I'm trying to get the achievement. <laughs> Lucky bro, my beard coming in looking fire for real. No way, Troopy. Troopy's going to not know how to act. Did you play DD1? I have not. Uh, I played a little bit of it, just fought a camera to compare. We have a guy in Discord uh, playing through the whole thing right now, yep. But yeah. Appreciate that, Jackal. Hi, are you endgame yet? No, not yet, I guess. He loves Mystic Knight, he was really liking Strider. Cool. Oh my god, how you guys level up so fast. I mean, it, it just comes down, I would say it comes down to... um. Let me show you. It comes down to the region of your area. Like, when, if I decided to just keep playing around here, there's, like, not enough XP. Around Checkpoint Town, where it starts picking up quite a bit, um, and Batala and stuff like that, I would say, especially around, like, the Batala area and this area, just even regular enemies give you, like, 300 plus and then 500 plus, and the bosses are obviously... Hell, even the bosses are not even the standout part it's it's usually the mini enemies like if you start killing mobs it gives you so much xp like you can if you kill three uh four sets of mobs it's pretty much like killing one boss but i don't mean to i just like i like fighting stuff and it's like in this game it's not the easiest thing to run from enemies if you don't have good stamina management and stuff like that, they will catch up to you and start peppering your health um which is cool i like it but i'm probably not gonna level up as much now because i'm just gonna fairy stone everywhere i don't plan on because that's the thing i was just being very stingy with my fairy stone and that's why i was leveling up so fast and if I wanted to, don't even give me so I'm trying not to level up fast. Where's that shit? If I wanted to, there we go. I got Ring of Ambition, a ring bearing mysterious powers, and rigor experience, slightly boost experience gain. If I wanted, I could put that on for more XP, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I got the increased discipline one on right now because I do want to level up locations. Did you do oh. any of the Sphinx riddles? I have not. Jordo, oh, well, the first first set, yeah. Jordo, uh, gotta go, so I'll see you later. Yo, thanks for hanging out, Jordo, man. Appreciate it. Take care. 
Hey, we're doing a ton of side content. Hell yeah. See you later, Jordo. Thanks for hopping on again. Speaking of nerding out, my friend asked if Baldur's Gate 3 is a good, uh, is a good, and what about it? I went on a 15-minute yeah session for realizing I'm talking too much. Yeah, no, that, that's what happens. I've realized, like, I, I tend to overwhelm people with too much information that just, I don't know, just too much information. I really have to, like, pull back on it. You want to try to simplify it for people, because if it's a game type that they've never played, like, for example, Baldur's Gate was my first ever turn-based action open world game that it was or whatever you want to call it uh this dnd dnd experience and then this uh world of warfare experience is my first really world of warcraft experience elden ring was like one of my first real open world games and it's like every one of those was like a whole different experience for me and if i had someone just yap at me for 15 minutes about like how it is and whatnot i wouldn't understand it as much as just playing it and just gotta ask them what kind of games they like and if it seems similar and you could tell them these are the aspects that it has you might enjoy uh, but yeah, other than that, you can't really predict if someone will like it or not. People just play things differently, very much. And the best thing I've seen is just let them play on their own, bro. Something about watching people play or just being there hovering over just makes them play like an idiot. Like they just, I don't know, they think they're streamer mode or some shit. It's really bad. But yeah, just let them enjoy it on their own own time. Uh, we should get Mr. Singh to do the pure trickster solo challenge on Oh man. I'll explaining mechanics and how builds work in that game. Yeah, no, that's too advanced, bro. I think Baldur's Gate has some of the most advanced build, team builds and stuff mechanics in any game I've played. Like, if anything, if I made my channel based around anything, I feel like Baldur's Gate would have the most longevity with how much possibilities. But it's just not the most stream-friendly game. Should I get? Uh, this game has been the most fun I've had in a long time. Is it RPG? Role-playing game? Yeah, it's definitely RPG, yep. Most fun I've had in a long time. There you go. Jack will attest to it. Uh, it looks like Elden Ring game. Similar, very similar. Quest 2. Did you check my pawn change again? Cow, cow, come on, man. <laughs> Alright. We will eventually. First Medusa, then Lesser Dragon. Cool. Medusa. It's about time we pressed on. Jill, how are you so weak? Did you fall off the map or something? I think she did. Oh, yeah, Kratos. Hit it one time. Hit it one time. Alright. Lantern fuel. Who's carrying around my lantern fuel? The hell are you carrying? Yo, I've noticed one thing. If you have 99 of something and you give any of your non-main pawn, or I think even main pawn, if you give it to anyone but yourself and you dismiss them somehow or they die or something, it does not go to any chest. It's gone. Oh, no. Learned that, that the sucks. hard way. Yeah, no, I had too many tarring arrows, and I thought, eh, what's the worst that's going to happen? It ain't going to come back to you. It's going to be gone. Even the camping Yikes. kits, I think, has a similar feature, because there are times I'm like, I didn't get rid of this camping bag. Where'd it go? I swear they took that with them or something. It's very weird. So I'm hesitant on giving certain items to pawns, because, yeah, you accidentally dismiss them or they die, it's over. You lost it. But if I have 99 of them, it's not enough. Cow, cow. I think you need a striker in your party for attraction. Cow, cow. Uh, I think you need a striker in your party for attraction. We talking about DD1? There's no strikers in this game. You mean Strider, though, right? You think he meant Strider? I think, like, a fighter or something, maybe. Oh, no. J Jill is just soloing it. Solo one man. Or one woman army. So they have formless she faint. Um, yeah, she has formless faint. I give her bubble. She has increases likelihood of being target times two, actually times three because of um, provocation. Increases likelihood of being targeted. It's just this is the best thief pawn I've found out in the world. Only critique would be maybe changing masterful skill for um the the rope one, but um yeah I mean so far it's doing well, so I don't really have any complaints. If there are levitating enemies or flying enemies, I. I just have my sorcerer do some stuff. I could always stun them out of the air too. But yeah, no real complaints. It's got really good stats too. Like really good magic stat, defense, knockdown power. It's just all around so good that even the fact that it's level 66, I'm keeping it in my party. It's very good. It has word, straightforward woodland wordsmith. So far it's really good. So yeah, as long as I keep him, keep her alive with my bubble and stuff like that. And it pulls off formless faint, which it seems to do really freaking well really no worries but yeah otherwise i probably would have two sort of two sort of hand-to-hand -hand fighters which i guess i am one of them i was originally being the tank for my team but i kind of like sitting back and shooting my arrows from time to time 
it, it lets me get off the augural flare off a little bit more but yeah i could play it either or my, my character is so versatile i could probably solo the game at this point just not it wouldn't be easy but i could do it issue welcome yeah you're parking the fighter for enemy focus cow 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 the left okay uh thief can make better tanks than warriors and fighters if they're built right yeah warriors are probably still probably the best tank but jill is just doing everything she's stealing she if she does four must faint she's a better but it just relies it depends on does it do it and in terms of hitting weak spot jill is better 100 percent. warrior is just meant to just take the the brunt of the force like straight up it'll do a better job because that little loss gauge that jill has right now it would be much less of a warrior that's the only reason they'll, they'll get knocked down less and stuff like that so that's the only way and it's like i do like having a warrior and a thief but at this point if, I, if i'm already working with four four members which you know kratos is a sorcerer and then jackal's pawn i can't even call her main pawn anymore what is the pronunciation luthien 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 like luthien is the mage so i would have to be the second fighter and yeah if i'm if i'm getting aggroed i'm not doing all girl flare with the arrows just bubbling all over and then i'm just gonna have to rely on kratos to be the dps which don't really want to Appreciate the input though. Let's see. Uh, yes. All heal elixir. Wow. I just hear a goo. It's like waiting right under me. You see this shit? I sustain is yours to win. Wait, is that the ladder to nowhere? Wow, it really is a ladder to fucking nowhere. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Yo, W developers for that. This is just a trap. You're supposed to slide down like an idiot and just fall straight into the goo and your teammates can't really help you too much unless they come down. Or they fall in. That's actually freaking hilarious. If you did melee here, you wouldn't be able to do anything to the goo. Unless you have like some sort of imbue on your weapon, which... How would you know? Yeah, that is a death trap. I like that. <laughs> Good one. If you just like mindlessly just slide in, you're screwed. What was your experience then that in that area, Jackal? <laughs> exactly that. Sliding oh. down on it. <laughs> I was like, what is that goo sound? No way. Uh, well, I wasn't running my lantern for some reason. Uh, yeah, no, I, I just don't use lanterns for the most part. Because, like, they really put crimson teeth this deep in the game. Ain't no way they did that. I have 27 all heal elixir. Let's freaking go. Perhaps better than anything we have at present. As they say, tis the wearer that... Uh, let's be running split melee DPS tank build. Yes, exactly. DPS tank build, yep. And I have ranged. Uh, and regen in some sense, but it's not really for my teammate. While using the thief as the main tank to keep the pressure. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Pressure off. And again, like, it's very hard to find a thief that can solo tank. Like, usually you're going to need one or two. Or sorry, yeah, usually you're going to need two at least to, like, take aggro. Because if one person is usually not going to be able to suffice. But this one is. Jill is definitely going to do it. They have the stats and the... The build supports it. Yeah, go, I don't think so. I don't think so. Thief for damage, fighter and warrior are the real tank. Uh, different with warrior and fighter. Fighters are faster to damage them. I mean, you know, paper that makes sense, but the game is designed very differently, man. Like, I don't know how to explain it to you. Like, on paper, like, a lot of things make sense, but then there's, like, one skill or just AI that just changes everything. Like, if, if a thief has formless faint active, the warrior is not going to touch that thing. Like, it, there's nothing they can do for that. And if, if the AI decides to not deactivate it and just R1 spam and stuff like that, like, that thing is obviously going to be better than um, warrior. But, yeah, if, if they nerf thief, then definitely warrior is the best. Like, I've never had a good-ass tank like a warrior. They're, like, endgame warriors that I've summoned have, like, upwards of 1,000 damage, 1,000 defense, 1,000 knockdown power, all of that stuff. And it's, like, if they design the the skills correctly i think there's a one absolute no-no skill that i've like consistently found that doesn't work with warrior and that's their um the meister skill because they'll literally consistently use it and just be completely huffing and puffing and doing nothing definitely don't put that on 
but everything else they do a really good job because they just don't know when to use that Meister skill. But yeah, I do I do like Warrior a lot, but just like I said, if I have to only choose one, I'm always gonna choose Thief because them stealing Wakestone shards and Dragon Scales and Dragon stuff like free loot. Like all, all you have to do is knock them down. The AI is just like I got you, bro. Instantly uses it. Like the AI knows when to use it. Um, but yeah, they they can also they do a better job against golems. Like I've had two side by side, a thief and a really really good warrior, and the warrior could not touch that golem. It's completely helpless. Uh, but yeah, it's personal preference, man. I mean, if if it works for you and if you just make it work, it works. If if it doesn't, like you know, we have disagreements and just have different opinions. Like you like uh a mage with you know damage and stuff like that and i've summoned a couple of them with damage and it's just like if they're kitted correctly with like kind-hearted and like good heals and so even Ar argent susser now i'm more inclined to summon someone with argent susser because i don't need it but whenever there's a tank that's in the middle of a fight that needs the heal i really don't want my mage to run in there and just start doing a bubble and get fucking smacked so i can see the use for the, a lot of the stuff but yeah like the the mage that I had I was like oh a thousand freaking magic damage and then it also uses lightning it should be good in theory but like I said if it's kind hearted and it does all that stuff you'll see them doing every other skill in their book before they do a lightning so it's like well, at that point why would they even need it because there's better stuff because they'll use like the support stuff way more so they just designed it that way and whatever works works whatever doesn't doesn't work but I try to go off of my own experience and decide what I prefer and what I don't um let's see I don't think so. These ones are much fighter and warrior. Are real thing for warrior, fighter is faster for damage. But lucky warrior is slow good for a boss. These and warriors are slow good for boss. Warriors do slow damage, but they hit like a truck. Yeah, their knockdown is really good. That's what they specialize in. Knockdown power. I got comical. Uh, I got com commercial. Wait, I got. Oh, you got an ad. You get paid YouTube yeah. money. Yeah, <laughs> couple chains, bro. Some chains. Appreciate the support though. Uh, plus my mage is throwing celerity. Yes, yeah, celerity. So uh. Celestial Pond. Dude, I didn't realize how good Celerity was until, like, I see the Jackal do certain things. Like, that little blade spin, bro. That thing seems, like, 50% faster, if not more. Like, that thing really started swinging, swinging. And that's, like, insane oh, DPS. It, yeah, if every person on your team is getting that buff, bro, your entire DPS is going up like crazy. You're getting more value out of your stamina. Like, it's just insane how good that is. But I literally, as I played as a mage, it was so fucking hard to buff people. Because it's like, you'll see the freaking mage casting, and you'll walk, run up to him start the cast and he just moved two inches to the right and now you miss him and it was super annoying but um yeah it's just i want to have to like have them cast it and then just say everyone to me and then have it because that makes a huge difference uh oh uh constantly they never run off plus mages throwing celerity and celestial pine for constantly so they never run off stamina for yeah i noticed that like as i was playing thief earlier just for a testing thing like that that stamina buff is fucking nuts. That way you don't have to worry about stamina at all. So you just go straight into either uh, Helm Splitter or the the Fire one. What is it? The Blades of the Pyre and just spam it. And it's just you turn into the freaking craziest DPS um, thief. And I really do think eventually I'll try to do one thief as me, and maybe two mages or three mages. Probably like a maybe I don't know either three mages or two mages and just all of them have Pion and. Um, I don't know, I guess I don't need Palladium, but, and a weapon buff, I guess. Yeah, nah, that'd be good. Just Celestial Pion and three different elemental weapon buffs that'll give me whichever they're weak to, and just see how that works, because if, if they synergize well enough to, like, keep me Pion topped off, that'll be really freaking good. That would just basically, and, and I need them to stay the hell away, I don't want them getting any clothes, put on, like, Subtlety, what else, and I'll, I'll put on double freaking aggro ring if necessary, but I just need the boss to be targeted on me, and then it'll be a slow fight, because I know I'm not really the greatest DPS until that uh, Pion hits, but yeah, that's going to be a fun way to play if I, if I ever do do that. Um, there are Zamina Warrior. Primarily is not designed to be the tank. His job is to knock down foes, but it does the tank job better than anyone else. Like, again, like, if the Thief does not have Formless Fate active, I've seen it get slapped around really fucking hard. Like, it'll go from doing wonderful to this dead like that if they just don't execute well. Especially since I'm only having one one person going in. Like, it's just Jill. There's no one else. Like, if the boss... Like, th this Jill doesn't have, like, the greatest knockdown resist. Like, the warrior, I think, comes, comes in with 400 knockdown. Which, I don't know if that's, like, a magical number in the game. But I made sure to give Kratos over 400 and myself over 400. Just because if that is a magical number that, like, starts tanking most 
strong stuff uh, just in case so i gave it the 400 but like you could see jill has only 107 so if she gets hit and she's knocked down and doesn't have like fast get up from knockdown which i don't think she does it gets ugly really quickly because my thing is like i need her to hold them off long enough for me to get an augural flare off and some arrows off because once that happens they'll usually be stopped in their tracks but golems are so far by far the hardest thing i have to deal with because man the last phase of the golem is by far the most annoying if, if kratos decides to do a meteor on early on it's literally one shot it's over but if he doesn't do it then it's like the most tedious last inch of the fight ever um but yeah like i said we, we could disagree on stuff and whatever works it doesn't work like even me like watching kratos fight right now i'm like why is he so good sometimes my sorcerer is just brain dead and just starts casting canceling casting canceling and doing nothing the fight has started he's just running around or doing some dumb shit or just using his r1 attacks or whatever square attacks and normal controls but then other times like you saw just instantly augural flare and it's like dude good good job um but yeah apparently warriors are actually tank bro like stat wise i think um fighters come in with the most defense thieves come in with the most strength um warriors actually come in with the most health so if that's not a tank i don't know what is um mage built for dps is just a weaker sword yep with some buffs i'd rather have pure support so i build mine that way yep exactly uh also i think you don't play the game warriors or tank yo we don't gotta start insulting people man bro's on new game plus too come on just get along I, I know it gets really like technical and like people has like has their own opinion and stuff but like bro somebody could come in here with four fucking warriors in their team and still make it work i'm telling you like you might think oh there's no way it's possible i've seen people do it like they'll put on four warriors and just like somehow figure it out and just have fun with it we don't have to tell them like oh you know put put whatever in here you'll have a better time it'll be better it's like as long as they're not quitting the game like they're still playing it and enjoying it it's fine like bro i've, I've seen elitists in Baldur's game and people want like the most fucking optimal to down to the last decimal everything accurate and it's like okay we did that and then what nothing like no one's having more fun being the best best builded character ever going through the game freaking annihilating every enemy like no one's having fun that way so it's like try to keep it respectful and just you know valid criticism rather than like forcing it down people's throats but yeah i appreciate the support guys uh you can hit the warrior to the ground uh, yeah one thing i've noticed about warriors like their loss gauge does not freaking go down like i've i've played as thief fighter and warrior but by far as a warrior like i would get hit and i'd be like oh my god that's such a strong attack that might have messed me up i look at my health bar and it's like my loss gauge barely moved and i was like wow that's like the most important thing you don't want the loss gauge to get drained whenever you're you're you know trying to tank and that's like by far the best like i said if they do nerf thief with the formless faint i think warrior by far is going to be the best tank if anything i need i think um fighter needs a buff um uh, warriors and fighters can be spec to tank as well as thief but warriors work better in my experience yep in my experience too as a dps knockdown yep that too yeah i don't know how the warriors ai works but if they do do the knockdown attacks and they hit the head that would be really nice but i haven't had a warrior that that many times like i said certain enemies i fought like golems and stuff it, it's like the warrior was pretty much useless in terms of like doing any damage or knockdown it was just it was just tanking i guess and taking aggro um one good thing is the warrior comes in with that um provocation skill which a lot of people that kit out the randoms that you have to pick up on your team they don't understand what augments to put on so they just put on whatever the you know character comes with so it's, it's good that they usually have that and it's a really annoying when thieves have subtlety and i'm trying to make them you know the the tank but yeah like ideally they should make it so thieves shouldn't be able to tank because they're not meant to you know but if they can then cool because at that point fighters are getting completely shunned out so like the dude has a shield and he's not even i don't even know how the ai works but that shield is not doing much it just does a worse job pretty much um well the, there's the shield skill that does the spinny shields it's really good but does the does the freaking ai know that oh yeah i mean i've seen some really good fighter tanks but uh, i did bring a warrior in the when you say world. you saw it like do you mean like you played alongside and it was doing something phenomenal or just they kitted it correctly. oh yeah oh, okay yeah i haven't they, summoned fighters in a while up right yeah yeah i haven't seen a fighter in a long time but i would love to revisit and like see like good kitted fighters who like actually watch their pawns like i've seen thieves put on um pawns with uh blades of the pyre or whatever like explosion one and the ai is just like instead of formless fainting first they just blow themselves up and they lose all their health and i'm like you clearly have this as your main pawn and you see them do it over and over again and you still don't decide to change it it's like i don't know um yeah 
Even casters do better with Dwarven. Yeah, I've been wondering. That's one of my biggest questions. Like, I have two questions about this game. One is like, is the knockdown really that important with Dwarven? I know for for um armor, absolutely. But for like damage or like for your weapon, like let's say the um my twin blade right now has a lot of um knockdown. But it's like if I'm not hitting their head or their weak spot, it doesn't like if I'm tw- uh, hitting them with their leg, they're not getting knocked down. It just doesn't seem to be happening unless I'm like a warrior with a great sword. And if I have the magic archer, which I do, and I have knockdown on it. It's like, even if I had a weak spot, it just doesn't seem to be building up the knockdown. Or maybe it is, and I just don't see it. And, you know, maybe it adds to the combination of knockdown and they get off balance, but I can't really tell. I definitely could tell instantly when I played Warrior and I hit him in the face with, like, an uppercut. But it's, it's, it's what it is. Um, uh, 107 knockdown resist is very low. Yeah, that is super low. It is very super low, I agree. True, but she... I, I don't even think they upgraded it with their... Um, what is it called? Yeah, no, if you look at their upgrades, they literally don't have a single Dwarven. They, they just didn't do it for that. But like I say, it's the best pawn i found yet for Thief. Yeah, it seems to be doing well. <coughs> um, uh, uh, they're really um, low. Yep, Mage really OP with damage. The Maester skill is crazy. Uh, you know what's funny, Cow Cow? I tried playing as a mage just to level it up. I did not like Celestial Pion as a player. As a pawn, absolutely. Like, I always search with uh, Celestial Pion, but not not as um, the person playing it, because it literally takes you out. It's always good to play as the vocation to get a better understanding of what it is, rather than just throwing it on a pawn and just complaining that, why is it not doing certain things? And it's like, then you understand, ah, that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, Sorcerer, oh yeah, the Sorcerer Maester skill, bro, the the um, meteor on the tornado and all girl player like i said i'd say sorcerer is the best dps in the game if you don't count like the magic archer's new health ability but that's like not sustainable but yeah your pawn becomes better the more you play the game yeah i, I was hoping that's the thing osama I, I wonder if it has to do with the badges or not but yeah kratos has been really doing a lot better now yes you are uh yes you're right the 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 learn more oh okay yeah I, is it the badge related is the badges what contributing to how well they play or it's like every time Kratos comes in for a different world, he's like, I've learned something from my experience. We fought a Chimera. So does that mean they're getting better at fighting those enemies? Or I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, maybe in the first game they had information. They probably carried on. No defensive options for Warrior except for par- uh, Parry. Well, the thing is, it's not supposed to. Like, there's even a weapon in the game for the Warrior that says the lower your health, the more damage it does. It's like the developers designed him to take the hit. And it doesn't lose much loss gauge. So it's like he's supposed to actually face tank the attacks not block it not dodge it like straight up face tank the attacks not move from his feet because he's got so much poise like they designed him for that however fighter can block deflect as a multiple def- again like i don't i've not seen the fighter's ai but i'm pretty sure if i were to watch the fighter's ai it's not going to be parrying very much like it'll be very rare occasions but that's just my assumption but yeah if they decided to give fighter god tier ai where it's just dodging parrying blocking then it would be one of the best but I don't know, I just, when I remember at the early game when I was using Fighter, very quickly I switched to Warrior for the Pawn and Thief. If this guy gets the opening his mouth, relies... If this guy has that opening his mouth, relies on his knockdown resistance and keeps poising through every attack, it seems to him like he is a tank, but he just bad at the game and being carried by stats. Wait, you talking about this guy? It's a, it's his pawn. How can he be bad at the game? Like I'm I'm not getting confused. No, if this guy that opening his mouth relies on his knockdown resistance. I'm I'm confused. Poison for every attack. Something like I I would actually think it's a good thing if you're tanking through the attacks of the warrior. It's not taking too much um thing damage. But again, I haven't gone to end game. Maybe warriors can't tank later on, but. I don't know, man. I've seen like thousand plus defense, thousand plus poise, and all that from end game armor and stuff like that. And it's like they don't need to last very long. Like if they can tank for I'd say thirty seconds, which is uh, like maximum thirty seconds maximum, I can kill pretty much any boss that I fought so far. It's just they're not gonna last because I know how to DPS. Like a, a sorcerer, a proper kitted sorcerer plus me. Like he does not need a tank for long unless it's like a weak spot related, like a golem thing. Like that's different, but overall like the tank is not supposed to survive for like super freaking long without being unscathed especially as a pawn the difference with warrior and fighter fighter are good with uh minions help you kill monsters yes fast agreed warrior is good for the boss warrior has been good for everything man i've seen warriors just freaking destroy like warriors are just 
as a player or as a pawn, warriors are like two of the, it's just some of the best. I've just seen too many good warriors. Maybe that's just my experience. And fighter is good to aggressive on them even more. Yep. Uh, for sorcerer, use uh, skill flags on boss. What's skill flags? For sorcerer to use skill flags on boss. Oh, so you have more time for sorcerer to use skill. Okay, okay, that's a continuation. Because of them. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I, lo I love that. I actually love that the, f the warrior and sorcerer combo. The warrior is supposed to take aggro, tank through the thing, and the sorcerer's DPS that would be helpless without the, the other. But yeah, I love knocking enemies out. I'm talking about the guy who said you didn't play the game. Yeah, yeah, just try to be nice to each other, guys. Come on. Uh, we're all playing the same game, trying to enjoy it. Try not to be insulting. I don't think he meant anything bad. Uh, let's let that go. Yeah, exactly. Lol, this game is about stats. If warriors have better stat and resistance is better. This game is not Fortnite to become pro. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like we can't take the game that seriously. Like, I know, I know a lot of the time, like us nerds, we try to like, you know, min max to the point where it's like this is better, this is worse, and it's like all of us are gonna end up beating the game the same. Like the the experience could be a little bit more, you know, um, uh, what's the word? Like bumpy, bumpier ride or just a smoother ride, just depending on whatever. But it's like it, it's just I don't know. It's fine. Just it's okay to have a completely fucking shitty team and just enjoy the game. The game has a ton to build, and half of the fun is seeing everyone else's style. Yes, exactly. I always love seeing other people, like, even when they summon my pawn, I love seeing their Arisen and stuff, and I just like to see a lot of them that uses um, Warfare. I love seeing, like, which three skills did they choose. Like, recently I saw someone with, um, similar to Jackal's one. I've seen someone with a completely different, like, all three Magical Archer. Just, it's very unique to see how they put the different stuff together and which they prefer. And it, it would have been sad if everybody had the exact same three skills like mine, and they thought, oh, no, that's the best one. You just bubble, 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 and it's like, I don't want that. Um, um, see, this game, the tongue is on this one. He plays this game. Of course, man, cow cow, don't be an asshole, man. Of course, he plays the game. Try to be, try to be welcome to people that are new to the stream, man. This is his first day here, man. Just try to be nice to them. Oh, the warfare variety has been amazing. Yeah, I've seen some crazy builds, and I'm working on a Mystic Spear Hand Trickster one. Nice. The thing about uh, Trickster, I've seen, like, apparently, if you do, like, certain um, summons and, like, you know, uh casting or whatever and then you switch it disappears quicker because you switch to a different thingy which is weird but that seems like one of the main things hey welcome back jordo but yeah kaka just try to be a little bit nicer man like we're playing the same game it's a new member like i'm sure we, we'd get along try not to be insulting to each other because even if someone comes in here and they completely suck at this game i don't want anyone to be an asshole to them all right i'm gonna damn my stomach was aching i was about to fucking go take a shit all right next time it comes i'm gonna go take a shit that was a whole whole okay. rant about the game, but yeah, Jackal will take charge and he will, he will entertain and take over the controller, right, Jackal? Can I share your controller? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll take you to the Medusa layer. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just cut off the head, easy enough. So I just know it'll be nice. Uh, if you'll be nice to me, what did he say to you? It's whatever, man. Just let it go. I know a lot of people don't. I mean, I don't think he anyone's trying to step on anyone's toes right now, you know. But yeah, like w us nerds, I'm sure we'll get offended and stuff like that if like somebody says ours strategy and stuff is not better but it's not worth it it's really not worth it because even if you prove you have the better superior strat, strat at the cost of coming off as an asshole is it really worth it and it's like your advice is supposed to improve someone else's experience and their plate uh, you know experience and if, if if your dialogue or your approach makes it worse then what was, was the it defeats the purpose you know but yeah i'm sure neither of you guys mean any harm like we were just trying to enjoy the same game and i'm going the wrong way but yeah let's get this medusa But yeah, again, uh, Osama, please, if you if you want to take the time out to make a Discord, man, we'd love to have you. Come. The Arisen's motivations are not ours to question. Hey, boy, going in circles. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it if you. Hmm, so I did explore the cave, I must ask something, but I think that's just the ladder. Cool. Done with this cave. Come to think of it. Uh let's see, I'm bored. Wish I could play Elden Ring with y'all. <laughs> Dude, a DLC comes out, uh -oh. you'll no worries, we'll definitely be playing that. But on PS plus. Oh, okay, well then you're not playing with us. We're getting close. Probably uh 
start playing again pretty soon. Here. Yep, exactly. Might already have what we it might just be the away. next thing we play, honestly. So if I get back into Baldur's Gate, there will be no time for Elden Ring. Fucking love that yeah. game. It's one of the best games ever made. Agreed. I'm so glad I got to experience Elden Ring, Dragon's Dogma 2, and um, Baldur's Gate. They're just all so unique in their own right, and they've done it so differently and well. It's like if other games decide to replicate like a Elden Ring-esque combat, but it's just a little bit better. Come on, Luthien. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Heal yourself. <laughs> heal Close yourself. Enough, but, uh, <laughs> heal yeah, yourself I was thinking she like used to be main yourself. pawn. I know, <laughs> it's so I weird. I'm too accustomed to calling our main. Everyone's in a different spot right now. What the hell? Yeah, I was so glad I got to rename her at 2K+. Oh, yeah. That email did nothing. Well, yeah, they basically just told me, yeah, you can uh, beat the game do it. Bro just ran. What, are you going to call your buddy? Coward. To be avoided, I take it, or is it? Oh, that's the morning, so I should be able to now get easier now. Forest. Indeed. Oh, the dude that was here was... Oh, oh yeah. Uh, the dude that just ran in there, he... Oh, what the fuck? What was hiding? That's a cool enemy. Jordan, is the DLC going to be harder? Elden Ring? Hell yes. Hell yes, bro. They even took precautions to make it so that people that are level 700 plus are just not going to have a cakewalk. Because if you think about it, someone who decides to enter the DLC at, let's say, appropriate level, which could be somewhere from, like, I don't know, 90 to 120 or whatever the hell, they're going to have a vastly different experience than someone that goes in at level 700 with every item unlocked. And it's like, how do you balance that in, like, a DLC, right? So I'm sure they figured out a way, which they said it's like Sekiro-esque. So that's going to be cool. Um, but yeah. Overconfidence is Wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Jordo? It's a good thing for me. I don't know if you look forward to that challenge. Okay, this forest. Is something. Let's see if there's a cave or make a freaking circle around the place. New day, uh, at least it'll be easier to navigate this shit in the morning. Yeah, there should be a camping spot somewhere in your vicinity. Yep, like I said, it's morning now. I, can't, I, can't, I gotta be blind as a bat now to miss it. Jordan, it's already hard in the base game. Well, I hope the DLC is harder, right? Oh, hell yeah. Don't you worry, Jordo. They have a lot of different, and I'll, I'll put out build build stuff and um, strategies and stuff for you to, plus you could always summon me later on. There's definitely something up there. I'm probably taking the wrong route though. Ah, let's see, it's the entrance. Probably go through there and then go around and then maybe make a U-turn unless this whole thing is a mountain. The entrance could be that side too. Yeah, oh, isn't that where I just came in from? Yes, I did. Or did I? Farming areas? Man, I wish I could tell people how different Elden Ring is of a game than most hard games or like, you know. Because a lot of games are, you know, repu reputing, uh, that, known for, oh my god, Kratos, how are you weak too? They're known for like, okay, this game is hard, but it's just you're not the right level to tackle this. Which, that's why people get in on Elden Ring, they're like, I just need a level more, I just need to get a better weapon and stuff like that. And obviously you can do that, but the fun of the difference that Elden Ring that sets itself apart from is the fact that you don't have to. Like, there's a reason people do no-hit entire runs on games like that. It's because it's definitely possible, and there's 
more than one answer to a challenge in that game and one of them is definitely get good people don't even say that insultingly they just say it as like you know i was once that person who struggled and i finally got it and like it took me so many deaths like you guys don't understand like now with youtube people die a couple times and they're like oh this sucks or like back then i used to like go to sleep for an entire day of or to a week of playing the same boss and just not beating him but i just it would get a little frustrating but i'd never quit because i was still having the fun and the payoff when you finally do beat it is worth everything and that's like the real souls experience and someone who sits there and grinds and just beats it after just leveling up is never going to have the same experience because the joy of like dying to the boss a bajillion times and then learning his moves it's like the bosses are the the real story of the game it's just like oh man did you fight that guy yeah i fought him too my was he as hard for you and it's like that you're not gonna get that if you're sitting here just like thinking about oh i just need to farm more but to each their own but most people that say stuff like get good or like whatnot they're they're trying to make you enjoy the game more they're not trying to take away from your experiences so they want you to feel that good feeling that you get when you do beat it for the first time after a long struggle I don't have to go uphill. Lay down your arms. Oh, that is a petrified person. Oh, active <laughs> parry would be nice, Jordo. Like arch throne. Oh yeah. Honestly, if if, if the developers are looking at other stuff, Feldening, which for the most part they usually are, and they saw like arch throne and stuff, like you know damn well they'll like incorporate so, something. Like they stuff. learn from their games, and it's like, can you imagine fine. learning from two freaking masterpieces like Sekiro and Elden Ring? It's like, what can they make next? And they even had um, Armored Core on the side. So it's like, I'm sure there's stuff they learned from Armored Core that they could incorporate into like a Souls game. Like imagine the traversal. Like I didn't, I don't know about Armored Core, but I'm sure the traversal in a robotic Gundam style game is probably phenomenal, right? So it's like, they're not the type to just freaking, you know, not learn from their mistakes or their successes. So they will definitely incorporate a lot of the stuff together. And Arch Thrones, like, I wouldn't have been even surprised if Dark Souls 4 looked like that, because it's just something they would do. This seems a decent spot for but a yeah, campsite. I wish I could play Arch Thrones. <laughs> no need of just yet. looking at some of the bosses, oh man. There's that campfire jackal fell out. Yes, indeed. Okay, uh... Next, next time I get to the thing, please remind me to um, check out his pawn, Jackal, if you don't mind. Right, I right, will. Sorry, hard in the game. Get rid of bird and I'll be farming the logwin. Crushing this rare fall by soaring elation. Oh, wow, that's so uh, Only way I'll play the DLC is if they add an active parry system. <laughs> Some people can be jerks about it, but like Jason says, most people in my experience mean well, yep, and they were coming a valley and crap for not giving up more than a minute. So, yep. Uh, it's not from Frost or Fall, it's Sony because they hold back their ideas. Oh. How do they do that? Okay, two hours in. Finally getting to the Medusa. Dude, I am taking my time, huh? A little bit of a distraction, but it's okay. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Holy hell, I'm, not, I'm taking a shortcut that I was not supposed to. That is a hell of a route to a Medusa, wow. They really hyped this shit up. Nah. I'm gonna take the legit way right after I take a shit, probably. Hello, sir. Happy. 
the fuck is happening? Stop sliding down, bro. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take me out of the fight. Dog, I have subtlety on. Why are you targeting me? would have gotten bad if my team didn't show up. I don't know why I did not manage my stamina and stuff properly there. Yeah, i just been playing too many other builds and the, the buttons are still breaking my brain right now. Sick, Grim Ogre down. Grim, Grim Ogre down. Okay, I probably need to go back instead of going forward, but I do need to poop. Be right back. Jackal, enjoy the uh, entertainment stream, good. please. I'll be in the chat, hopefully. Bye. I'll, I will try. So, uh, Jordo, what did you mean by it's uh, Sony's fault? And also, I'd love to hear who's here. So, sound off in the chat if you're still around. So basically the roadmap for today is uh, we're going to try and get Jason to the end game, but not force it if that makes sense. And I think we're going to try and enlighten him on the challenge that is coming. Hey, cow cow. Don't worry, we will check your pawn. And Osama, if you're still here, we'd love to see yours. Sea of Thieves. Did you play that on PC, cow cow? I heard it was a lot of fun. Hey there, Iserat. Welcome back. Yeah, I heard it was a lot of fun, Cow Cow. What'd you think of it? Oh, it looks like an absolutely phenomenal experience, like a great multiplayer experience, kind of like a party sort of thing. I think it could be a lot of fun, something to play with viewers. So wait, is it going to be on PS Plus, or is it already available on PS5? Let me look, up, look that up right now. Because From Software is a production team, and Sony owns the PS system, so that it would actually talk to them for idea. To, to see if they can actually put the game out, but sometimes they say no. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. Like, another thing I've noticed with a lot of the Sony games is the exclusives seem to be better than the ones that are releasing on, like, multi-platform right now. Like, like, this one had a really rocky launch, but I feel like if they had released it on one system first and then figured out how to port it to the others, it might have been a little bit better. Oh, sweet. So the Sea of Thieves beta just ended. And... Yeah, I'm actually kind of hyped about that. That looks like a fun game to play. April 30th. All right. So 12 days. Nice. Thanks for letting us know, Cow Cow. Okay. 
And just a reminder, anybody who's here who wants to join in on some of these games or if you're playing this and want to share your pawn or just want to find somebody for a multiplayer game, we have a great Discord you can join. And there's a lot of good people in there and we'd love to have you. Jordo, Jackal, how many times did you play Elden Ring? Let me see. Um, I did one full run through at level 101. Then I did another run on New Game Plus and got that one up to level 154. And then I was going to do another New Game Plus, but for some reason I just decided to do a third uh, new save on PC. And finally I did my most recent run on PS5 for the first time. I think that was my favorite one because I did that cooperatively with Jason and Skuza and Mr. Singh, and it was just a really fun time. Oh, and random fella who we haven't seen in a while, who I hope he's doing all right and hope he comes back soon. And Jason, I was just kidding about that. <laughs> Glad it's going well. Oh, we are thinking about uh, doing Fortnite again, rocket racing specifically. I feel like it gets a little too sweaty with the uh, the shooting side of it, and everybody wants to win. Oh, Jordan, you gotta. I think I did one Fall Guys with you, Jason, and that was a lot of fun. I mean, it's a simple game, but it was just entertaining as all hell, you know? Cow, cow, don't, we don't worry about being carried in Fortnite. We've got a, we've got a lot of first person and third person shooter experience between us and we can hang, but we definitely appreciate the offer. We would love to play with you though at some point here. Oh, he's right. I think you'd have a great time with it. So what other games are you guys playing? I'd love to hear. I think I have something like 390 games on my Steam library, so I'm willing to try just about everything. Jodo, I wish that you could play online without PS Plus subscription. It's just useless besides playing games. I know. I, I don't know why they decided to do that, like Xbox Live and all that. It just, it was so great when you didn't need to pay for it. But then I also remember back in, I think it was like 2011 when it got hacked and it was down for like three or four months. That was crazy. It was like no online for anybody. When did they bring PS Plus in? Either way, it was kind of like, I don't know, it just seems like another way to get money. But I will say that PS Plus really does do a good job with giving you a lot of games that you can buy. Or you don't have to buy them, you just download them and they're in your library. So that's probably the best part about it. And of course, playing with your friends. So it's definitely worth the cost, in my opinion, anyway. Infamous. Who made that one, Jordo? I remember that being a really good game. Oh, Sucker Punch. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. That's who it was. Well, hey, Cow Cow, thanks for joining us. And I'm glad that you're enjoying DD2. And 
I've seen a little bit of Atlast, and it looks pretty cool. And yeah, let us know in the Discord if you're going to play that. I'm definitely going to hop on that when it comes out. I've heard nothing but good things about it, especially now after it's been updated. Damn, that was great, Jackal. Thank you for that. Bro, we got eight viewers just hey, enjoying well, you chatting, man. You're doing better than you realize, man. Almost thinking I just play the game and you just chat with everyone. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to have football training oh, no. for you guys for Dark Souls for GD2, but I'll load to play out, uh, Outlast Trail. I don't know what that is, but I want to see how see if these will work. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks for tuning in, Kyle, Kyle. Appreciate it. But yeah, we don't need to get carried in Fortnite, man. <laughs> love to play with you, though. Yeah, combined, we probably have, what, like 30 years of experience in first-person <laughs> shooters and competitive yeah. shooters. So. Jesus. Jackal has it on multi-console. I would suck on PC. It would take me a while to get used to it. I remember back in the day, I had such a crappy PC, and the mouse was the worst part. The mouse, I would have to, like, slide the mouse and then lift it up and then reset it and go back to the thing and just slide again because it was just so bad. And, like, my muscle memory and brain was just not good after that. So, yeah, it's, like, really bad. Yeah, the rollerball masses, those were the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember taking it out, playing with it when I was little. Yeah, you get a little bit of dust in there, and it doesn't oh, work at goodness, all. Oh, my goodness, blowing. <laughs> it's such a heavy ball, too. I remember I was like, damn, I could throw this at somebody and hurt them. Holy crap. Yeah, and the first lasers were kind of finicky, so oh, it yeah. wasn't even that much better. God, we've seen it all. Wait, just keep entertaining. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go make another coffee and um, wash my eyes out. Be right back. All right. So who else is here? And... We'd love to know what kind of games you like playing, and we'll see if we can find some common ground. All right. So Jodo, or uh, Sucker Punch made Infamous. Did they make one or two of those games? I could have sworn there was a sequel to it, but yeah, my memory kind of escapes me on that one. Or wait, there might have been three now that I think about it. I suppose I can take this opportunity to uh, hawk the Discord one more time. It's a great place with a lot of great people, and we'd love to hear from you in there. And it's really easy to make a Discord account, so don't be afraid of that. It's just a great time. You can find people to play all these games with, and like I said, we'd love hearing your opinions on some of these games. One of our favorite things is having debates and discussions about differing play styles and that's how we come up with some of the builds we do i say we but i mean jason mostly <laughs> hey jordo welcome back Back in and acting off. Damn, Jordo. Sucks. You're the one talking about multiplayer too, right? Oh, dude. It, laggy multiple exper um, like a multiplayer experience are some of the worst memories I have, Jack. Will you remember those times? You ever had oh, free I internet? Think. Oh, my God. <laughs> Back then, we didn't oh, have yeah. FPS problems. Everybody was on the same level. It was just internet that was separating everyone. Just lagging out. Oh, my God. Lag switching. There's so many issues. And now it's like everybody the has rubber. decent enough to, yeah, internet. And it's just like, who has better FPS? Who has better, like, you know, processing powers and stuff? Yeah, like the rubber banding was something else where, you know, you <laughs> start at one point and then you'd end up in another and you yep. wouldn't realize what was happening. <laughs> yeah, multiplayer was, I mean, it still is rough. Like, it's just something about multiplayer. It's very hard to make it fun. That's why it's like, I, I appreciate the, oh my God. I appreciate the developers that just make it, you know, team-based where it's just, you know, you work together to beat a 
boss or something. It's a lot less toxic than PvP. PvP, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, absolutely. That, that was one of the things in World of Warcraft was always annoying was the PvP players would just gank the newer ones if they had their uh, PvP sign up. So let me get this straight. Is um, World of Warcraft like an actual turn-based or like point and click like, real time or how is it? It's more like this action-y. Like you get R1 swings with your right click and mm -hmm. uh, like your basic cast and stuff like that. And then you have skills that are bound to a number. Like kind of like this game, but not quite as well not developed. As we that makes sense. Like not yeah. focused around real combat, more about strategy. Agreed. That makes sense. We yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm so glad I played this as one of my first experiences because it seems to be able to put it together in a combat-based world. Sifu is fun. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to one day go back to Sifu. Its combat seems so advanced and unique in its own way that just it, it seems very replayable. Should I do a night? Yeah, I would normally do Nightfall for the challenge, but it's like I'm getting lost navigating. I'd say fight the Medusa, then swap it to Night, or fight the Medusa and the Dragon. Yeah, no, this, this navigating thing, well, I was just going in circles, so I don't know what the hell was in front of me. Better to do an area a second time around at night than the first time. Nah, Jordo, that's ray tracing. Ray trace steak. A real steak, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's the best. This game has the best <laughs> cooking graphics. Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> is that a real steak? <laughs> this is the type of game that makes you hungry. You ever see those anime food videos? Oh man. One of the best animes I watched was Food Wars or whatever it's called. It's so good. It's surprisingly good. I have never seen that. Dude, it's like you think it's a joke, but it's really not because it's like so fun to watch. Like I was addicted. And it's like five plus seasons and I watched all of it. It was just that good. Nice. Okay, well, I have to go in the right way. I guess I am supposed to scale this mountain. Hmm. Huh. Let me get oh, I see a cave entrance. Come to think of it, Never mind. We might already have what we seek stored away. Do you want a vague hint? Nah, I'll figure it out. Within three hours. Oh my god, this is literally what I was looking at. Ugh, I should have known. Oh no, what are you doing? Jill. Where did you even fall from, Jill? Oh yeah, I love seafood. Oh, the food is so good, they get, they get naked. <laughs> is that food wars? Yeah. <laughs> I just got that, yeah, dude. So, uh, Jordo knows about the anime. Jordo, tell him. It's good, right? I thought I was crazy for enjoying it. Oh my god, holy shit, I found it. Jesus Christ. I'm joking, I'm joking, hey, stop. you know me. <laughs> I'll give everything a try. <laughs> yeah, and at this point, I'm, like, scared to recommend things to people, because I'm like, ooh, are they going to like it? Are they going to like the same experience? So it's like, I don't know. I tend to be very free in my mind and just enjoy things. Like half of these games that I played, I didn't never played anything similar, and I'm not like a known, you know, these type of game player or whatever. I just like really like being open-minded with different games. All right, objective cutter, fucking head off. Easy Let's enough. Let's do it. Easy enough. Hello. Let's talk about this. What the fuck? You have an arrow? Bro, she has a bow? Well, where else do you think it drops from? I actually didn't think that through. <laughs> it's a bow that shoots friggin' snakes, man. <laughs> oh my god. Stop resisting! Uh oh. Oh shit! The hell? 
That's sick ass music they saved for this boss. Yeah, Jill, cut her head off. Medusa Selvo from what? Did he steal that shit? I could swear I've seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. His weight just went up to like max, probably. That's actually a really good call. Yeah, I'll check it out, Jorda. Damn it, stop resisting! No, not Meteoron! Where the fuck is the Meteor coming from in here? Don't kill the Dusa! Perfect opportunity, we got this. Off with its head! Trophy earned, let's go! Withered? Oh shit, I fucked up. No, no, no. Withered you're, you're town good. has taken its toll and its petrifying power will soon be lost. I mean, Withered is the worst now you're one. Gonna, you're gonna beeline straight to um, the Griffin quest now. But isn't Withered like the worst? Isn't there like a better version of getting this stuff and whatnot? So it's like the yeah, amount of health it has. Do you want me to look it up real quick? The yeah, I, Medusa head? It's a yeah, uh, crafting thing, I think. Yeah, but I think it has to do with, like, if you could cut it off before its health fades, so it's, like, almost better to, like, freeze it or something, or... Basically, if you do too much damage, I'm guessing, because of the... It's taking its toll, yeah. So, whatever, I'm gonna be going towards the Griffin thing. Good idea. Do you have any tips on beating Mog the Omen, Jordan's asking? Bro, I used to destroy Mog. Uh, he's weak to bleed, which wouldn't make sense, but he's weak to bleed. Definitely not weak to fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, what build do you have currently, Jordy? You said Moonveil, uh, Moon right? I think last I remember. I don't even know if Moonveil would work on him that much. But it's just, I don't know, he's supposed to be one of the harder bosses. I think the first time I fought Mog, I was like, okay, this guy's harder than any other enemy I've fought yet, and he's meant to be. I thought he would be the hardest boss in the game. Okay, let me get my coffee real quick. But yeah, you, you could just fight him a couple times and learn and shit, but he, he really is all over the place. So Jack will give you some more tips right back. Yeah, so Mog was actually one of my first big roadblocks in the game. I spent, like, almost a day there, and I decided to go fight Millennia, and I first tried her, and I came back and started thinking, okay, I think I need to switch my build up a little bit, and I was using this, uh, it was almost like an int build, but it was mostly int and faith, so I could use uh, Horfrost Stomp and Sword of Night and Flame, and that was not working for me, so I swapped to a Arcane... Uh, Faith Arcane build. I used the Rot Dragon Head, and my other favorite thing was, I think it was Bloody Slash. But either way, just basically any bleed will work on him. He is very resistant to fire. Like, fire doesn't do much at all to him. And, Jodo, I'm not doing a build, really. I'm just leveling up the weapons and stats. Yeah, that's, like, my favorite way to play. That's the best way to do a first run, in my opinion. I mean, once you get past, like, endgame and stuff, then, uh, I mean, you'll have more stuff to work around with. But yeah, if you're worried about that Nihil attack, there's actually a crystal tear you can find in the world that will negate that almost completely. Oh yeah, the bubble, I didn't even think of that. I'm always on my roadblock here. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but it's really usually, just leveling up, whatever. Okay, yeah, the bu bubble definitely helps. Go ahead. I usually just heal through it, but yeah, bubble is nice. Okay, place this just making the sketch. Yeah, just run there without resting. That is in the difference. I'm fairy stony. If I... Wait. Holy you, shit. And nothing nearby. Uh... Checkpoint, yeah. Checkpoint? I mean, that's still pretty far. Checkpoints. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's like close. similar trek. Like this going to there versus that still curving. Ah, uh, checkpoint is pretty close. Yeah, let's do it. I don't even have one there. Hey, Osama. Welcome back. 
Ma oh, yeah, Osuma gave us a tip. Uh, were you here the whole time, Osuma? Bro, you really got to join the Discord, man. It seemed like we we have a lot in common, man. But, yeah. Tips are welcome yeah. for that. Oh, Mog yeah. Shackle 3. Oh, yeah. Is Mog Shackle work on... Mog has his own shackle, or is he thinking Margit has it? Oh, no, they, I think they both Mog have their own shackle. Own, yeah. Damn, I forgot. Is this 3 DPS them as much? Yeah, you could DPS him before he oh, even yeah. gets to change phases, but where's the fun in that? If this is your first time fighting him, definitely try to enjoy the fight. I don't know if... I don't know. People just don't like dying, I guess. Anyone that loves Souls games, they lo like dying for the most part. But anyone that just tries Souls games, they're just really against dying, I guess. Because, I mean, when you play games like other games, I don't know. It's like dying is a bad thing. Like, you, you're bad or something. And like, oh, no. Look at how many times he lost. And it's like, I'm like, I welcome that. I think it humbles you playing games that are Souls games. Okay, so real quick, I'd say fight that Drake, uh, dragon first, and then fairy crystal. I forgot you're gonna fairy crystal everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, you Drake, got time. Drake is right there. Okay, cool. You know, this one's withered. This might not last my boat. I could just rest until Medusa's back and try to cut its head off more clean. If you want to look up how to keep it more longer, that'd be fine too. Damn, can it's still ain't got the Medusa bow. Wow. It's an interesting what enemy. A snake shooting snakes out of a snake bow. That's so cool. Oh, I know. I'm definitely going to be refighting this. Her, her. I wonder if there's other slash ways to take <gasps> off its head without getting oh, it in physical. Yeah. Way. Okay, so preserve Medusa head. You have to cut its head off. That's why I was saying bring the daggers in. You have to cut its head off before it loses one bar of health. Uh, I mean, dagger, this same thing. It's slash is slash, right? Oh, it's the R1 that does it best. If you do uh, the R2, it won't work, apparently. So, I'll like, swords R1s. and... Yeah. I think it's a plunge attack, though, but it should work for Mystic Spear Hand. Oh, I suppose we cannot expect plunge it from here? Where am I going to plunge it from? Or it's like a, no, I mean, it's like a stab with the, the oh. R1 is a stab, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was probably working, but I don't know. I guess something I was missing. No worries. Maybe I wasn't even hitting its head. If I look back, maybe the sound wasn't like weak spot sound. Who knows? Probably needed to climb a little bit farther up. I cannot wait to tell my own master that is a cool existence. way to fighting this thing. Like I like when there's an incentive to do like a, you know, challenge thing against the boss on its own, like cut off its tail or something. Like I think they should have added something like that for the Chimera. Or, like cutting off the snake head gives you some extra loot, but it doesn't, I don't think. I think it does. Does it? What did it give you? Uh, some kind of crafting material, but I can't cool. remember what exactly. It's not, it's like a... It's one of the higher tier beast skins, so it's not really that special, but yeah. Wow. Well, that's good then. Yeah, I mean, at least it's something. Yeah, no, it's definitely something then, because now I'm incentivized to try to kill its tail first. Especially in a game like these, like, freaking Dark Souls 2 had it, and it was weird, but this game definitely could use something like that. And Saurians, it's an instant stagger if you can cut their tail off. Yeah, uh, it's like straight up crit. I like that one. I actually really like the same one. Dude, these, these rocks are well placed. I think you're supposed to knock her off balance and then stab her head. That makes way more sense I now. Just had a thought. Have you always pursued your current Yeah, I don't even think it needs to be plunged. You just gotta knock her ass down and then just beat up on her head. That could work, yeah. That would certainly work better, especially with my... <laughs> Take that head off. You see that glowing thing on Kratos' staff? It's red, so it's a meteor on that's stored up. I want to see that with celerity on your character. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll happen, too. Should I be camping? No, that freaking... That Medusa head is going to go bad. Alright, how the hell do I even... Don't camp. Yeah. Uh, put the Medusa head in storage. We'll decay... Yeah, I was thinking that, but there's no storage nearby. and I could always get another one, because that thing respawns. I mean, it's practice for the onboard world, right? Yeah. I love that I put up the bubble right before that thing hit us. Perfect timing. Oh, I need to get good at that timing. That's pretty sick. One of us is in poison from what, dog? I literally put up a bubble. Kratos, how did you manage to get poisoned? 
Was it from Medusa? I don't even know. Hey, Alpha. Coming. Welcome to the chat. What up, Alpha? How you doing? Is this a good time, Alpha? Can you stick for a while or nah? It's a very different time for me to stream normally than normal. Is there a freaking griffin around here, too? Where do y'all see a damn ox guard? They be saying that a lot. All the claws of monsters. We need not shrink from danger. We have the strength to prevail over anything. Hey, yeah, what's up, Alpha? Got any rap for us? Glad to have you here, Alpha Strike. That's quite the discovery. I'll have to inform me own master. <laughs> now I'll be here a while. Let's go, Alpha. Telling you, bro, you missing out. Missing out not playing this. Is there another rock? Yep. Fail throw. Oh, what the fuck? Not a fail throw. You still got a forager on your team? I do. I, uh, I think Kratos is the one. Nice, it tells you where bosses are now. Wait, what? Well, yeah, because it'll tell you if you have a griffin claw, that means there's a griffin there. Oh, that's actually sick. Wait, there's nothing on my map. Hell Lord Bones. Medusa. I think it's only nearby. Wait, what the hell? Do you not have a forager anymore? I do. Kratos is literally the forager. That is a lot. That is very odd. Literally forager. Very weird. It wasn't foraging for me either. What the hell did they do with this? Very odd. Uh, are you gonna platinum this game just now? Hell no. Hell no. You want me to not enjoy this game now all of a sudden? I see the meme, honey, uh, okay, honey, in my head whenever I hear about platinum. It's like, what's next? <laughs> oh, this tedious thing, yeah, I'll do it. I think it's a pretty easy platinum, though. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I basically do it just run through the game. Yeah. And the hardest me. ones aren't even that hard to get, so... Yes, Kratos Meteor on. I don't want to fight these harpies anymore. Will said, strike me if you can. You are ballsy, Kratos. Hey, level 74, let's go. Only magic defense, interesting. You're headed to the Lesser Dragon now? Uh, yep, I think so. A common reward. Wait, so how many Lesser Dragons have you fought? Just that one. This one, we cannot yeah. expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Nice. Well, you fought more than those before this? More than one? No, no. Yeah, no. Those, I'm pretty sure they don't show yeah. very much until, like, end game. I was looking for them, but now I've fought a few more, so. Come on, get that celerity. A little late for that.
Did you need to communicate an elvish prey? Alpha Strike, I'm just multitasking now. Playing RE4 while watching the stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so. Oh, Resident Evil 4 is goaded, bro. Let me know how that goes. Freaking love Most that Most replayable RE4. game ever. Right. Holy shit, that is a tiny bridge. And hey, they made this game. There's even a one-shot rocket in it. Oh, yeah. And green and yellow herbs. That is so true. Oh my god, Kratos. Make sure your health. I will protect you. This thing is really annoying. Oh, that knockdown is nice. Soul, soul and Tiger Eye, okay. Yeah, my Black Wing <laughs> bow is like 650 knockdown now. Damn. So yeah, I freaking got a pinion, slight pinion from killing it, but then the thief took a freaking Tiger Eye, that's sick. Nice. Steven, Steven ain't easy. Appreciate it, Alpha. Thank you. Hey, Harvey. Welcome to the stream. Boy. Bro is constant role-playing. And Alpha Strike, even though RE games are linear and you go through different chapters, it's so replayable. Facts, dude. Yeah, absolutely. That's and each playthrough is like a whole different experience. I'll collect that. You need to trouble yourself. Oh my god, that is a hot spot for a freaking teaker teaker soaking. Double J. That's pretty okay. Cool. <laughs> Jill is getting cooked. Jill, please. Just hold off. She might become a Jill sandwich. Yeah, I normally help her with freaking some sort of a bubble, but now I'm just like, just just try to stay alive. It's when in ganks is when she really struggles if she doesn't have four more on. Oh yeah. Oh, these are wabbits I'm aiming at. Well, double J, yeah. Little Resident Evil How could joke. You? <laughs> I thought attack. I was hitting enemies. <laughs> Killing a whole Disney cast. How best to proceed. Just don't curb stomp him again, man. <laughs> <laughs> I miss I miss archery every day. Well, you yeah. have a Medusa bow in your inventory, don't you? True. Oh shit. <laughs> you just I think gave it's me time to bring it violent back. ideas. Over here. Oh, I can probably lower it. Oh. Violent ends. <laughs> Not a Twilight quote. <laughs> but um, I was about to put it in my rotation to lower the weight, but then it wouldn't really lower the weight, and it would also annoy me with the... Uh, what are they called? The order of things, but let's go. Oh, Ticker so good. Our collection grows. I bet you missed that one, Jackal. Because you didn't have that augment. <laughs> I did have the augment. I was the one that told you about it. Oh, that? <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Play you it a told me earlier. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Have you Maybe on my next playthrough. Very well. Thinking there might my be some things to work in for warfare, there. but yeah. yeah, my brain is just not. It's already confused with the last build I did. Then decides our path. Yeah, so Alpha, that's actually one reason I'm pretty hyped about going into New Game Plus for this one because Alpha, Capcom does shit. do repeat oh. plays very well. That's the wrong kick. Where's the curb? So I need another rabbit. Who killed all these rabbits? Should have been me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't me. Another seeker token? These faces have grown mightily familiar. 
Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. Yo! We forge on together for as long as we may. The fucking rabbits put it there. They want me to die. That's definitely a trap. I don't even see one. They knew my bloodlust knows no boundaries. Alright. Peeker soak in. Okay. Maybe I should give that to someone else. Ah, yes. Average height mage. Just how I like it. <laughs> God damn, even I'm too heavy now. That Medusa head probably weighs a ton. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I mean, it's one kilogram, right? Is it? Oh, that is a light yeah, ass pretty... head. Never mind. I don't know. My, my head would weigh a lot because I have a lot of IQ. I think all my Dragon Forge weapons are like half to eight, like 0. 0.8 kilograms yeah. now. I remember you were trying to say, oh no, Dwarven increases the weight. I'm like, doesn't mean shit when you have Dragon Forge. There's just too many good to outweigh the negative. Yeah, I think Medusa Spellbow is the only one that does better without Dwarven upgrades since it's already got the knockdown, but... Yeah. Well then what would do even I mean, better the weight then. is negligible. I'm pretty much set on Dwarven upgrades being the best in the game. They're the secret one, so... Yeah. There's only two ways to get it, so... Yep. I told you. I haven't saved yeah, half the good stuff. For, I thought you got it for escorting uh, Elf Lady, but no, it was for her husband. Yeah. Oh damn, I already have eight since the start of the stream. Uh, Shakespeare. <laughs> Capcom cooks with games, yeah. Agreed. Fortnite gamer now, level is climbing up. Rim thrust wall. I don't know what that is. Button mashing, love it. Capcom also does great when it comes to women too. <laughs> what does that even mean? And Dorvin is unlocked through. Quest. I'm like, oh, that one's fun. Yeah. Knockdown is just too damn good. It's just anyone that mistakenly upgrades some of their favorite stuff with something else they're re later gonna regret. Lost, I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Yeah, I totally agree with that, Osama. Holy it's shit! More hidden. Ooh. It's, a, it's my second, I'm gonna say first lesser dragon, because the first one I just nuked it with a ballista. Time to have some state. oh wait, Medusa head is gonna go bad. Damn it! Out of my way, son. I have a lesser dragon to make even less. Wee! Okay, let's try a roost of the dragon trophy earned, holy shit. Where do you come from, bruh? Hail Arisen. Allow me to join you in this trial. Fine. Holy crap, it's a sick ass area. We'll never get anywhere before we do his rest. We shall be pissing me off, lady. Uh, maybe maybe not meteor right Kratos is it's not necessary oh god Kratos they're, they're cooking that that lesser dragon gonna be f oh yeah he did all girl flare and hit okay that. maybe I shouldn't stand on a bridge doing this oh my god Kratos I shouldn't have said he's cooking yeah Bro, where did he even fall? What the hell is even that? Starting to think that revive arrow might be the best one to put on for my okay. magic archer skill. Holy shit. Master, I... What happened was... Thank you, We're lost a see, quarter there was some stuff down there that I wanted to steal for you. But you're down not in there? anymore. 
What the f- Jill! Oh no. Oh my god, this was a trap. I don't even know how to get back up, dog. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's run. I'm, I'm next. Oh yeah, I'm definitely next. You could just... You could reload the save. I could. But I know that dragon's gonna get killed the first attempt, so I might as well give myself some challenge from traversal. Wee! You know, I don't think this was intended. I don't think this was intended. I am screwing myself right now. Oh yeah, successfully screwed myself. What the fuck? Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, she teleported down so you can save her now. Did she? No, she yeah. didn't. Oh, fuck. Wait, I'm going even downer. I'm going downy. I'm going downy. Full downy junior. Holy shit. Oh, she did. Let's freaking go, Jill. <laughs> if if freaking Luthi Luthien is next, uh, Luthien is next. Wait, did they permanently because lose more health because I revived him too late? Okay, I was about to say. He does look kind of like a Thor Poseidon mashup. Now it's Kratos is breakdancing up there. God damn it! <laughs> if I were to just aim it this way. What the fuck is Sigurd? I'm surprised he's not dying in this process too. God damn it. You know, this would have been a lot smoother if I just stayed back and shot at them. Live and learn, I say. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a teaker soaking trying to distract me now. Hey, there's a new enemy to fight. Ooh, secret token. <laughs> Should be able to climb that. See that fucking dragon's face? Sheesh. What the hell is this map? You know, Sigurd's icon hasn't moved in a while. Is he supposed to be following me? Oh, shit. I think you're supposed to be following him. He doesn't know the way. I'm the leader. I'm the adventurer here. Hey, is that a power back, cut? Alpha. Isn't your character looks like Thor, dude? My character looks sick, does he not? Hold on, let me see. Look at him. Look at him. I could have given him that Thor hammer too. Why don't you keep the armor off? Well, you see what? <laughs> I'm scared. It's too much for me. <laughs> when did I take off my cape? I can't put on my cape. Such treasures are Oh yeah, you're mining. That was weird. Found. Your animation stuck. There we go. Master, do take care not to throw it away by mistake. I'll throw it at your face if you don't shut up. So far, I would recommend grabbing that. all the mineral deposits around here. Oh, some good shit, huh? Sunstones, yeah, really rare. That's pretty much the only place I found them. Did you ever find out if I got copy rings? I forgot to try. Right. Well, technically I couldn't. I was in Unmoored World, and if I had advanced time, I would have ended it before finishing. So I can check today. Cool. Okay, where the hell is this dude? Oh my god, did he die too? Wait, there's a very good chance he died. Oh yeah, no, he's dead. He fell too. Oh no. You have a wake stone? Of course, I was carried on me for this stupid situation. Probably should have just reloaded like save. Point, yeah, you might as well revert save to the last campfire. <laughs> Wait, is that how it works? Revert to last campfire? I didn't camp. I believe that was the last place it saved. I haven't seen the auto save yeah, right now. I, didn't, so. I, can't, I haven't camped since Medusa. Oh, well, it'll be... Maybe the treasure chest you just opened? Who knows? You're just yeah, that what you look it. like? Yeah, right. My set of direction. 
Yeah, I'm eight foot tall. What if Sigurd's already fighting the damn thing? No, it's not. It's oh no, Sigurd's dead. Sigurd's it did auto save dead. thing. Yeah, and I don't want to go back before Medusa. If it was after Medusa, then yeah, but it would not be fun to watch. Although I would, I wouldn't mind fighting Medusa again. Kratos is still break dancing. If Sigurd is dead, I swear. Hate having to waste weight stones on these people. Where's his damn body? I'm honored Maybe to he's above you. Arisen. I was just up there though. I can't say I for know, sure he died. He might not have died. Yeah. Just go to the arena, I think. Just want to make a go to custom skin. Hell yeah, I appreciate it, Alpha. I spent a whole day on it. Who the fuck are you? Jesus Christ, I thought I was figured for a second. Vocations, aren't we? One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. We must hey, Alpha, did you see the Medusa fight? A jack of all Probably trades is a master of none. I hate that the freaking bow auto auto saves to the last one. Or not the last one, the, the big one instead of the last one you use. Yeah. That's the only woman you can't stare at, Medusa. <laughs> Look at her, it's not forever yet. Uh, sadly, I didn't jackal. Alright. I'm grabbing the clip, I'll put it in uh, Discord for you. Cool. Not compared to the thrill of victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Camping kit. Wait, is that decayed already? Yeah. Damn. Well, it was wow. not the. Yeah, it was a really bad version of it. It was like the last. Yeah. Well, now it's fucked. Well, so it's, yeah, you gotta like fairy stone out and stuff. Yeah, she's uh, like. How many reps is she coming back? Uh, that's not too bad. Nah. Fucking dragon is even longer, I think. I think it was between four and six when I was farming her bone. Place loses its mystique when returned to so often. I'm sure what are you the talking about, Kratos? Would not bring us here without due cause. You've been saying that in places that I've never been to. That dialogue is busted. Oh, revisiting places or whatever. Yeah, when I'm just exploring for the first time. Unless somebody else brought him here and the dialogue has been coded wrong. That could be, because he is a veteran of everything now. <laughs> Dude's been to the unmoored world. He's seen some stuff. <laughs> an icon. Is that him? That is Sigurd, I think. Oh, this is a dead end. So I guess it's way true. Ah, stay is. Uh, bro, imagine if all your save just gets nuked right now. Yes, that is, that is bad. Why? <laughs> yeah, let's imagine that for a while. I don't like it. Yes. 
optimistic, happy thought. It wouldn't be the worst thing. Like, obviously, I'd be really freaking heartbroken. But this is one of those games that I'll just be excited to just play again, which I already plan on it. Is that thing any good? Probably yeah. not. This will be a good New Game Plus experience, I think. Silence to the Latrikes. Interesting. You can just dump that Medusa head. Is that bad, huh? Like... Can't sell it either? Yeah, it's useless. We've made scores of oh. memories here. Both fell and fair. I'd be able to make Such it into something, but I don't think so. While. Just one worm's life crystal. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a free one, right? There's some um, DD2 is the most I got addicted to combat in that hero. I definitely would agree with uh, that sentiment. This game has some of the best combat I've ever played. Oh, Most very. Dude, do you have like uploads and stuff? You could share those on the stuff. Like, I would love to see how you. Because a lot of people approach this game very differently. Like, I'm kind of making like an OP build, not the most fun combat, but eventually I'll probably just make the most fun version of it rather than anything else. Like, by that time you're like level 100 or whatever, it's like everything is strong enough to like kill and it's like you've already done stuff so yeah i'll probably switch to fun rather than strong unless i um i'm doing a challenge run it's gonna be a dragon fight at night just how i like it yeah once i started oh. getting these cool buff spells oh whoa Like, pay at night is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a game. Yeah. If this was Dark Souls, they would have had a harpy push me off right now. We could obtain some rare materials here, if it pleases you, Master. Oh well, that's quite a discovery. That can happen. I'd wager there's lots to be found from here. We ought to Experience. take a closer look. <laughs> I was always curious. How many hours do you have on God of War? Uh. Quite a bit. But different masters favor different forms. One whom I serve preferred to have beast. <laughs> oh, that's the dragon. I thought it was some sort of fucking ghost the way it screamed. Ah, warm light. Are you serious? Ow. I just couldn't force myself to do New Game Plus on God of War. Holy shit, it's landing on me.
meteor on. Let's go. Meteor on is not jumping as hard as it usually does. I just came in. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's the dead ringer. Oh man. Did he steal anything? Bruh, did you steal something? Please tell me you steal something. Ah, sad. Well, my second one. This one is definitely a bit more interesting, I'd say. And he has weak spots all over, but I don't know. Lesser Dragon's interesting. Alright, we gotta wrap the mouth strike. You want me to read it? Oh, give me one second. Yeah, definitely. DD to the I mean, I don't have a life besides God of War, lol. Cool. I'm doing a Spartan build. All burdens run soon because having tons of hours on it and not doing it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, challenge runs are usually fun. Oh, uh, shoo. Jackal's rap time. Let's go, Jackal. <laughs> Alright, the duo is back. They're like brothers in a pack, but hey, it's a fact. They're gonna carry even if they have to parry. Jason is the navigator, but Jackal is the narrator. They're great, but hey, it's fate. That's good. W rap. Let's go, Alpha. Love it. A navigator and narrator. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is Sigurd, bro? I feel like he should be here giving me a dialogue. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. And a scroll. Do you, Bro, do you is see he, his body anywhere? He is definitely glitched. Holy shit. Either he's dead or glitched. Probably dead. Bro, what the fuck? A <laughs> he is peaced out. Always happening to me. I have the weirdest glitches, yeah. <laughs> Well, that'll do it. I guess I don't have to protect them anymore. I suppose you could ferry Crystal to Harp. That's what I was gonna do, yeah. Good thing I don't care about that either, because I would have been pissed if I had to waste a fairy stone just for some dialogue and a thing where it should have gave it to me for free. Fair, Fair again. yeah. Me thinks we've seen enough of this place. That was weird though, maybe he died. Value, yeah, but, but if he's dead, his body would still be here waiting for a revive, not just much. back to his home. I think he just glitched out. Well, I think he is arisen, so maybe he's got magical teleporting death power. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the bastard just glitched. Just like my robot voice there. I can hear myself, so give me one second. I'm gonna get that secret token and dip out, maybe. That's sad that Medusa had a freaking thingy, but next time I'm just gonna keep hitting over the rock, just to knock it down, and then do a little something. Dude, this place is a bro. It's no, no secret that navigating at night is hard, but damn. Like, you can't tell anything in this game when in the dark, which adds to it at times on the getting lost factor, but man. Oh, Damn, yeah. Go, go back to places that I already visited. This might kill me if I do this wrong. Definitely be back here for uh, Medusa and stuff, but I think it's time I thing out of here. Let's see, the plan here is we got the Medusa kill, cool. Bow, uh, the dragon. Next up is uh, do I care about that painting right now? What do I do? Uh, Sphinx. It doesn't have anything to do with the uh, end game, so. I know. So what's the reward? Probably some money and experience. 
it would yeah, be a fun fun one to it. do, but then I would have to wait for Medusa to come back and rest six times. I'll definitely put that for later if I even do it. Let's maybe do Sphinx after the reward. Yeah, up to you. Well, that's what, what else is on the menu after this? Phantom Ox cart. Oh yeah, I should do that one next, maybe. <clears throat> well, hey, you get to show off your character. Yeah. <laughs> I told you the trick to it, right? Oh, what? Getting naked? Yeah. <laughs> or if you have prisoner's garb, which you probably do because you don't sell anything. Oh, yeah, I have multiple. I've been in jail a couple times. What the hell? Where am I, dude? Ah, this is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Isn't Shadow of War just medieval Assassin's Creed with magic? <laughs> yeah, I'm not the expert. Jackal's got this. Yes, the combat, but there's a lot more to the Nemesis system. Some of the coolest and best to get a comp to those things. There you go. Oh, yeah. How dare you insult totally. Vikings. <laughs> oh, no, he's right. I mean, the combat is a lot like Assassin's Creed. Actually, we're going to get sued, I think, for the first game. Damn. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun. This game, I see a lot of uh, common elements, like that teleport with the mystic spear hand. Mm -hmm. I love that. I actually really love that. That's become one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm glad you had to try this, because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know you weren't too into the mystic spear hand, but like the bubble made you like, no, gave you no choice. You have to. <laughs> yep, for Unmoored World, it was huge. Sorry, no weapon. Oh, you have your, <laughs> your weapon out. Wait, which one of you fuckers is a merchant? I used to be a cell source, if you're anything like Where'd he go? Potion symbol. Don't forget to buy a fairy stone. Yeah, do you sell any Why I interest you in my hunt? What the hell? Deflection or distension? I already have one of those. Much obliged, sir. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope see the, the potion symbol. Gold yeah. Is a on your mini -map. Best spent judiciously. But that's the potion guy. Apothecary. What do I need him well, for? Oh, the first one, duh. How many is he selling? Just one. Thank you. How might I be of service? Got some cool cloaks, too. The merchant and say, What are you buying? <laughs> Always a pleasure. Dude, some people got really sick of that guy. I thought he was, eh, it's whatever, but some people got really sick of him. They thought his dialogue was not it. I liked him. Yeah, I loved him in the first game, and the remake, he was just as good, I thought. Yeah, some people, like I said, really hated him. I think you know who it is. <laughs> oh. Interest you in a room, sir? Okay, deposit. Are you gonna deposit the poison cure stuff? Uh, do I need it? I mean, poison doesn't. I don't think poison affects loss gauge, so I guess it's not a big deal. I might make a second dead ring or maybe magic affinity or something. We'll see. That's good to have two of those. Different different upgrades and stuff. Try them out. Batal strength. I think that's what I was gonna try next. That dwarven is so good. Hell yeah, I'm never not dwarvening unless it's like specifically magic related. 
Even then, 650 knockdown on my magic bow? Come on. <laughs> yeah. God, it feels good taking a load off of way too many stuff. Wait, so are you using that ring that increases your strength based on your light weight? Nah. I thought about okay, it. Yeah, I was I was like, say, there's just too much stuff I'm having and it's like not worth it. I tried the strength ring and it's actually better. It's not supposed to be though. I mean, what, what was your KG at? Eight. And it still wasn't better in what? Like damage output? On what? Yeah, strength. Like what, what weapon? Uh, the twin blade. That's yeah, but that one split magic and strength. That's probably why. It's just purely Maybe, strength, yeah. so like physical damage. Yeah. I was just noticing the increase on strength for the most part. I how did, how did you magic. test the damage, by the way? Like, I know this game don't have any numbers. Chimera. But then how are you seeing the damage difference? Well, no, not damage difference. Just looking at the strength stat. Oh, it doesn't change the strength stat. The the weight really? weight one does not yeah that one is an invisible one. Oh, it should should up the strength. That's stupid. Yeah, I like when it's visual. Like even if a freaking mage gives me a weapon buff, I wish it would just show on the stat sheet that it's literally glowing. You know, like Elden Ring does that. Like if you if you do a buff and then you check status, it tells you instantly what the effect is. But yeah, in this game, that some of the stuff is invisible. Either way, yeah, the strength ring put me over like. 1100 strength or something close to that so yeah it's a flat I was 30. pretty happy with that yeah even at the and worst i don't have to worry yeah no if you prefer it prefer it that's it no, i just don't want to have to worry about fucking equip load that seems really annoying every time i pick up an exactly. item i'm just trying to get back down to like less than 10 kg is like super frustratingly annoying to pay attention to because like even with like dragon Dragon's armor fully upgraded, you barely hit that. And then it's like everybody else has to be encumbered because of you. And I don't know, Unmoored World seems like I have to like constantly carry around stuff and whatnot. So, yeah. Don't want to do that for some more damage. Although, eventually, maybe it'll be fun to do a build like that, but not currently. I like versatile builds for first playthroughs. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. It's way better to be able to carry stuff and not worry about it and just have a flat increase. Yeah, got a rare selection right now, of things for yeah. Oh man, did you saw my pawn? Oh god. Haven't been to a city yet. <laughs> Although, I think this one has a ripstone you can check. Wait, why did Cow Cow said he was leaving? I'm about to screw 11 C. I feel like he just came back for his pawn showcase. Oh, I have football training. See you guys for now. Still hook with DD2. You All already right, finished so football training? Alright. That was about oh, an hour ago. Right there. Ah, uh, okay. How was your practice? Wait, I heard a freaking secret token behind me. That One secret token needs to be grabbed first. Materials. I'll harvest some now. Did I hear something? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, my coffee! Oh no. <laughs> ah, yes, room temperature coffee. I'm not gonna lie, Cow Cow, like... your first your first pawn was the best one I've seen. The second one was no not, not your best so. work. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Yeah, first one was definitely amazing. Second one looked like an abomination in comparison. I thought the third one's better, right? Third time's a charm. And if that one's bad, we ban you. No, I'm kidding. Where the hell is his entrance, bro? What the fuck is this house? It's in the front. Is he fucking dead? He His body might still be lying there, and the game is just like... Oh, hello. Uh, there was a time I myself... He might be in the more... Oh, there he is. Your eyes. Literally. You are ready to learn, and so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. Let's go. Paladin's Enigmata. Cool. I tried copying the thingies. These are not real copies. Okay. Oh. 
Master of the Maesters trophy earned a gold trophy. Let's go. Okay. Cooking. Yeah, I got it all. They have their all uses. right. Are you useful to me? Fucking hell. Get the bench out of here. I want to talk to him. There was a time I might. Hmm. My spear is bigger than yours. I think. Do you want regular or decaf? Dude, I, I, I'm telling you, when I started drinking decaf, I thought ideally I was like, I like drinking coffee all the time. Let's get decaf. Dog, decaf is not just decaf. My brain, I don't know what it is. Decaf has never been anything that never put me to as much sleep as decaf. Like, I would drink decaf and it would just knock me out cold. It's like I think my brain or body expects it to have caffeine or something. I'm just making up theories and it doesn't have it or something. I mean, I think decaf, you can't completely get rid of the caffeine but it's such a low dose or something that like again like i could drink decaf to go to sleep that's how counter thing it is or whatever you want to call it but yeah that was insane it's weird i can't have decaf like throughout the day because it would really like put me to sleep um let's see what up jordo yes merch <laughs> dude I, I envy you a little alpha that that game is super good i really played a lot of that off stream i think i didn't even stream my second third and fourth playthrough um I leave close club like two kilometers dude where do you live you said kilometers man I go by miles here that's cool uh you need to see this one okay well it better be good uh I might be the only human on earth that doesn't like coffee oh god jackal there's no way I know right no way what do you like tea what's your I mean yeah you like soda I love soda <laughs> I, love I soda, even yeah. mixed sprite with a little bit of coffee today very interesting Blasphemer. flavor. Still not, still not sold on it, and I would not recommend yet until I've mastered my concoction. Oh, I'm yeah. like lowering the dosage of coffee because I don't want it to completely overpower the sprite. Okay. Have you I tried did. coffee and coke. I did. Again, I put too much coffee. I gotta lower the dosage. It's like very little you gotta put. Or at least the coffee I put. I think it was a really good instant coffee. It's alchemy, bro. <laughs> uh, what do you do? I'm an alchemist. Uh, what? I mix coffee with soda. <laughs> you want to try a batch? Uh, no, I don't want to be one of your experiments. Hey, Mr. Singh, welcome to the stream. Hey, someone said something about coffee? Hell yeah, we got a real coffee enthusiast. Coffee and kurkure. That, is, that does not sound like a good combination. Never mind. Actually, uh. depends on the coffee. Yeah, if it's like a if it's like a latte or something, that is a good combo. Dog, I came up here and I never noticed that. Well, I'm gonna die trying to grab that. Who has faith in me doing this traversal first attempt? Uh, oh, I have faith in you, buddy. But Place uh, bets. I'm not sure about this one. All right, first attempt, easy, you got easy, it. easy, 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 right above it, right above it. Just fucking grab it. Holy shit. Holy sh- <gasps> You can do that? Amazing. Dude, they need to create this in real life. Fuck a hoverboard. I wanna- um, I wanna staff that helps me levitate that looks- Oh my god. I love this game. I literally screwed right. up and I- and I recover- You gotta clip that. That was sick. Jill, don't even try it. Sure, don't try this at home, Jill. Stop, stop, stop. You're not one of me. There's only one of me. Only the Arisen can yeah. master this location. Do not try Rounding. this at home. Okay. Alright, that one's called Amazing Traversal if you're looking for it later. Sick. That was good. Oh my god. Uh, watch Jason do a Gwen Stacy trying to grab it. <laughs> yeah, you have no faith in me, Alpha. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the Gwen Spy Bonk. Dude, oh, no. Spider-Man would come out of door. Isn't Capcom part of like Spider-Man or stuff like that or nah? I think it's only Sony then, huh? Capcom has I think it's Sony, yeah. yeah. If they did have some license and there's like a traversal area where if you fail, Spider-Man just comes out of nowhere. Everybody gets one and then leaves and he never comes back again. And if you <laughs> fail that jump, you're dead. That would be hilarious. <laughs> just a one-time ex-machina there. Yeah, that would be hilarious. 
Oh, man, oh, you yeah. should hire me. I have such great ideas. <laughs> Coffee is goddess made by holy really? drink. You need high appreciation skill to grasp the immortality. Wait, Mr. Singh, are you like a like a enthusiast who drinks like black coffee and stuff like that or do you like dilute it with like milk and sugar and stuff like me because there, there's a difference people that are true coffee enthusiasts bro they have that expensive stuff with like you know straight up it's a little batch whereas in, I, I i need a big drink nice milky probably more milk than coffee Just what I was but yeah like. almost like latte at that point a jackal does that not want you to get a staff on your arsenal just having that is so fun a source of a yeah. staff yeah mainly just for traversal but yeah you're right it does so much though if i need stamina that's it just r2 get it all back oh that's actually a really good point dude look 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 Better if i were to just do this let's say i'm like on the last thing like there and now I'm just like dying and I don't have any stamina regen and I'm like waiting for the bubble and then as soon and it starts so regening slow because um and it's gone and I'm only at halfway or then if I were to do it the same way normally it regens way faster but like because of the bubble it's going slower and then once the bubble leaves look how fast it goes oh that weapon swap though oh yeah no that's uh, I mean, I guess they did it for balancing, but it really doesn't balance it because it's like, why would you not want the player to swap to more weapons rather than less? But, it's whatever. Oh yeah, it's a huge difference when you get that upgrade. How did I get up here? God damn it, that's the thing about day and night. At daytime, I'm like, okay, I know where I came from. Nighttime, I'm like, how the hell, where am I? There we go. Well, I'm glad I did the Seer thing, and now, what is next? Alrighty, let's, uh, Port Crystal to Vernworth. And well, I was thinking of resting here and active. having a dragon kill everyone first. Well, I mean, you could do that, too. Can I not see his pawn from here? I thought this was like a town town, no? Yeah, there should be a rift stone. Let's see. Towards the entrance of the town. You know what, at night, I don't know what the entrance and the exit looks like. <laughs> You're on the right track. I thought this is the, yeah, this is the way. All right, there we go. Uh, latte at home, iced, hell yeah, black hot at work. Uh, okay. I sent four <laughs> to perfect my secret, but that's crazy. To be honest, Leon Scotty is great at catching people. Yeah. Let's see, check my pawn. All right, cow cow. If this is a bad pawn and me and Jack will both agree it's not as good looking as your first one, we're never going to check your pawn again. <laughs> Or I'll no have pressure. to screen them before the streams. <laughs> oh, this is not one of those. Oh well. Gotta get to a real city. Anyway, let's see. What's next you were saying? Port Crystal to Vernworth. Mm-hmm. And then? Well, actually, yeah, just Port Crystal to Vernworth. It's a long trek to get there. That's the sculpture I'm Port Crystal like everywhere, bro. You see my money, I'm just gonna buy them. Oh, hell yeah. Probably and on Mork World, they're a common drop, so... So if there's a pawn, is there a king, queen, rook? Yo, Alpha, you know about chess? Let's go. <laughs> I kept calling him my page in the beginning. Gotta really check for eyes now. I'm terrified. Especially in frickin' Vernsworth. This is my home. Yeah, I wonder if that drake would keep spawning if there was nobody to attack. Gotta have the bait, you know. <laughs> hey, where are the people? I am the people, come here. I made sure to lower the, uh, increase the FPS for you. Just uh, start carrying around a buffalo in the ceiling pile and just <laughs> opening it whenever you want a griffin. <laughs> You see one flying overhead. What? What do you mean item stores? I literally just freaking checked. Come on, man. 
Oh, it was that one, I swear. I might have accidentally clicked that. Oh, well. To fight. I hope his stock re is rethinked because I rested a couple times. Unless this boy just sells one. Might as well nah, he restocks. There we go. Oh, oh thank God. Here, and of eh? course, Stop my team also, will follow me. If you're still here, Mr. Singh, um, I did confirm that those art of metamorphosis are unlimited now. They actually restock. Oh, yeah, it's just 99 for the day, I think. Your boy spent a couple on those. Yep. <laughs> Sucked when there were only two, though. Many thanks. All right, let's check his pound. Yes, there is alpha. Ah, oh, so there pawns. <laughs> Technically, you could put it in a chess language. You are the king. If you die, it's over. Your queen would be your DPS, probably. Your pawn is obviously the tank. <laughs> let's see. That, that would work, yeah. I don't think I can cackle like a jackal. <laughs> what was his name? Uh, is this one right? No, that is that is not him. That is Quandale, bro. Still got level six. Does anybody know what Sara and Daji is? That is. Um, there we go. Cow cow's drac. Quandales, I think. Oh god, here we go. Alright. Here's the reveal. Wait, it's no longer a B-string? Holy shit. Well, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see you. <laughs> it definitely work, work's been put into this. Holy shit. Huge improvement. Couple areas. <laughs> Let's see what she's about. Master, she's a fighter. A darkening storm for a wake stone. What the hell? Wait, is darkening storm like one of the good ones or am I bugging? I recognize it. Strength, defense, magic. Pretty good knockdown. Decent and resist. Wait. Wait. Do you want Darkening Storm, or are you giving that away? No, they're giving it away. For a wake stone, oh, of okay. all things. I could grab it. Is it good? <laughs> I can look. Let me see. Darkening. Well, I'm about to snag that off of him right now. <laughs> Doesn't hurt having two of anything. It's Asian Enders. Right, hold on. Let me, let me look up Darkening. Blue. I think it's a... Is that the Worm's Life one? Oh, no. That's the Gryphon Bow. Remember, I got that one. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I probably have one of those. I could probably check, but let me see. It's Darkening. decent, but not the best. It's nowhere near Medusa. Yeah, I thought he was giving away a good one. I was going to be like, what? Darkening Storm, 210 knockdown. Dragon's Rancors, 215. Medusa, 260. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. 300. That's, oh, it's yeah. around, like, where Dennis like is. mid game. Yeah, it's like mid game, maybe. Cool. So you got Cloudward Slash. That's cool. Riotous Fury. I don't even know if Pawns use that well. Hindsight Sweep. Yeah, I gotta see pawns if they do these. Gutting skewer. How long have you used a fighter pawn? I wanna know what the best way to kit out a fighter pawn is. I'm like very unaware of what the best fighter 
Archer and a couple other pawns are. And I wonder if in the future they'll ever add like some of the crazy vocations to the rotation, but if not, then it's fine. Cool, a calm fighter. Hawker has been terrible so far from what I've seen. Have you found any use for Hawker? Um, you know what? Calm not. fighter might not actually be bad, dude. I, from my from my experience, calm is like the best in almost everything except like kind-hearted mage. It's like they'll do about the same thing. It's just almost certainly better from what I've seen. Like straightforward is just too um, I don't know. They, they, there's no strategy behind their thing. Just straight up go in and just go in. I guess with, with calm, like if you put yep. the aggro aggro stuff on them, they'll still take the aggro, but they're not just going to be swinging. They're going to be moving around, dodging, maybe doing buffs, or what, whatever the hell it is. It's just, uh, ideally, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, if you, if you want to tank, make them straightforward, because you want them going in, but from re realistically, you just need them to have the aggro stuff, and the other ones, you don't want the aggro stuff, and that'll basically dictate how they play, and Calm is just, like, one of the best, most versatile, like, type of, um, I don't know, play yeah, I hear a really bad fan, Jackal. There we go, it's fixed. But yeah, that's actually pretty good. I changed my mind about calm. Level 70, bro. Am I higher level than you now? Wait, am I? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'm 74, dog. Can... We're both higher level than him. Holy shit. Oh, nice. I thought you meant than me. Nah. Well, damn. Well, I should probably start beating the game. Cool pawn. Wait, I could summon him now, and I just realized, if he's around my level... Wait, I don't need a fighter on my team, that's... Yeah, I definitely don't want to get rid of... Yeah, I, I literally designed my team for, like... I, I need a mage, and Jackal's perfect. I need a thief, because I need them to steal shit, and this and that, and then... Kratos is the only one that was versatile, and... The DPS Sorcerer helps, but yeah, if you... I'm not saying do it, you don't have to do this at all, but... If you do make a really good fucking thief, like... I, I sound like a dick telling you what I want, but... Again, you don't have to do this. I'm just telling you what I look for in a thief. Like, obviously have, like, you're gonna be the only tank. Oh my god, that, that mic is really bad, Jackal. It's just fan everywhere. <laughs> no, try. I, 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 I howl the update and improve this game. What do they improve? They've never seen a white, white or black What? I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. <laughs> uh, okay, well, see, no, 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 you don't have to change it, but I'm just saying, like, if I'm looking for a thief, like, it, it would be really um, good to make sure to have you have um because I need it to be a tank so it definitely needs the provocation augment at least the rings it would be nice to have at least one aggro ring but you could probably work around not having the ring but definitely have at least the augment or one ring for the aggro and then obviously formless faint plunder or pilfer is must like you have to have the steel after those two things like I don't know it's, you could put whatever but I think skull splitter Skull Flitter is a really good one to have, and then for the last one, I like the rope, but you don't have to put the rope or whatever. Just get something you enjoy, if you do change it, but you don't have to. But yeah, ideally I want like a thief tank that also steals and stays alive. Some stats are also welcome. If anything, I was going to turn my Kratos into a thief. Nope, it's gone. Thank you. Sweet. But yeah, I was going to turn my Kratos into a thief, which I honestly, by the end of the game, a new game plus, I'm probably going to have Kratos be a thief. Like, I just, I love thief. Like, I could go without a sorcerer. But I, I cannot go without a thief. If anything, I might become a thief. Like, I just love thieves in this game. Like, it's always good that they could tank, they could steal stuff, they're, they could go for weak spots. They're pretty much a do-it-all. Even ranged enemies, they could take care of with the rope. And knock them over, because the rope, I think, adds extra um, knockdown and push whenever they're off balance. They could probably solo knock someone down. Just the, just the versatility of a thief is insane. And the deep, it, it's really the most versatile, pretty much. Other than Warfare, I think I obviously. Just, Go ahead. I think I just figured out why you want to copy rings. And it's kind of brilliant. What, why? What do you think? Because you could always just throw it on one of your pawns that you bring in and not worry about losing it. Oh, no, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> no. But you don't have to worry about it. If they put the right stuff on, you could always have them take aggro. True, but I, I still don't like giving away rings to these people. Maybe they'll get, get the message if you give one of their tank people a ring that takes aggro and they're like oh yeah. gosh, that's that's how i should kid it but yeah no nah, i didn't even think of that you could do that though if you could copy rings that'd be good <laughs> i was just thinking that because like if there's certain ones that stack it'd be good to have two of, two of them excuse me 
I need to eat first and shower. I go play DD2 also, so I think I'm gonna also change the character again. I save my phone's creation. How do you, uh, Cherishion? Wait, how do you save pawn creations? I don't even know how you do that. Yeah, no, I thought there's only one save. Uh, what do you guys think of my pawn? I mean, this one's. Oh, good. I think it just means uploading it in or whatever. Uploading it where? When you no, I mean like when you rest it in, in it accesses the servers. Yeah, but like the last right, two that he made is gone, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Unless it's not really saving. Screenshot it, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that, is that what you meant, or... I don't know what you meant, but it, it would be cool if they had multiple uh, pawn options, because half the pawn oh, is designing okay. your own creations and pawns, and it's like, the game only offers one. Holy shit, this, this... I'm not gonna lie, that sound is not a fun sound. They definitely could help with the audio sound, because that's an annoying-ass freaking sound. Like, if I decide not to freaking do these, um, hunts, it'll just keep bothering me hearing it in the background. Oh yeah, definitely room for a different odd in that. But yeah, it's a really good pawn, Coco. I mean, all your pawns are cool, it's just, you know, doesn't make or break anything, you know, just because we like it or we don't, you know? But yeah. It's it's cool that you did a fighter. Like I I want to see a proper fighter. Like I don't mean just like throw shit together. I mean like test out a skill. Just sit back, watch it play. Test out a different skill, watch it play, and see how it behaves. Test out a ring. Like that's what I've been doing with Kratos. Like I turned Kratos into thief and let him solo a fucking golem. I didn't even interfere. I just let him and um, uh, Luthien or main pawn back then just two two man uh two man woman combo solo just to see what he would do. And he actually did beat the golem. Which was kind of crazy, um, but yeah, it's just I just wanted to see his tendencies, like what he does, which things he makes use of, and and all all just the stuff, and it's like it's really good. He's really good as a thief. Obviously, he can't solo as a freaking sorcerer, bro. Would get clapped instantly because <laughs> he would be like, uh, "Somebody want to get aggro?" I'm like, no, not not really. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so probably gonna... Cow. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, have you been to the Unmoored World? And also, have you... How long did you stay? Have you business with the guild, sir? Have you found any of the items? Oh, champion mantle. You discussed the... Do come again. Let me guess. It's trash. Uh, defense and strike resist. Oh, third three electric. I guess. It's. I think it's actually decent when you upgrade it. You can't upgrade capes. Oh, it's a cape. I'm dumb. I thought it was the armor you're supposed to find around there. I'm almost willing to get rid of the fire resist. And just let me see if it looks good. Some tales of your adventure. Oh, it really is a king cape. Holy shit. Can I make a suggestion for Endgame about fire resistance? Sure. I went in with minus five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, explain to me why why you did that. Is it drip or he just didn't care? It, it was totally drip, and then oh, I dude, got you, the new you drip, and it, it was much better. <laughs> you deserve that. Oh, I mean, I could have the sickest yeah. drip, and if it says minus fire, bro, or five percent, was it you said? I, I, bro, I would have to reconsider. Like, bro, negative. Yeah. Dude, you ever get into the lava area and just get burned and just watch your health and like crying out yes. for some heal? Bro, it's the worst thing ever. Like, oh my god, it's like, nah, bro. If I'm if I'm getting negative on you, said like give me zero or nothing, fine. But if you give me negative and I can't counteract that with some other armor, it's it's not it. Negative, I don't know. Maybe there's a multiplier, but it's horrible. I think there was a helmet that I liked early on that had negative on fire. Yeah, and if the loss gauge is already low, you're just struggling yeah, to keep really healing so you don't up. die. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, that's why I'm like, yeah, you could get more defense, get all that stuff, but the reason I really like my um thing early on, I was like, there's nothing else in the game that you could use to, like, pretty much negate statuses, like, blight, there's times, like, poison harpies or whatever, like, touch me and hit me, and I'm, like, not poison, I'm like, I wonder if that did something, then it touches someone else one time, instantly, they're poison, I'm like, yep, I know it did something, because it, it's an invisible bar that almost fills up, but it doesn't, because of the 
resistant like the percentages are so huge like if you look at my character which i just took off the cape let me actually put the other one back on just for reference look at the statuses it's like fire fire damage like i don't know dragon's breath or some shit it's 15 percent less damage that's on top of the magic defense and then ice which i don't see too often but lightning is the number one rule if it's ever raining and you get hit by lightning you need every percentage to the dot but um blight on this one's super good sleep is good for the harpies i have 28 for that 20 for that and then silence you're having randomly too much but that's gonna suck if not if i'm not able to cast i think that's um getting stoned by the medusa in 23 which i think she was doing that in the last fight and obviously i didn't get stoned um again ice i haven't seen too many of but yeah fire it's pretty nice to not be getting burned like there's like goblins that throw torches at you they used to insta burn me end game has a lot of fire yeah i would imagine so yeah i'm really happy with like a lot of these resistance even if i have like i don't know 50 less 30 less stats than someone else they're not going to get away with like the huge percentages of the difference on this but yeah i do i wish my lightning was at 15 and said i'll trade ice for lightning any day i haven't ran into too many ice enemies which is funny because enemies don't use that much ice on me but they use fire and lightning whereas then i feel like my ice is like the strongest thing i have against them which is crazy but yeah but i'm so glad i could get main pawn to just do ice whenever because ice is just too damn good Oh yeah, ice has been my favorite affinity so far. Yeah, I've tested a couple of them and like fire's cool and all, lightning is cool and all, but ice is just... I think early on somebody told me that ice is the best and I agree now. Uh, let's see. I'm a thief but only in real life now, I'm kidding, or am I? Bro stole Spider-Man 2 for his birthday now. I need each person in the shower place to be for pawn creation. Oh, uh, what do you think of pawn? I make the pawns like yesterday and got like 2,000 plus from Super. How the hell did you do that? And when you, well, when you end game, you have also more option armor and weapon. Yeah, not yet. Like this account, I have two accounts. I go play throw in main story, uh, through main story only. Okay, I already finished the game already. This account. What else? You see another gameplay? Take easy, explore, try fun. Yep, that's what I was gonna do. Jason, the last ben vendor. <laughs> you bending something. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go sleep. But first, I'm gonna have to check. Oh, right, I'll check in this. Yeah, this, I get to keep lightning. I guess it comes down to the drip. Might give it a Kratos. Let's see, do I look good with this? It's a little overbearing. I still like how you're playing a melee build and you're using sorcerer gear. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. It, it's like too good. Like I was expecting the sorcerer gear to not have knockdown power and then I would have not used it. But it's literally like only a little couple maybe 20 off in knockdown resist which i was like why like sure and the drip is also good enough so i'm like okay the only better drip i've seen was like the one under this i think it was like a trickster one or maybe something it looked so freaking good but yeah i don't know yeah there's a there's a really cool end game trickster set i really nice. liked it and i don't usually like that kind of thing Okay, this is more like it. Oh, What's yeah. the name of that hat? That's, uh... Witch's hat. It's, uh, I think it's one of the best, if not the best, um, sorcerer hat, uh, helmet you can get oh, okay, before yeah. endgame. Great you like the drip? Uh, it, it shows the face, but not really. The only alternative is even worse. Oh yeah, that cape looks pretty good on him, honestly. Yeah, I actually like that. Let's go. That is pretty lore accurate there. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm actually glad I got some use out of this freaking collecting seeker tokens, because normally it's like... Why is he running like that, dude? Weary at this hour, sir. <laughs> Sue them off. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do after this is progress fire. time tonight. Mm -hmm. And get naked. Or oh, put on the tear. Okay, definitely need to take a nap. I just I recommend check. getting naked. Yeah, let me let me take a check at everyone's eyes first. I'm not trying to have someone die. I wonder if there's an enemy. It's like every time there's someone new. Alpha Strike. Expelliarmus. Are you a Harry Potter fan? Is that a Harry Potter thing? 
Ex- okay, that's definitely a Harry Potter thing. Say expecto. It is a Harry Potter. Thing. Let's say petroleum. That is definitely not the second word. Yeah, that that's it's. I think it's Patronus, but I'm not actually a Harry Potter fan. I only played the game. <laughs> and then I watched the movies after I played the game, but that's a whole thing. So. All right, everybody, check your eyes. Unlike Jackal, I don't just throw him in the water. Okay, Kratos, I need you to. Yeah, he looks good. He looks good. What the fuck is even that? Holy shit, you really gotta not make her squint. I, shall await further I mean, I can fix her jaw right now and her eyes. Oh, no, she's okay. That. I thought she had red eyes for a second. Yeah, no, from the beginning, she had, like, puffy cheeks and, like, a horrible jawline. Like, any girl I see in this game always has, like, sharp, nice jawline, and then your one looks like, I don't know, it's just not my thing. I really appreciate, like, sharp jawlines or whatever, like, not even double chin, but whatever it is. Yeah. She wasn't eye candy, but it's like, whatever. I don't really summon for eye candy. <laughs> Do the job. All right. You can sleep properly night. Yeah. You said night or morning? Night, right? Definitely night. Okay. We must rest. The uh, I read the books as a kid. Shut up. <laughs> Let's go. No dragon. Thank God. Holy shit. That cutscene gave me PTSD. <laughs> Isn't Emin Burnsworth? Hey, Curtis got summoned. What is that staff? Whoopee. What the fuck is that staff? Hey, three. Wait, wait, hold on. That can't be real. Three hearts? Kratos, you performing? You ever received new equipment from, from an Arisen in another world? Equip it now. Oh my god. I, I think that's what um Osama did, right? Osama. Oh my fucking god, he gave me a maxed out Linworm Fang. <laughs> nice. Dude, that is it, actually it's a pretty exact, cool weapon. It's exactly how I want it. It's freaking Dwarven. Oh my god. I can't not use that, right? <laughs> like, Honestly, I, I mean, I would use it because you're to. just gonna... You've already yeah. earned it with the Worm's Life Crystals, so... Yeah. Uh, that's the only other thing to get it, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, nah, this is crazy. Why did do he it. do that? Where is he, bro? I thought he would send me some shit, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. But, like, this is exactly what I would create. I would put the Linworm, I would put Triple Dwarven and Dragon thing it. God damn. Wait, is that all? It's all him. Ellie. Holy shit. Well, I want to check his thing out. If Annie gave me a Eternal Wake Zone, yo, W for that, man. You have to do that. We need I wonder you if he reverted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's still here, bro. This is so sick. Uh. Learn from that, cow cow, bro. Instead of saying, check my, check my character, bro. He's like giving me good shit. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that's how you make a statement, <laughs> Big bro. <W. laughs> Big W for them. I wish he was here. So I could... Oh, he is. I put triple dwarven on it. Yo, let's go, Osama, bro. Please join the Discord, man. I knew you were a fucking chill dude. Wait, it, why is Kratos wearing the new fucking staff? Is that something you sent to or something? Because I did not give him that staff. That looks like some dragon sta- Bro, I don't know why he has that. Did somebody give him that? You wait, he, I, he did give you that. Wait, wait, wait. These are just gifts. He he kitted Kratos with something else that I just kept. Oh, he did give me that staff. That is not my staff. Oh, my God. I wonder if that's all set. Bro, he about to make everything OP as hell. I equipped the best staff. Oh, my oh, God. Nice. He did. Oh, yeah, he did. Holy shit. I was like, that is not my staff. I hope I didn't lose the other one, though. <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, let's go, Osama. You are a legend, man. Yo, you should send Jackal some stuff, man. Bro's been working really hard, and he, he loves getting gifts and stuff. But, yeah. And now I'm also a fan of getting gifts, too, because this is sick. Holy, it's like Christmas came early. But, yeah, man, please make a freaking Discord and join, man. You're too chill. Uh, also, Triple oh God, Dwarven. Yeah. Hell, yes. Bro, Triple Dwarven on a staff. Yo, imagine Kratos be breaking posture with Hegel. I don't even know. But it's fucking super sick, man. Thank you all for the hearts and stuff, man. Hold on. I got to check out his thing without accidentally canceling. Okay, there we go. Pawn status. Let's see his pawn. 109. Holy shit. So he is... Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you might have du- overdone it. Maybe maybe lower the BVL just a little bit and it's like damn near perfect. Because the hair... Bro, the hair's... um 
blend is literally the per best I've seen in this game yet. Normally, I see a little over the top, you know, pink or something that doesn't mesh or blend well, but this is like the perfect hair blend. Holy shit, that's actually really good hair. Um, face is really good. The outfit, that's the corset. God damn, if you would just like, I'm not saying you have to, like, bro, it's your character, but just a little less BBL and it would be perfect, man. You know, just the point where it doesn't look unnatural, bro. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is like damn near perfect, bro. Honestly, I want to make my fucking... Damn, this is the most I wanted to change my character to someone else. It's just minus that <laughs> ungodly <laughs> illegal ass. So yeah. So we got a mage oh, yeah. with um 130 magic. Let's go. Really good defenses. Balanced 833 defense, 849 magic defense really good i think he balanced it out and he's got knockdown resist over 400 knockdown fire speed 34 that doesn't really mean much i guess but uh resist definitely does got pretty good elemental seven for lightning is huge uh not bad that course that i can't wait to get that monica ray oh yeah he tries a lot of stuff w look at that celerity hell yeah halidum interesting susser there you go and ice affinity so he doesn't like the pay on, interesting. And what else do we normally use? Ice affinity we use. Celerity we use. Um, minus the pay on and uh, palladium. He doesn't do palladium, I just realized. Interesting. Uh, Perputation, he says version of enchantment. That's good for the ice affinity and celerity. And maybe even susser because of the region. Yeah. Stamina recovery, hell yeah. Physical defense. I think I'm going down or crawling. I might need to test diligence. I feel like diligence could technically be one of the best because whenever you're knocked down, it's really, really shitty. Augments your knockdown resistance. That's always good. Subtlety, of course. Oh, yeah. There's not really any complaints. 90, 90 likes and fucking 35 hearts. Well deserved. All right. Look at that. He got pretty much every badge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind hearted. Yep. Logistician. Uh, combined materials interesting oh yeah this is insane all right let's check out what do you think jackal just for the pawn all right bring bring in my pawn now i just fixed <laughs> her okay what do you think of his pawn awesome uh different but awesome yeah yeah let's check the arisen ellie a fighter wait that is unexpected this guy's a freaking chat and a half Okay. I love it. Yeah, I would love to see him playing. How come she doesn't have an ungodly ass? Maybe she does. That skirt is, like, sticking out. I realized, which I guess is a tip. If you want to make your character have really nice, you know, ass, just increase the leg size and thigh size. Don't do the rear. Because then it's just protruding randomness out. And that's how real life works, too, man. You got to have the thighs match. You can't just have just straight up protruding ass. It looks weird. Anyway, 819 strength, that's good. Defense is good, magic defense good. I feel like your pawn had more defense than you. Am I crazy? Magic is good, knockdown power is huge. Oh yeah, this person knows what's up, 12%. Good stuff, negative to drench and tarred. I wonder what's causing that. Oh yeah, he plays it all. He plays it all. I guess you don't even have to. If you play Warfare and you play long enough, I guess that would max everything. Okay, so what does a fighter do? Also, Endgame has a special thing. Uh, full Moon Slash. Oh, damn, that should look good. Shield Pummel. That's nice. Shield Bash. Radis Fury, okay. Gutting Skewer. That's probably really good against, like, weak spots. <clears throat> diligence. Okay, he seems to use Diligence a lot. Maybe that is really good that I don't know about. I might start throwing that on. Raises the amount of which weight affects your moves. Oh yeah, dynamism is sick. I usually stay under, um, I usually stay on very light. That's why I don't use dynamism. But if I were to start carrying a lot of stuff and I hit light load, I'll definitely throw on light dynamism. Because that equip load makes a huge difference with your movement speed and um, stamina recovery more than anything else pretty much. That's a nice blend, red to white. I like the other one way more though, but this is cool. Uh, dominance, hell yeah, the knockdown power, bro. Dominance and the knockdown resist for augments, they just, I, it's one of the most effective things in the game. Resist chemo, hell yeah. Interpret ED, I'm probably always gonna have that unless I'm going trying to do no hit, which I'm probably not. Constance, oh yeah, I love these three, hell yes. Zeal, oh perfect, stamina recovery. Oh yeah, he knows what's up, this guy knows what's up. Love it. 
huge, man. Not I'm even impressed. Mentioned. Yeah, thank you for all the gifts, man. I gotta check out Kratos' gifts now. This is the best, by far the best gift. Three hearts and all these stuff. Hell yeah. Let's go. Dude, that Before staff looks insane. Was with of... <laughs> Dude. Oh god, let's see. Crate. Oh my god, let's compare. So the old staff has less magic, less strength, less knockdown for... Oh, bro, wait. The Dragon Forge with... Wait, 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 hold on. Huh? Lion's Lord's Archer Staff with full Elven upgrades. Still can't beat the magic on the new one with full Dwarven. That's actually insane. If he were to have put... Well, I'm not saying he should, but if he were to put, you know, magic on that, that would be even... Dude, Dragon, dragon stuff is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if that Hegel starts knocking. Oh man, that cape looks so good on him. Holy shit. Dude, my Kratos is le reaching final form. If anything, he already reached it. Just needs the armor upgrade. God <laughs> damn. Hey, thanks for joining us, Alpha Strike. Always good to see you. I'm gonna head to bed. It's calling me. See you soon. Hey, yeah, thanks for having me. Yo, love that, man. Alpha, thanks for the wrap, man. I appreciate it. Uh, nice, night. Osama. All right, let me read some of these. I feel like I messed up. Uh, you're a legend. Or missed out. Equip the best staff room. Hell yeah. Also triple dwarven. Heck yeah. And man, you really got big assets. <laughs> Did someone say infinity to an infinity? Of you? Oh god, he loves that as well. Let's go. My pawn have neutral. Uh, my pawn have neutral. What does that mean? Uh, what's new? What do you mean? I should have probably read that when he wrote that. I wonder what that was about. Working on upgrading uh, a ruined duo spear now. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. Isn't that the ice one? Bro, I thought in this game, if you have like an affinity on your weapon already, and then someone buffs you with something, or let's say if you had, I don't know, ice daggers, and then you did form or the blades of pyre, it would just switch element to fire or whatever you got buffed with. No, that's not what happens. It keeps the element yeah. it has no matter what, I think, right? Yep. So it's your mage, got that ice. So your mage's buff doesn't mean shit if your whole team has like elemental stuff. Well, yeah, I was thinking I would... uh get rid of the ice affinity and put something well, else on Well, that's not even what I was thinking, it. but that is definitely true. But think of it this way, like, if you have, let's say, the the warrior with the fire one, right, and then your thief is using, you know, the fl flames of fire and you take it off, that's one solution, yeah. But I was thinking, like, wouldn't that just mean if you have physical damage, like, let's say normally you, you know, you look for, like, whatever's the best overall, like the, the heaven's key with 400 magic, right? Would it, would it be better... So let's say there's a dagger that has better physical damage. Well, well, in that case, I'm not saying, like, I'm just making an argument. Let's say you have more physical damage, and then it's on top of that you get buffed by a mage. Wouldn't that technically out-damage the Heaven's Key? Maybe, but I think Heaven's Key might have... That's one you buy at Endgame, right? Yeah, yeah. It's I think not it's a like... worm. I actually don't know, but I know there is one da dagger that does more physical damage. Like, it does the most physical damage. And uh, I think what I heard is Heaven's Key always out damages, but I just mean, like, overall. Like, if there's other weapons in the game, like, a different category where... I think in Dragon's Dogma 1, they were saying, like, the best outcome is usually, like, one with the most physical damage, buffed with some sort of element. Because then it carries the best of both worlds, rather than, like, one that's supposed to try to do both. But yeah, I didn't know that. I thought it just replaced whatever you had. So it's like, but nah. If you have an element, it's only going to be that element. Which, holy is like, no one resists holy from what I've heard. So that's that's good to have. But damn, if you do the ice Hey, one, Dark then, Canyon. Tanya, Welcome bro. You, <laughs> Dogma, dude. Yeah, dude, you've been missing, man. We did some cool stuff today. But yeah, I, I do like your idea, though. Like, if you did, let's say I did, I really like the ice buff and I put on the ice daggers, you know? And then free up a, yeah. self, a mage or even something like that. But yeah, anytime I think of getting rid of a mage and I'm like, what the hell am I going to replace the mage slot with? There's very few things that is going to be so good where it's worth replacing a mage. Because there was a time I put mage on and I was like, all right, I could get an extra warrior on my team. And I don't know, it didn't seem that great. Because, bro, as a mage, you're getting heal on, on command without having to put a staff in your own arsenal. You're getting... Uh, the celerity, if you do get that, definitely the weapon buffs if you have, you know, any sort of weapon using in physical attack. And the celestial pion, like, straight up, like, maxes everyone else out. It just, it's really good to have a... I was really considering replacing a mage, but the more I think about it, it's like, you definitely want a mage on your team. It's just too damn good at how many things it does that oh, yeah. no one else does. That's the thing, and no one else fills that role. Like, with Thief, you could uh, argue, like, you know, maybe you could get a fighter, maybe you could get a thing, but it's like the mage thing, like... 
you can't get any sort of support from your team uh, pawns because they can't just be, you know, Magic Archer and get those things. You can't just have them be something else and do that. It's only Mage that gets that that type of support. And a well well made Mage, I don't think there's a better fourth to add to your team than a Mage. Uh, totally agree. Keeper like this. Oh, my pawn got 60k Rift crystals. God damn. So I'm gonna keep her like. Yeah, bro, this is nice. Oh, the bot you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely it stands out. But, like, I don't know. My thing is just my preference. But, yeah, it's definitely going to stand out. People will probably laugh and enjoy that and, like, give you a like. But, I don't know. I, I like seeing certain ones with, like, the proper, like, it, it could still be a big ass and shit. But just not so to the point where it looks freaking insane. But, yeah, I would I don't want to oh. change a thing, honestly, if I were you. Just keep it as it is. Let, right? me, let me rest it and then real quick. And you should bring my pawn in now. Absolutely. Uh, did you level up any more since or not? Since when? This morning? Well, since the character I have now, I think it's like, what, 76 or something? Maybe, like, three levels Jesus or four. Jesus Christ, dude. That's gonna be oh, good. no, no, she's 76. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's okay, 76. Cool. You're good. Alright. Uh, yeah, that Ruent seems really freaking good, because if you get Ruent and something else, then maybe the mage could not have it, but I really like Ice Affinity, so I'll just get a different mage that has Ice Affinity. Try a favorite one that's really good if you plan on it. But yeah, don't ever hold back in like changing and experimenting stuff. Because like make what... Your main pawn should be trying to be your main pawn, bro. Like build your whole team around your character and your main pawn. Don't worry about anything else. Um, but if I haven't heard of that, my pawn goes... Uh, dog, what do we do? My friend convinced me to play Red Dead Online. I don't know what to do. I mean, if he convinced you, then play it. But he'd let us know. Seem like you and I have like similar games, so if you don't like Red Dead, then maybe I'll have one more reason not to play it. But yeah, I do like people that play different games and have like a proper review or like a suggestion where they could tell you like, okay, this is what it does well. Like a proper criticism, not like I fucking love this game. You gotta play it, and it's like, all right, dude. Or it's like this game sucks and gives no reason, and it's like, bro, come on. The best review I heard about Red Dead was, like, it has really good story, side quest, all that, just <clears throat> the gameplay part of it. It's, like, sometimes it could be a snooze fest and repetitive and stuff, but that's just what I heard. All right. Oh, man, dude, Kratos' staff, I'm actually freaking mind-blown. I might even just start throwing on, like, certain spells that would help with knockdown. Like, for example, uh, what's that physical attack one? Remember the... Sesame or some shit, season. I might experiment with that because I've always wondered like a staff with, I mean, 300 ain't like the craziest thing ever, but it's like that spell looks like it would just start like destroying the posture meter, right? Like if you throw that on with something like this and put on knockdown um, rings and maybe. augments, probably yeah, one shot, maybe. one shot knockdown a fucking ogre or something. I'd be willing to try that instead of Hegel now. I mean, yeah, test it out, but first, I think yeah. you should do Oxcart, right? <laughs> God, I'm just so excited with this staff. The moment I was like, wait, that's not his staff. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. That's cra nice. Kratos' drip looks insane now. With that thing in the cape, he looks insane. Oh, my God, I would summon this guy in a heartbeat if I saw him out. What? Oh, yeah, he looks great. Dude, what do you think this number would have been if he did Elven upgrades? God damn, I can't even imagine... Like, the, the previous best one that I had with Elven upgrades is less than this one with Dwarven. That's nuts. His his Meteor on would fucking destroy dragons or, like, the Hegel solos the entire mob mob vicinity. But, again, like, I'm, I'm actually interested to see, because his knockdown's at 300. If I were to put on, like, two knockdown rings with um an augment, this goes, like, insanely high. Yeah, I don't know. Like, All Hegel right, and Meteor... I'm resting again, and I'm going to bring up your share screen. Hey, Nick, welcome to the stream. Nicky, Jason, yeah, what up? Yo, Nick, we got to do Fortnite one day, man. The rocket racing definitely got to schedule that for some time, but maybe not anytime soon. But, yeah, that's going to be fun. Jackal's going to join us and everything. I hope we have fun doing that. Yes, I will. Uh, see, I would say it's a very grindy game. Wait, what are we talking about, Tanya? Red Dead? Very grindy game. I thought you said you haven't played it. The gameplay is very fun, though also I don't think I would advise it for you. really don't know what you're interested in, but it'll never run out of things to do. See, like, Witcher 3 and um, certain other games that I really like the story and, like, I really like the story and stuff, I never finish because it's like, 
I'm not saying it drags on. That's like 100% my fault because I could definitely go back and finish it. But it's just the combat and the, I don't know, the immersion of like how I feel like I'm I'm the one in control just wasn't there. Even though there's like options and stories, it's just the combat made me feel like it was very snooze festy for me. Again, it could be fun. Like obviously you could make a build and play a different way, but it's just the optimal, the most optimal way to play is just not a good way or a fun way. But yeah. How about Saturday or Friday? I, I we gotta see, man, because it's a, it's a, like a scheduling thing. You gotta have you, Jordan, and some other people all agree to like get on and play it and like whatnot. But honestly, I wouldn't mind sometimes just hopping on a stream at random times just to play for an hour or two of rocket racing. But right now I'm just too immersed in this game, bro. I just when I get immersed in a game and I really like it, you could tell I really like the game because I'm not trying to put it down and try some other things. But yeah, rocket racing, yo, Tanya, you trying to play? <laughs> Dude, I love rocket racing. Alright. Yeah, no, I'm so happy right now. My freaking... Oh, I didn't even look at my own character. Holy shit. Let me see something real quick. So, the new one has more strength, more magic, by a lot, and more knockdown. Holy shit. That strength is a massive jump. Same with the freaking... Jesus Christ. Look at the drip on that. Oh my god. I didn't even know this would have looked like. Yeah, it's got three heads. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ya boy. Ya boy. Holy shit. Damn. Beautiful. It's almost, uh, it's almost like... Go ahead. I forgot to do the eyes. Give me one more second before I. Uh, Dude, you don't have, have to. It's fine. In. Like she's perfectly fine. You don't have to prioritize any of that. But uh, oh, I already got it. So it's kind of crazy that I just got the dead ringer from the dragon, and it almost feels like instead he dropped a fucking lindworm fang. <laughs> nice. I mean, I think you earned it. Yeah, no. I mean, I was gonna do it anyway, but yeah, it's gonna be great to use that. I didn't think this is what I really wanted, but I'm actually glad he gave it to me. Thank you. Holy. Yeah, now Kratos and I have the two two best things we needed. Very cool. I'm still that wondering. That was a W so gift. I, yeah, when I get Dragon's Wood, I'm definitely going to try to make a different one with Magic and see and compare. Then I can make like different comparisons. With this one, I don't think I would have kitted it other than Knockdown. Maybe I'll try Magic to compare, but I don't know. If you like, do you do a regular song with a weapon like this and it does Magic damage? I don't think so. I think there's like certain attacks that buff its Magic. I'm still not sure how Magic works in this game. Like, if I were to use a regular weapon and somebody buffs me, does my Magic stat buffs me with a element? Does my Magic stat play anything into it, or does it have to do with the Mage's weapon or his weapon? And if he buffs it, because if that's the case. You would want Luthien to have, like, some of the best, you know, magic uh, damage or number, right? Because then it's, like, whatever they buff it with is what it's going to be or something. I don't know, honestly. Oh, yeah. I'm planning on re-kitting her completely on my oh, next yeah. stuff, so. Dude, I'm, like, straight up, like, I'm 100% more focused on making my pawn the best thing rather than me. Because for me, I could just fuck around, play, play for fun, and just try shit. But with my main pawn, I want them to be so good at their role that everybody, including me, loves them. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's that's like the dream. Yeah. Again, thank Those you so much. Those hearts are like. No, no, also much. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to drop anymore, man. <laughs> as much as I do want it, I think I think right now it's good enough, man. Let's. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I don't even know what the best bow is, but I, I do like the Millicent dub. But yeah, it'd be crazy to see. Like again, I'm I'm at so far into close to the end game. Like I was gonna buy these stuff anyway and upgrade them, but yeah, getting a little bit sooner now doesn't make too much of a difference. It does help though. Appreciate it. Again, what I want from you, Asuma, is please make a Discord and join, bro. Like I said, I don't know if I'll ever see you again from the next time I stream or whatnot, but if you join the Discord, we could always stay connected. But yeah, again, th huge thank you for this. Right, so I'm getting 664 knockdown with the Blackwing bow right now. What's the Blackwing bow? That's is that the, the best one. Yeah, the end. Well, I don't think it's the best one. It's the end game purchase bow. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like the look of the worm. Yeah, 600 Crystal knockdown, one. 600 knockdown. Does it have the highest knockdown of all it the bows? Might. Okay, so that plus two two knockdown rings and an augment should put it over like 800. Yeah, that's going to be insane. All 
Alright, let's uh I need to check the eyes again yep. before I rest. I ain't trying to have a another scene. Definitely bring you can dismiss my pawn just so you don't have to worry about that one. Okay, give me one second. Uh equipment. Fucking eyes thing always throw me off. Bro, she really does fucking terrify me. Like, holy shit, I can't see it from there. Okay, no, she's good. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome. You want a fairy stone? Do you even need him? Yeah? No? Hello? I, I, I wouldn't say no, no. I mean, yeah, I, I love fairy stones. They're my favorite gift. Go, good to know for moving forward. Fairy stones. Alright, uh, I gotta go summon that and then bring you in. God, my my drip, especially Kratos' drip. Oh my god, that cape came at the perfect time. He looks like a new man. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. And, like, I don't know what happened, but he literally is playing so better with his AI right now. I'm actually super impressed by that. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. I mean, I could use some of that stuff, Osama. Yeah, right? I don't know how you guys have so much loot. That's crazy. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be right, glad to so I'm brain farting right now. Holy shit. That's why I love streaming. Fine and chill, dudes. Uh, there's a mage staff that revives your pawn when he's down. Holy shit, what? I mean, I don't really... Yeah, j j j I love it. Jackal would really like that, and then I always summon his pawn, so I would love it, too. <laughs> What's your pawn ID? Alright, let me show his one real quick after, as I summon him. Mutually beneficial. Hell yes. We're getting buffed. I keep forgetting that's our new name. I am at level 7. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna get there anytime really soon yeah and nah, he, he has been the best mage and he's about to get even better and so is my Kratos and so am I oh man hey, I'm touched Tis plain you've been training uh, diligently there we go that's the pawn ID right there bottom left to pause there oh damn she looks way better holy shit damn Jackal yeah. are you serious bro <laughs> bro she went from like a fucking six to a at, at least 7.5 if not 8. What the hell? No, that's actually probably at... Okay, this is even higher than 8. Wait, what She's the on 9. Come yeah, bro, on. what did you just do? <laughs> I still get, like, see the, her old ghost in my face. I think I got permanently I... haunted by her old face. Yeah, I fixed the nose, I fixed the jaw, I fixed the... I didn't even chin. say anything about the All nose. It was just the freaking eyes and the chin. But yeah, she looks way better, bro. That is a 100% improvement. God damn, good shit. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy with it too, bro. That is nice. Why wasn't she like this from the start? Did you not notice this before? <laughs> I, I didn't look at her close enough, I guess. <laughs> Dude, what? If you want, okay, you could phone. change... Go ahead. Oh, my phone's about to die, so I'm going to okay. swap to my controller, Mike. Did you fuck up the augments, or no? What do you mean? Did I not put on the augments, or...? I don't know why. It just says two and then nothing else. That's weird. Let me hire her and then see if it fixes I'm it. Well glad to be yeah. Dude, she looks sick with that freaking dragon armor. Unfortunately, it's oh, about no, to you get out of class pretty soon. You got it. Beastitude. Health recover by curative. That's huge. Wait, I still don't know if that affects her. I definitely want the mage to have that. Substitution. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Magic defense. Do you need magic defense? Nah, I just didn't really have one I wanted to put there. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, no, you want subtlety, but the thief is not right. Yeah. Wait, I have you not had subtlety this whole time? Nobody's been targeting her too much, but maybe sometimes. Yeah. I have I not know. had subtlety, but I should probably get that, yeah. I mean, she's not getting targeted, especially with the dude with the two things. I still have, I gotta do some testing yeah. on her, but from what I've seen, like, as long as the person that's supposed to get aggroed has, um, you know, the... The provocation, I don't even think anyone else needs to have anything else as long as they don't have provocation themselves. But it does help having them have provocation and you having subtlety. Then it's like almost guaranteed if yeah. you're all there. But yeah, the other person that I summoned, he's probably a little overkill, but that's fine. But yeah, Warrior, Warrior has some really good damage. shit. 
Yeah, Warrior has some really good shit for like knockdown resist and uh, less health loss on the gauge. So if she ever like takes some damage by accident, she doesn't lose the loss gauge as much. Which I feel like loss gauge is the scariest shit in this game. Some attacks like delete your loss oh, yeah. gauge. That's why I think War man, okay. Warrior is just so fucking well done. I'm super happy, bro. Everything just got improved. Everything just got improved. Oh my god. Look at this Chad. Oh my lord. Dude, this is fire outfit. That cape really did something. Wow. Yeah, and I would definitely summon both of us now. Are you kidding me? We look better than anyone else that I normally see. Yeah. Let's go. Yo, all three of our characters are insanely good looking. I, even o Ozuma's, um, oh, sorry, Osama's freaking um, crazy ass pawn is insane looking. Man, I'm glad. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. Sweet. God of War Ragnarok, what are you talking about, Nick? Y'all want a new drawing? Hell yeah. Wait, why do you want a God of War Ragnarok stream, bro? I don't get it, Nick. That's so random. Very random. Uh, will you do it after you finish this game and like side quests or something? But I don't even know if I'm finishing this game. This game is just too good with so many other stuff, replayability, and just yeah. I mean, you, you can't tell by my excitement. I'm really loving this game. Please, Fortnite. How about Saturday, Friday? Uh, also, oddly close to 92 and Dogma. What is that? I get dead last every time. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. Nostalgia. Yeah, but it's like you don't want to beat a dead horse and like kill a game that's one of your favorites like sometimes i like playing different games i like streaming and i like you know chatting with you guys and stuff just try to enjoy the streams and like the people like osama is like new to this stream you know he like we're meeting new people and enjoying just try to stick with the whatever's happening on screen and on stream rather than just i don't know trying to completely divert the thing it's, i don't know like, half of the fun is, like, meeting you guys on, like, different games. And, like, all time I would have never found my stream if I didn't play this. Game. What the hell is wrong with my cape? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's the buff. Oh. Okay. But, yeah. Try to enjoy what's happening. Stay in the moment. We are good to fucking go, dude. My team is about to roll out. All right. Time to get naked after all this nice armor. And then the ghost cart. Cool. How, how I badly can I fuck this quest up? So do try not to rush ahead. The ox cart one? Yeah. Uh, only if you die, but... Uh, oh, no, you can fuck it up real bad, actually, so... Oh. Um, can I walk you through it a little bit? A little bit, yeah, yeah. Just try to be vague yeah, until, you, like, a yeah. per place a where you're, like, point. you can really fuck it up and just, like, pause or, or something just to, like... Tell me like what it is, but, yeah, or just uh, I'll tell good. you to listen to the dialogue. Or yeah, something. yeah, exactly. Just you're very yeah. good at vague hints. God damn, my new spear looking so good. I want to start spinning it around, but I'm in a town. They're probably gonna get mad. Oh my God, Kratos. And even yeah, press left on the D-pad to get that celerity, and then start spinning. Yeah, if you please. <laughs> Dude, your character's eyes still scare the fuck out of me. No, now it looks good. Oh, she looks so good now. Bro, how, how different is a nose job and a chin job and an eye job? Findings. Oh, yeah. That's huge. Huge improvement. I should, I should probably fix her posture, though. That's kind of weird. Dude, somebody... Oh. Who, this Kratos' posture needs a little fixing. He's a little hunched. I didn't realize he was hunched. Lower accurate. He's got back pain. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Cool, Nick. Well, thanks for hopping on, Nick. So this is kind of far back, the point you were making, but I was thinking about upgrading that um, Ice Duo Spear at Elf Place first and trying it out since I can buy as many as I want. Well, I'm actually not even sure about doing knockdown for the weapons anymore. Like, all I've noticed for, like, the proper knockdown is, like, Warrior for sure. Like, for sure that thing is knocked down. But as for weapons, like, I, I would like to do, like, a side-by-side, -side, maybe off-stream, like, save scum session of just shooting certain, like... There's categories, right? There's the mobs, and there's, there's like, the 
medium boss or whatever like ogres and then there's like really tough unique bosses and it's like do i really care to try to build up that knockdown or just lean into its damage type or strength which like let's say you release a shot with the magic archer it's like if you have maximum amount of magic damage on it and you're just killing it before it gets a chance and does what it's good at versus like you just stack knockdown like crazy on it and by the time it gets knocked down it's already dead or if you, even if you're adding to it it's just there's no way to really tell and just I wanted to do understand what it is like let's say if you shoot like a flying enemy with knockdown and it instantly brings them down then I'm like yeah that's what it is but if it's like oh doesn't matter if it's knocked down or regular as long as you hit them they knock down then I'm like okay it's not doing much but for armor definitely armor is like bro I want the knockdown resist like there's no way might as well gather what we can like the staff, for example, for Kratos, like he's going to be doing Hegel, Meteor on, Augural Flare and stuff like that. And I'm guessing magic would be the most impactful for that. Whereas then maybe Hegel with a ton of knockdown could probably help knock down the boss more. Meteor on is probably going to kill it, but it's going to be good to see it, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would like to compare them. Yeah, and I don't have the luxury to compare because I don't got that, but now I do because I already got a staff with knockdown. If I do get this weapon again, which I think this is hands down the best twin spear in the game, I don't think anything else comes close. So I could definitely do another one with like either magic or strength to like test out. If we had to break it, it shan't be from this side. I understand. One thing I have noticed, I was able to knock down a griffin before uh, the second health bar mm -hmm. by myself. Thief? One of the early game griffins? No, uh, Mystic Spearhand with the, that specific duo spear you have right now. You have this? Wait, have you not seen my Arism? I have not, no. Oh. Yeah, no, I did not want to spoil myself. I don't even know what you've unlocked so far. Just archer armor. Wait, so you did all that for your risen, but nothing for your main pawn? Come on, Jackal. They so take care of your lady I'm first. Yeah, I, thought, I would have, I, Kratos. I would have put you first. Oh man. I brought the number that you requested. Well, I'll I mean, she was doing enough. pretty good by herself, so. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't really need much. She's just a healer, and so. Oh my god, this is fucking funny. Funny looking bunch of people. But how did you figure this out? Did you look it up or you just knew Duran really to take your clothes off? Jackal? Wait, what do you mean? The ox card quest. How'd you know to just strip? Well, because it says you can disguise yourself as a pawn, and then I figured since my gear is magic archer, that's not going to work. So I took everything off and it worked. Is that what the wiki says or some shit? That's fucking really clever of you. I don't know. It might. I think you're supposed to get, like, prisoner gear or something, or I think you can just dress as any other vocation, but I didn't want to change my vocation, so I figured maybe if I just get naked. Oh, uh, and take your weapons off, too. I have my weapon on. Oops. About the number you request. Okay. Like, take it off and then just have it unequipped, right? Right. Yeah, just unequip it. Doesn't right, have to come out of your inventory. Giddy, you lot. Here's your payment. Man thing. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last. You An ox cart traveling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more. Osama, you are you? awesome. You might want to pull my pawn in now. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be crazy. Yo, please join the Discord, man. We love you. Got, uh, we, yo, we gotta have you, man. Uh, Echo just entered the chat. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, Echo is back. How did you add that? Add the Echo? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I surprise myself. Let me see if I can <laughs> fix that. Update your pawn, do you lose like 20 or 30 damage if you upgrade Dwarven, but you gain 300 knockdown, so it's a good deal. That's what I thought too, yeah. But it's like, if knockdown does not, I mean, I, before even like doing anything, when I saw the difference in knockdown, I was like, I'm always going to go Dwarven. But I do want to see the testing difference, because I think some weapons are meant for knockdown, others are like, there's no almost point to it. Because by the time they get knocked down, it's like, why not just do the extra damage? Knockdown also makes mobs easier to stagger. Hell yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons, yeah. 
goblin and stuff. I love Nocturne. Like I said, it's by far my favorite, but I do want to see if it's even worth it on every weapon. Like, you know, I know with my regular hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon, I'm always going to go Knockdown. And I've seen people that are like level 90, 100, and they're like, I regret not upgrading Dorvin. Because they're every other stat is super high, but their knockdown is not. Bad noise there. You uncovered truth behind the. Wait, what happened? Fan noise? Oh no, no fan noise, nothing. Hello, hello, hello. No fan noise, no echo, nothing. Are you muted or? Oh no, he's muted. Can you hear me? Yep. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, no echo, no fan noise. You muted Wait. or are you? There we go. It, it might just that? be like a. It might just be I need to refresh it or something. It's a an internal thing with the uh, stream or whatever. Could be. Uh, question the soldier, the roads are ten, but they are no means to set travel, and I prefer to leave an answer to go there. So I gotta question the soldier. The abduction of palms is an act that would, uh, decreed by people in Vermont or no one else. She would caught dirty in the hands of the whole world with the soldier who is killed upon to find a mobile operation. Oh, Osama, does Bran actually tell you to get, like, strip or whatever, or does he tell you to put on different clothes? I can't remember. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that was, uh, not so much a genius if he actually says it, then I just heard it. <laughs> oh, the general of the tavern will tell you to take your clothes. Ah, okay. Now you get more than 30 plus damage with the batal there. Higher up, greater, more damage you get. Could be, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it could be more than 30, yeah. It would be it would be really shitty if it's only like just 30 for like that much knockdown, because I, I don't like one one size best of all type shit. Like, I, I like a more balanced approach. But whatever, I, can't, I don't make the games. I want each to have a purpose. Right, a exactly. Purpose, unique, yeah. unique and purpose. And I almost wish like the loot was scattered around rather than just, you know, you got to end game now, just pay up and you get it rather than just like, I don't know. It'd be nice if well, in the end game. Well, about that. No, you can't just pay and get it. <laughs> well, not that. That goes I mean, back you again. Can, but, uh, you don't have to. So you could just go out in the world and get it. That's right. Oh, that's kind of like okay. Then then it's cool. Yeah, that's basically the ba base game. It's like a lot of the stuff is, well, actually not always, but a lot of the stuff is in the world. But you could also pay it. it. Feels dumb when you spend a ton of money, and then you see it out in the world and you're like ah, maybe I should just not. It's cool. I like that. Uh, Brand tells you either to follow the ox god or infiltrate it by taking your soul stuff. Ah, okay. That is Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. I, I know. God, Critif looks sick. Vermin, there's nary a deed more Pitiful peasant standing next to him. But you have to understand. My gambling they debts are were small. like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. Tis a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. Can I just say how cool it is that as soon as we get one more person to add to our community for like nerding out, it's like instantly like Kratos' drip got better, Jackal's thinking his his character, like everything just like gets better. It's like it's so freaking good. Thank you for that. Uh, dang, I thought I was a genius. <laughs> but I told you that. Okay, I got it. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? Uh, yeah, I guess. I swear, I'll ne'er do all like this again. Accept his gold and let him go. Escort him to Vermoon. Probably escort him. Uh, see. take you, the. You want the best reward, right? Well, let me just see what the rewards are. But yeah, I do trust you. I just, I'm curious to see what the rewards are. Because we did have different diversing thing for like that blind dude. What's his name? Not oh yeah, I went, I went full murder hobo with that. The the reward but. for that one wasn't so different, rather than just like so, something I would do consciously. But yeah, second playthrough well, is probably gonna let him die. Yeah, higher affinity merchant. So that was cool. 
Yeah. And it had a cool backstory, so. Ring of Momentum is a good reward. What is that? Uh, it greatly increases the stamina. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's the only one in the real game. I might already have something like that. If not, that is good. I think your character's wearing this, right? Yeah, and I've got a couple of them in storage. Ah, uh, okay. So, that is the best one. Yeah, I think. That and the health in camp one. No, I mean for the reward, right? I, I guess I'm confused. About what? Oh, you mean for the reward? Yep. Oh, oh, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, do you want, uh, what I did was I let him go and I took his gold because the other way I don't think you get as much or whatever. Hmm. Okay, and I'll you have to walk him all the way back to Vernworth. <laughs> Question about the thing was, I got to move away, I'm actually not being able to see you and chase us. I didn't talk going to the quest, but it was chicken for friendly. I don't want to go away, actually. Okay. That's where I'm back. Okay. Which of the merchants document you got from the merchant gallery? So reparations from where you chose to either agree to bribe or let him go. For them back to where I'm going. Choose in the form of an extra 5,000 G. <laughs> that will automatically transfer to the actual quarter. Do I really give a shit about 5,000 gold? <laughs> so automatically transferred it to the royal quarter. Okay, so basically what you said, either fucking escort him back or take the 5,000. Yeah, take the gold. You I think that's the way to go. Thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful indeed. I'll be going then. Do we know of someone Did you get Merchant's document or not? This document? Yeah, and then you bring that back to what's his face. Well, uh, black Captain guy. Brant and Regent Kinsven are Brant, yeah. Of aid. The I mean, I know his name. I don't know why I said what's his face. Yeah, I don't Not know bad. people's names. Can I put my colds back on? It's cold out here at night. Yeah, so, uh... Bring that to Brant, and then rest until night, and go back. I know of at least so I don't need him anymore. That may be a bit... That's right, you're good. Shall I tell you more? Methinks this can only so you picked the other one, right? You didn't take the gold or not? Forgive me if I do not jump for joy. Oh, hell yeah, I took the gold. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought for some reason you escorted his ass back. Yeah, that's definitely oh, no, the fun. No. Get money in. He's nice. He's happy. Get the stuff. Gets that's to a turn weird. Over a new leaf. Yeah, that's a weird quest. Cause like, if I played this in like a Witcher or like a Baldur's or something, there would have been such a jig behind that where it's like you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you're like killing monsters, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, let me bring yours back in. I'm like tempted to get a better bow from. <laughs> Uh, Osama, because, like, my, my twin blade was already stronger, and now it's going to be so much stronger. I'm going to be like, dude, is magic archery even worth it? But it's like, yeah, probably if I had the good one. I think, I think you'd like the, um, I, I wouldn't take the, what do you call it, the dragon forged one, because that one's going to make endgame a little too easy, I think. But Wait, what does it do that makes it that much easier? Makes fighting dragons easier. Oh. That's the special oh, thing. Yeah, never mind then. Yeah, let's let's not But too the far black here. wing bow is awesome and I think you'll love it. Cool. Uh, let's see. Did you buy the buy the dragon stuff? I have not gotten it. Maybe Jackal has it? That's the first uh, thing I bought. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was cool not to buy. First weapon to buy from the Dragon Forge has the coolest name. Oh nice. I, I'm glad you both agree on that. Damn Jackal, did you just want another heart? No, maybe. <laughs> what? Can't even. Wait, what the hell? Hey, that face earns it now. Then so I take out the other hearts from before. Monster, if ever they didn't earn it. No. All oh, right, fairy stone. Hold on. 
You want a fairy stone? Who the fuck gave me that? Well, Kratos likes to steal those a lot. I know this one he's the. To commit myself. Osama, I'm sorry. We haven't even asked you the biggest question yet. What is your favorite vocation to play as, and what's your favorite setup? Oh, that's a good one. It's an honor to see you again, Arisen. Oh, that staff looking nice. Very basic looking one, though. Is that the... Actually, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. An unexpected reunion, but... Yeah, that's the new one. Legion's Might. Staff grounds fall on our heart. Fall on the other of this. Revive of their own accord when rendered and mold. Oh, shit! Dude, that is huge! Yeah, that is massive, in it? That is huge. So, I never have to worry about reviving her if she somehow goes down. I mean, that's pretty much all you need from a mage. I mean, if there's other ones with more magic, maybe for, like, attack, if they're even... But, like, if you're playing support, like, bruh. It's alright, Osama. <laughs> that's a tough question to answer. Because there's so many fun things in this game, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, he probably... Like, everything... Yeah, he probably tried them Sorry. all. Everything plays so differently from one another. It's like its own little game in each one. Well, what's your top three or top five? Or just, you know, some of the ones that stand out to you. Basically, which ones don't stand out at that point? Like, probably Trickster, maybe. Who knows? But even that one could be fun, probably. All right. I gotta do? give Trickster a good run. I do, but just not in this playthrough, probably. Second one, maybe. Definitely yeah. want to master what I made. I'm trying to make a Godfarer build, like a solo. And then this after is that, the end game prep. Yeah. Because I haven't seen someone make the type of build I made yet. Like, full-on solo Godfarer with um, its own little heal and all, all that stuff combined and just invincibility and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, some some people always do just all DPS. I, uh, I'm enjoying fighter makes me makes me uh damn my heart's blocking it. Makes me a bit focused to learn the game. Yeah, exactly. I think early on I saw like a fighter versus dragon video and it's like they were actually using the counter attack to like dodge like the the slam and stuff like that and it looked basically like secure or something like a god of war, you know. Whereas in like by the time I started playing the game I was like, okay, well I'm not even doing any of that. I'm just invincibility framing through it. Which takes away the fun a little bit, but uh, like I said, I'm preparing for like the endgame stuff. Like once I'm done with this and whatnot, definitely like my pawn could stay strong, but I'll definitely try to like do either solo with this or just um, play the fun way, which is like parries and stuff like that. Because some of them are pretty fun to fight with proper counter attacks and whatnot. Oh, now that the frame rate's fixed in the overworld, parries are actually great. They're a lot of fun. Nice. All right, Hawk's card, I gotta give him the King of my Jig. Fine, I was on the side of Hawk's card. Fine, I'm gonna win the match that I'm gonna do someone that's gonna show up with us on the side of my mind. Okay. I'll be oh, right back in like two minutes. I'm gonna order some food. Captain Brock. Okay. That's the Popcorn not holding? Enough. Okay. <laughs> nope, I need something substantial, like a pizza. Like coffee. Right, I say. Nah. That's pizza and Dr. Pepper will keep me up. You have my fullest confidence. Give him about the phantom box cart. Sure. Oh, the takeoff closes later. That's not even this part, I don't think. Okay, so this is definitely for Brand. Yes, Your Majesty. Yeah, by the Phantom Ox card, the oh, so most fun would be Phantom Warrior. Ops. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mystic, hell yeah. You're, I'm on the same boat as you. Thief, interesting. Thief, it's like, it was super freaking fun until, like, the form of Saint thing popped up, but, um... I feel like once I go back to the Thief, I might I might enjoy it more without Formless Faint. But uh, yeah, 
if I were to add a fourth, I'd maybe put regular Archer, but those are probably my top three as well. I just really didn't like Thief because of Formless Faint, but if you do add Formless Faint, then probably Archer goes before Thief, because timing some of those arrow shots was so fucking fun, bro. So fun. To be precise, the letter of the law does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. Dude, I might do a freaking warfare build with Archer just for that one skill, and then the other two maybe um some some thief stuff, whether it's a uh, what's a fun thief skill? I do like Pilfer, but that's not a fun one. That's just a cool one. Uh, I don't know. Do I want Helm Splitter for the damage? You know what? I might actually combine something. I might do, I might do Archer with um drenching arrows, and then obviously I probably a mage that buffs me with ice, and then I could just do something that freezes them, right? Like maybe like a Helm Splitter after ice buff. That would be sick. Yeah. Oh my God, that'd be sick. Helm Splitter, the regular version of that. Yeah, that'd be such a fun build. Oh my god, these fairies very sick. Oh yeah, the the, the teleport or disappear behind them with the head. Oh man. Uh, with Thief, I don't use Formless Faint and Skull Splitter. Oh, there you go. That's probably why you love it so much. Some of those are just too too brain dead OP. Or Archer Machine Gun Skill. Oh yeah, I like the I like the the strong shot though with the timing where you have to like charge it up and then right at the perfect time when you let go it does like a cinematic slow motion shot and it hits so hard i freaking love that shit so much but yeah be right i'm gonna take a piss I have returned, and I shall have pizza soon. Wait, where'd everyone go? But yeah, I think for me, Warrior and, uh, Warrior and Spearhand just stand out head and head above every other one in terms of fun. There's just so much cool things you can do with them. Uh, let's see. To be honest, every vocation is very yep, very and an echo, very very fun. I was surprised that even enjoying playing sorcerer. Same, bro. Same. Every vocation has its own fun thing. Mage was iffy. Mage was the closest thing to not fun, but it was still, somehow I felt like I was doing something, not just pressing some buttons. I had to actually, like, make sure I buffed the thief on my team with uh, ice or whatever, and then buff my, um, I had two sorcerers on my team at that time. I had two sorcerers. I had to make sure I had to buff them with celerity so they could cast faster. I had to make sure the palladium was always up, and um, if they ever need heal, put the heal up as well. What else did I use? Celerity, palladium, uh... Clarity, Palladium, Heal. Definitely didn't use Pion or Levin. What did I have? Definitely had some other stuff. Oh, the Ice. Ice one I had, but yeah. It, it was the closest thing to happen, but Sorcerer was insanely fun. Oh my god, Sorcerer fun. If you have if you have a team that knows how to take aggro playing as a Sorcerer, you could just damage cast. I wonder if you used the same um, skills that I did. I used Hegel, Levin, uh, Meteor Run, and... Uh, What's my fourth one? Hegel, Levin, Meteoron, and Augural Flare. Those are my four. It was so fun. I would just start with a Hegel instantly, just to crowd control and slow everything down, and then go into whatever I need after. I rarely did Meteoron or Augural Flare unless it was like a boss, but mostly Hegel and Levin. Hegel for the crowd control, Levin for the single target. 
Um, with Spear Hand, you can steal stamina from enemies and spam the Maester skill. Oh, I just got the Maester skill. I didn't even freaking try that on. Holy shit, you're so right. It is Wait, so I'm, cool. I might need to throw that on instead of Augural Flare right now. Yeah, bubble, steel, and then, oh my god, you're so right. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to take off Augural Flare for a little bit cause, and, and just try this because that would be insane. Well, you got to be mist, pure Mystic Spear Hand, right? Oh, right, right, right. Shit, I didn't even think of that. I wonder how good it is. It's really cool, but I think your build probably will be better for endgame right now. Yeah, I, I could I could do single single uh, locations later on in my new game plus. But yeah, I just want to master it's this. Really cool for mobs, but for like single bosses, I'm not sure how great it's going to be. Maybe Osama can tell us a little more. Yeah. I do use the steel stamina, and I freaking love that shit. Especially with the L1 hold, your stamina just does not regen, so you have to steal stamina if you want to keep it topped off. Um... But yeah, that's that's good advice. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the, we ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? I have a proposal. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination? Perchance we will discover the intent. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion. That you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guy leave the choice to your majesty. Yeah, I think we took off the clothes a little too early, Jackal. Why does it say that shit? See, I had actually thought you had done that first part since you had the quest. I forgot you don't need to do that one. That's how I triggered it, was I found them. Very well. I shall return. Gonna approach the ox cart. This is the part you want to get naked for. <laughs> I can be apprehended by a fucking naked guy the first time. I'm like, oh, Let what me. the fuck? <laughs> Let me go. You're under arrest. I'm like, well, are you gonna freaking take me to the jail and join me, or what is happening? <laughs> I don't know if I want this. I actually didn't remove my ring, so Sama. But that's a good point. Pull everything off. The hell am I even using? Discipline. More likely to stagger. Shall I tell you more? Ah, you'll be fine. You've seen how fists work, and you're in Burnworth, so. <laughs> Haven't you a lantern arisen? Shit. Might have to change timing or some shit. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. Oh, I gotta tell my phone so if I can stay back, I think. That's a good uh, idea. Obviously, they know I'm the fucking leader. Why is he getting so many followers? But he's naked. <laughs> we cannot break it from this side. Perhaps. You have to rest after talking to Brant. Osama oh, just mentioned that. Probably do. Let me see this just in case. Yeah, I definitely need to rest. Not a single fucking campfire nearby.
perfect opportunity for a fairy crystal. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome to the stream, uh, booty. Hi, welcome back. Fuck, I made the wrong turn. It's supposed to be right. I can never see booty's messages. Must oh be, yeah, he uh, gets shadow uh, banned. gets blocked. Yeah, he does. He had the same issue before. You gotta put an all chat, I think, or something like that. Yeah, That's I just switched I like. it. Mine switches automatically, so. What were you thinking, Booty Tickler? It wasn't very cash money of you. Change the B to a 3, it might work. Eh. I'm pretty sure it's your name. You will not follow me. You will not follow me. Oh fuck! I told my boss to leave me alone. The first to notice we've all got different vocations. Our fuck, respective fuck. abilities are unique as well. Oh, they coming. They coming. I wonder if minimizing a, a maze to having basically palladium and something else would be better. I mean, what does she currently have? I mean, nah, some of the other ones are really good. I've seen some mage pawns out there. They only put, like, I think palladium and uh, this other one, the pion. I don't know. I would have to watch their AI to see. Because, like you said, you could always put elemental stuff on your art weapons as it is. I mean, I might play around with, with like, a couple other things once I get some thief upgrades and probably yeah, yeah. sorcerer, I'm not too. saying it's not good as it is, because it is fucking phenomenal. It'd always be better. Yep. I don't have a fighter to throw me up there. I used to do the spear hand skill meta thing, but now as it is... Ah, figured it out. Levitate. Give me a tight one. Holy shit, what the fuck were you doing? Good thing I was standing here, eh? Nope, not a good thing. Oh fuck, I don't think I make this. No! Where are you standing now? <laughs> I look like that freaking <laughs> this dude. How about you go grab that shit? <laughs> Why, man? Why? <laughs> he was gonna grab. It's in my way. This is a tough stuff. freaking. I don't even know if it's possible. The way I failed last time, I was not even close. Hold on, tickler of rumps. Let me check. <laughs> Tickler right hey, there. I can see you in uh, top messages now. Let's go. Well, what do you do? How'd you fix it? Oh, I he did changed it. his name. Let's go. I did it. <laughs> Your boy. Hey, Nick. Welcome back. All right. Cool. Yep. Nick and Tickler. Tickler of. Oh, wait, he actually changed his name to Tickler of Rums. I thought Jackal just said that to be funny. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, that's what I meant. <laughs> um, <laughs> I tried a couple of different ways and they came up in top chat, so I figured, you know, if you changed it to something, and then he had a much better idea, so. Uh, nice. Must take care not to throw it away. I should keep his weapon on just in case we get our camp interrupted. Yeah, unarmed moveset's pretty good. <laughs> and they are pretty low level here, so. Welcome back, Nick and Booty. Nick and Booty. And W name. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Oh, 
Oh, Jackal, you remember how I made Freya Kratos? It was cool, but then I put on like the armor and stuff, and I couldn't even tell that was a unique character. Kratos, yeah. Yeah, it just like it made no sense. Follow me then, unless you doubt my yeah, sense of direction. Probably got to go with a smaller build. Yeah, or just just not have everything covered up with the armor. What's this? Only pools. That's true. There is good gear you can get that all exposed. Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. Okay, my eyes are off chat for one second. Fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Hello, fellers. Us pawns need to What's stick together. Up? Get in. I don't wanna fuck hey this up. Hey there, fellow pawns. <laughs> hey there, my fellow pawns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? I was just reading the thing. I don't want to fuck anything up. Oh, I was going to guide through you vaguely, you know. Are we there yet, yeah, trophy the urn? So one thing you should do is adopt a pacifist approach. Not here. You, you should fight the these guys, back. but yeah. Oh. Oh, doing this early. oh, what the oh. frick? Oh, yeah, that's getting clipped. Wait, where's that running jump? There it is. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're the team good. Good, you're the good guy. <laughs> Oh, sick. Yeah, imagine doing that at like level 15 or 20, just rushing the main story. <laughs> Alright, back to my cell. What the hell, Kratos? I don't know who these people are, sorry. Never met him before in my life. Yeah, I don't know why they're obeying me. Osama, I did the Sphinx and it was an awesome fight, but I had to use the Unmaker arrow at the end, or the second time I did it. Jason has not done the second half of the riddle, so. so yeah, I might do that on this stream. Not to spoil that. They say you do whatever the prison says. You offer no complaint, quarrel. You're undying to boot. I'm Should guessing the other pawns know me. Slaves, you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do for you or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Batal. 
<laughs> Did that scare you, Pavey? Mind? It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what else. We cannot accompany you there, Master, but fear not. You'll find us here when you return. Halt! We're inspecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Uh, about that, touch me and I'll fucking mess you up. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry, I have. How do you like that? <laughs> you so you're so lucky. <laughs> Look yeah, at Kratos. Yo, Kratos, chill, bro. Kratos, please. Get the fuck away, Kratos. If you tell him to wait, he won't. So. Yeah, I just yeah. did, and I thought for a second it would have made my jig go off for me, telling him to stay back. Oh, yeah, I probably would have failed. That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo with to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. I'll be back for your We're fucking off. lives. Oh, a cutscene cutscene. Holy shit. Oh, I look so sick. Oh, my God. Oh, that's how you open that door. That I've already teleported through. Oh my god, my character looks insane. On your knees, worthless vessels. Oh wait, Osama, yeah, you already know that part. I forgot. Wait, you're not a pawn. Who? We're an intruder in our midst. Oh no, Close you're good. Oh, no, that's good. For me? Me? Oh fucking hell! I'll just keep. Sticking to my fist then. Too fun anyway, that yeah. way. These guys are soft though, I think. Okay, maybe I won't keep sticking to the thing. Fight! Yeah. Imagine doing this at level 20. Pussy is using swords? Fight me like a man. Stupid? Curb stomp his ass. Yeah, I think he's just doing it for the lulls or something. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had so much fun using my fist. If I had no pawns, I would have definitely not used fists. Hey! Oh, Jill is getting cracked open. Holy shit! Oh yeah, I'm getting cracked. Up. Okay, maybe. Help, Jill! Okay, if my if, okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. I give up. Oh shit. Alright, uh, Kratos, maybe Meteor on a little bit sooner. <laughs> yeah, I'm good on that one. Jill is getting cooked right now. That's why I knocked it. Oh, that's why. Leave my Jill! Leave my Jill alone! Alive. 
You're alive too? Not anymore. Okay, let's not do that again. I'm gonna take fall damage. <clears throat> but that's how I phase through the wall. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Alright, time to revive them and beat their ass again. <laughs> I know their name. Yeah, right, well, that's the funny. perfect opportunity What's for a wake stone you? so I can kill y'all again. <laughs> Okay, they clearly are affected by some shit here. Thank God they didn't get yeah. affected by it while fighting. Um, Wait, is that why she was getting her ass kicked? Yeah, did you get the thing? Or did you... Yeah, I did. did. You, the staff, or whatever? Labor requisition orders, a letter bearing orders, so forth. We personal it also mentions staff capable of commanding the fall. Ooh. Did you kill the mage with the staff? Uh... There was a what? Did he run away? Oh, there's a major of the staff. Oh, I guess you're good. Huh, I thought I was gonna take it. I mean, if you got the the note or whatever, yeah. you should be good. You can bring got it to it. the, whatchamacallit. Brand? That guy, yeah. <laughs> that guy. Oh, you know his name and I'm forgetting. <laughs> Shooting for the head what or the happened? chest. Uh, because the fight itself is a riddle. Like, it's not messing around. Uh, just how was the Sphinx? Jeez, the unmarking arrow because she was leaving. Do you have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? No, I don't. I'm actually annoyed that they named it Modern Warfare 3 because I loved the actual Modern Warfare 3. I tried it with my Magic Archer Thief, so and she flew away at two or three dots on her screen. The safe's coming. Oh, damn. Jason, I'm messing around because <laughs> the fight itself is a riddle. I think I know what you're talking about, and let's just try to fight before fighting. You should not aim for the head or the chest, yeah. Sorry, you can equip your weapons now. Pause. Let's see what I want to be like. I don't know who that is. See what actually happened was. I forgot to unequip a certain something. Okay. Go. Cool. Hello, Hawk. So you have no, you have no dog in this fight. It would be a shame if a uh, Griffin were to just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> I swear, that's why I want to get that ceiling file and just like try and put an ox in it. So anytime I see a Griffin flying around, I'll just pop it out and there it goes. Okay. Damn it! I wanted to go back to Covert Ops. I really thought they would have been believable. My own. <laughs> Yes, you are now my personal transportation. Huh. huh. I climb this one. It's a unique one. Do you have unique health? You do. You're unkillable. Okay, so you did the Empress Quest, you did the Ox Cart, all you gotta do is turn that in, and the last thing is gonna be the Sculptor one, as far as I know. Unless, Osama, if you know some other quests that we might have missed, just tell us an area to explore. Or... I mean, there's probably a lot of quests I missed, but, like, is it even worth doing on this playthrough rather than the next one? Probably not, I'd get to the Unmoored. Yeah. It's awesome. I kind of wanted to save before going into Oddmoral, so I got saves come and redo it a couple times if I need to, so I might just save that for, I don't know, off-stream, uh, yeah, I mean, on-stream stuff, whatever. It's about an hour process before you get to the point of no return, so I mean, do still, that part like, today, but yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind restarting the stream for after the save, but it's whatever. Definitely probably save it for later, because there's a couple things I still want to do. Alright, All right. I'm gonna get a fairy stone out of here, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know of anything else other than the sculptor one, so. Do you have a home in Vernsworth? Hell yeah. My favorite home. Uh, okay. So, Vernsworth, right? Talk to Brandt? Yeah, I think it's Brandt. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Welcome. 
My character looked insanely cool in that cutscene. I'm so happy I made him. Vermin was once a beast kingdom. You could try and trigger a quest, but I don't know how it's gonna work out since he didn't kill Isaac's family. The person we're here to meet is no one. I didn't kill his family. He, he killed his family. <laughs> You do Manella's quest in Backwatal. I think so. I think that's the one I did earlier yeah. today. Yep. The, uh, the bad guy you gotta catch, that you tackle. That one was cool. Yeah. Short, but cool. You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, then. You have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they would. The staff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batali, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such no power as tasks, streaming. tis contemptible indeed. Five hours. Damn, time flies. Or maybe I just take everything really slow. <laughs> Sorry. Little. Distraction oh, here and there, but five thirty, yeah. Uh, okay, Kai has be long been part of Batar's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames. Imagine having a fairy stone, dude. Them. What? Perhaps Man. Be considered hey, Mirage. To Welcome to the stream. To their own. Oh shit, it's Mirage. Bro, you're a God of War player, right? Welcome. How you doing, man? Oh yeah, you even got the God of War avatar. Welcome. Oh, I'm so still playing... more. What? Sorry. Got it. Uh, Oh, so there's more um, to Manila at Volcanic Island Camp? Oh, I did not know that. Definitely could knock that out as well. But you still playing Ragnarok yeah. Mirage or any new games you've been playing? After the bad guy, she moves to Volcanic Camp. I think she... Oh, I think the hot water is Volcanic... Okay, I definitely got to check that out. Did you know about the Jackal or no? Oh, I had no idea. Oh, I guess it's going to be a surprise. Well, could this I mean, I knew she was there, but I didn't know she had the anything. Of these jewels mm. that allow for the control of pawns. I can offer no but conjecture. Jewels that control pawns, dude. Ain't the freaking dragon get a jewel in its chest whenever it just starts control? Oh, wow. Interesting. I wonder if that's connected or not. Yeah, you have to catch his superior. Okay. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards Dang, that sounds fun. The court has been selling pawns. Yo, the lady in the bar is hearing everything we're saying, dude, and she's kind of... Okay, we should probably have gotten a private room. <laughs> should we succeed? Even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's At the stealthiest. Is Everyone in here. No, look, look, look. He's even looking. Oh, now they're looking away. Get out of here. <laughs> look, she, she's looking directly at me. Bro, holy shit. The, the holes in this game is hilarious. I was playing Elden Ring. Uh, last three months, posted tons of video on TikTok. Oh, nice, dude. You're going to be prepared for the DLC. What do you think of Elden Ring? Today I'm back to Rolf. Oh, dude. Rolf is still my favorite boss of all time. But what do you think of Elden Ring? I missed this quest choice, so I want to see the good outcome. Oh, wait, how did you, what, what part did you mess up? Is it something I've already done, or later on you messed up? Because I don't want to mess it up, too. Uh, you have my gratitude, your majesty. The you have to you call me your majesty in front of everyone here pillar, that are staring. I love how they look away mind. when I look at them. <laughs> Dude, my staff on Kratos looks insane with that fire buff now. Oh, it is most valuable. oh yeah. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. Awesome game. I became toxic in Colosseum. Oh, no, not the Colosseum. Bro, come on. Don't be that guy. I'm always just bowing and waving at people unless they're just complete shitheads. But yeah, like the PvP scene is so toxic. No one, no one is ever happy doing it. The people getting destroyed are not enjoying it. The people doing the destroying are just pissed. Like, bro, it's so toxic, man. Call of Duty PvP all over again. Um, but I'm glad you're playing Elden Ring, man. It's nice. Uh, what are you doing at Horf, Horf now? Challenge run? Second man, look left eye. Missed the choice. Ah, okay. So they could definitely mess it up. I don't play PvP. Yeah, I, I, I get super frustrated when I do Elden Ring PvP. It's like I'll have like a lot of good fights and then one will have just some dude doing some broken, annoying stuff that like forces me to pull out the broken stuff and then I'm fighting everyone that's not using broken stuff and it's just... It's just like you gotta grow a thick skin, I guess, and just take the hell. Because they'll use the most broken, overpowered setup, kill you, and then just start teabagging you. And it's like, bro, what? Uh, uh, I even started giving millions of runes for free. Nice. 
also the Beastron Queen will visit you after and I missed her quest too. Beastron Queen will visit you after. Oh damn. Okay, I definitely don't want to mess these. Although in this oh, yeah. game like the rewards aren't aren't like the most insane thing for a quest. It's it's pretty tame. Whereas in the good stuff is just behind like a I don't know, buy it from a shop or yeah. Uh, I helped like hundred hundredth off players. Damn. The last time. Play PvP was with Skaza and two two other friends. Nice. Tickler, you remember the the a Melania fight Yumi and Skaza did? That thing was hilarious. I have it uploaded on my channel. <laughs> it's so funny. You gotta watch that, Jackal. Oh my god, we were on crack. I think somebody even commented, are you guys on the spectrum? <laughs> I'll check that out. At least here the Queen Regent shall face justice. It's over. You have we'll ring a moment. I think I think it's the chat that's preventing me from doing these quests quicker. I blame the chat. <clears throat> Kidding. Well, the other thing I was gonna say was I think I already told you this unmoored world. I think I got five of the end game armors just from fighting stuff. Damn. That was certainly worthwhile. That is pretty cool. I might not even buy stuff. I might just explore and see how long I last there with my flasks and stuff. Yeah, it would probably be better to just explore the whole world in the unmoored, uh, the unmoored world, right? I'd say so. Hell yeah. You have my fullest confidence. I mean, not all of those quests end. Like, I think you can do yeah, the Arbor Heart quest during valuable. unmoored. Is it all else you would it's speak just really hard if you want to rest to get the Wait, say that again? And... Right, follow me. You remember ailing Arbor Heart the quest? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do that one in Unmoored World, but it's really hard to get the apple and the fish to rot. Mm. You have to rest. Do you though? Because wouldn't time just pass anyway? It's only like 48 minutes for a day pass, so wouldn't you just have to last very long or no? That wouldn't I work. I don't know. Because for something, that. yeah, for something to rot, it takes like I think several days, maybe two. So that would be you'd have to stay in there for like. I don't know, almost two plus hours maybe if you want. I don't know. Also, I'm not sure if it's 12 rests or 12 days. It might actually be 12 days. Ooh, yeah. So if it's 12, yeah, it could be 12 rests or 12 days. That would be, that would be the have, actual time limit. But then how many yeah. how many quests are you even able to do in like freaking, you know, 12, 40, 48 minute increments? So. Like, what do you mean everything? Every quest there was? Well, everything... For the end game, yeah. And I got the good ending. Holy shit. I mean, after reverting though, right? You didn't get a first try good ending? Well, no, I wanted to fight the end boss first, and then I went to Unmoored World, and yeah, first tried that. I'm confused. I thought like after beating the main boss, it just re uh, sends you into New Game Plus. Yeah, after you beat the first main boss, if you don't do the secret, it just sends you to be the sovereign of Vernworth or whatever, and that's the whole thing. But yeah, you gotta see the unmoored world to get the whole thing. Okay, well I'll just trust your intuition and stuff. But I do want to save a couple times. Twelve rest. Oh, yeah. oh okay, so then it's pretty much a limited time as long as you don't rest. That's actually I prefer that. You yeah, have to definitely. Really micromanage your stuff. Dude, these pawns are by far my biggest fucking complaint right now. It's just whatever they did with the AI is super annoying. Hello? The they fucking... don't like you. Dude, it's so annoying. Look, this one is taking even longer. As a matter of fact, I did not take to being a mage straight away. <laughs> I just imagine if we played as a thief early on and then you change it to, I don't know, sorcerer or some shit, I'd be like, you know, I'm glad I'm no longer a pussy ass thief. <laughs> All they do is form a say, no, that'd be hilarious. It's a moderate. Mm, stamina. I didn't already have that. Yep. No, I did not have that. I did not have that. Okay, that's my first time getting that. How the hell did you get multiple of those, Jackal? Multiple of what? Sorry. The rings? Yeah. The stamina moderate. Well, I think I bought one and then I found another one in oh, the world. and That'll yeah, do it. I mean... That ring never interested me. <laughs> uh, I think it's like flat 150 stamina. Extra. I don't know. 
If it was regen, I'd be stoked, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's not. why I, like, put on the regen instead. I'm like, what do you mean, 15% extra regen and it stacks? Like, bro, if I, if, I, if I didn't have that stamina sucking ability, there's no way I use anything other than two, two 15%. That's 30 right there. You, you put that with uh, another 10 from the mage one, and it's like, bro, I was doing some testing, and it was nuts how much faster he was regening when pretty much every action in your game is, like, centered around stamina regen. Like, you're That's overall true. increasing your DPS as well because you're able to spam more skills. And, of course, if you ever go down to zero stamina, it's like, you're done. You're done. That's why I always like Endurance and Elden Ring. Extra attack. Yep. In Bloodborne specifically, I remember I just, like, kept stacking stamina. Because it's, like, by far the most important stat in that game. Okay. Yeah, and even uh, just because you can equip more stuff, if you're yeah, not equipping quick more load. stuff, it's still really good for that, being able to get at least one more attack and maybe two. Yeah, I think yeah. it's more damage overall, right? Yep. I know I was selling so hard. <laughs> I remember. I ran in with the full weapon hard with that one. <laughs> I remember, booty. I reached level 300. No more frost lightning deck strength build. Uh... No more frost lightning deck strength. God damn. Dragon Halberd main and uh, Grand Sax. Oh, yeah, those are really annoying to fight. Bolt of Grand Sax. I think that's the one where it's like an instant red lightning attack, right? Yeah. I was helping someone like make a very OP build that's not very good at the game, and I suggested that. They were just weapon arting through the game with that. I'm at max. There you go, Booty. <laughs> Booty is a grinder. Uh, 12 rest, uh, good with the max pawn affinity ending, the good with the max pawn affinity ending, yep, shush. Alright, uh, I do want to no, rest, I... but I know I'm fucking terrified every time, just, I gotta see their faces. Wanna do the Sphinx? Uh, what else is on the thingy? I mean, other than the uh, Manila quests, I had nothing. The title of sorcerer. I you do suppose Manila. you could do the, Let's do the, Manila. the coral, a good sleep coral snakes. We are prepared. Hey, thanks coral. for joining, Mirage. Anyways, enjoy the game, bye. Right, thanks for joining in, Mirage. What's the Manila? Uh, what, what did you say just now? Okay, so Manila, the beast friend lady that went to Volcano Island camp to soak in the hot springs after getting attacked by the... Yeah, but what, what else? Yeah. Oh, after that, Coral Snake's Hideout, which is in West What Atal. the hell is even that? It's the one where you get the new merchant. The whole thing. Oh, okay. Alright, so Volcano... So this one, right? Volcano Island one, that's where the hot spring and stuff is? Yep. Cool. I'm gonna start picking out more fairy stone and buying more if possible. I gotta keep my fair stone stopped off. I already gave two of them to you, so I gotta be more mindful of that. I mean, I got a buttload of them, so I'd be happy to send you a couple for endgame. No, 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 no. I just need to buy stuff, man. You see, you don't see this fucking money, bro. True, true. And also, when I said bring a ton of money in, I forgot to mention that I found a lot of stuff in the world, including the one that I bought, so... Eh. Yeah. Our packs are heavier. Yeah, no, uh, my ideal thing is just stay as long as possible, kill as many things, and if there's anything left, I'll just try to clear the whole inventory before leaving. But yeah, with my, like, um, amount of all heals I have and the build, like, I should be able to maybe 100% the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm going in there with, uh, where's that shit? What the hell do you consider an all heal, not an imp implements somehow these are all implements but all heal is not all right game oh it's this one curatives sure 29 yeah i also got rotten eggs for if i want to actually kill myself <laughs> so i brought in 11 all heals nice and you only needed what two maybe one i think i used four but one was oh. to get stamina back which all was heal helps with stamina oh yeah cures everything Huh. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Tickler. Friends wanna hop on, see you later, guys. Yeah, my friends wanna hop on, see you later, guys. I don't get it, Tickler. Are you playing Elden Ring on your phone? Thanks for hanging out, I guess.
what am I trying to get? Oh yeah, it was this mask that's just as good as the freaking other thing. And I was like, bruh, in no way I'm using this thing to cover my face. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. I wish the face, the mask didn't exist. Same. Oh, the okay. Coral Snakes one, actually, if you want to do that quest, gives you some cool masks if you want a face covering. No, Hell no, with my Kratos and my character. I, honestly, like, if the best item in the game covers your face in an ugly way, I probably wouldn't go for that. We look too fly. All right. Uh, That's right. <laughs> might do the Manila and get close to the end of the stream. Getting pretty tired, but yeah. So what's next? Okay, um, do you want me to tell you where to go for the coral snakes one? I can send you a map image. Coral snake? Yeah, it's, uh... uh I could... I could probably look it up, but... Up to you. Here we are. Western Batal. Should we take stock of our surroundings? She is... Oh, Greetings, she's just standing sir, right there, lol. Have you come to enjoy the waters of the curative spring yourself? Fuck no, I'm here for whatever you want. The injury I also, it's where you get the frost stabbies. Oh, steady. my pizza's cool. here. I'll be right back. Nice. Yet, twill be some time before I am ready to leave. Though I am grateful for this opportunity to convalesce, I grow restless, as there is a matter I wish to investigate post-haste. Perhaps you would look into it on my behalf? I wish to know the identity of the villain who orchestrated the attempt on the Empress's life. The rogue you captured has been questioned at length, but last I heard has yet to reveal this information. Methinks you might... This task is our responsibility. We must strive to see it fulfilled. Ha, huh, Kratos. What makes you think it's our responsibility? Case of Sculptor's... Okay, that is not the one. Candle in the Storm. Rogue was assailed. The Empress is being held in Batal's jail. Find a way to pursue him. Talk to Hopefully by the time I'm done with this one, and if I rest a couple times, the uh, Medusa head would come back, and then I could knock this out as well. Yeah, and then maybe go to Sphinx. Cool. Speak with the jail bridge. Cool. It's... Oh, lord. Okay, I'm, go ahead. I'm gonna eat real quick, so I'll be off mic and in chat. Cool. Definitely on a port crystal there. Means we must have. The word with the fiend who attacked Empress of the We want some Batal's jail as we speak. Wait, Osama, how are you Don't able to give me so many of in? these cool stuff and Jackal, like, do you have a way of, like, copying them, or oh, just you're actually losing it. these items? These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? Yeah, damn, that augment trivializes the secret tokens. <laughs> <laughs> I shall have to inform my own master of this. Oh damn, Jack, well, even you didn't have that one. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. Do you know how long you'll be? I only oh, ask that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. What are ye doing here? Come to laugh at me, have ye? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Suppose it must make ye feel a hero, seeing the man ye caught yourself sitting behind bars. But ye ain't fool enough to think the Empress is safe now I'm in here, are ye? Give gold 5,000 years. If I say question him, he's gonna be like, not, I'm not talking about that money, I'm guessing. 
upload my save and then give you the items and then download it after. See, I was wondering if that's a thing you could do in this game. I guess it's because me and Jackal didn't really coordinate that correctly. Because I, I think I gave him, like, back-to-back -back port crystal thieves and stuff like that. And then, um, I guess he wasn't awake at that time. So I just reverted the save. I assumed it would go through. But I think because I reverted too early before he grabbed it, I think that's what caused it. But yeah, that seems similar to Elden Ring. Cool. Yeah, and then I might just start duplicating with Jackal once I beat the game, just to do a couple testings with different weapons and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, like, just keep a default weapon, and then fully upgrade it to whatever they want, give it to them, and then revert back. So you keep the material and stuff, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Good idea there, Kasama. Osama, sorry. Uh, awesome, hell yeah, appreciate it. Okay, I'm guessing first to question him, and then probably he's gonna say pay, and then I pay. What the hell is this quest again? Forgot the name of this quest. Oh, what was the name? Milena? That was not her name. What the hell was her name? So before you download your save, sleep at an inn. So before you download your save, Sleep at an inn. Oh, that makes sense. Duh. Holy shit, that makes sense. Because once you sleep at an inn, that's when the online thing, the cloud thing uh, saves. So that's when the gift goes through. So anytime I send anyone any gift, it's important that I sleep. Or or I'm guessing camp maybe works. But if not, definitely sleep at an inn. Manila, okay. Give him the gold and then he will speak. Uh, I still want to let me see the quest. Manila. Completely for Melina. There we go. Manila. Quest, uh, Candle in the Storm. I think that's what I'm doing, Candle in the Storm. Rewards. Amp Ring of Amplification. Or just Jasper. Or... Supported the Empress proposal attack on us. So the best outcome is supported the Empress's proposal. You get the XP, you get the most amount of gold, and you get Ring of Amplification, which is improves the effectiveness of curatives. Ugh. Boost them on recovered when you get that's fucking trash. So I guess it's still the best outcome. I mean, I guess three Jaspers could be quite a bit, right? Yeah. I wonder which one, which one I'll go for then. So you support her or oppress her, oppose her. About, about good rewards, I guess. Support the Empress's proposal and attack the Mastermind. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean... Okay, well, this, at this point, like, the reward isn't anything enough for me to, like, look into it, so I might just play it how I play it and just do what I would normally do, because I just don't care. Like, it's just XP and, um, gold, <clears throat> Jasper and a ring I don't care about, so, I don't know, unless this, this counts and, like, carries on to another quest, I don't think it's that important for me to, like, look into results or options. Hey, what up, Jordan? Welcome back. Uh, give him a little speak. Uh, 